We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school. Um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well so that's where my love of sewing has come from my background is in costume as i'm sure you can see um and i i make for film and theater and tv i've worked on films such as titanic shakespeare in love evita james bond um, and theater work i've done things like mary poppins guys and dolls prince of egypt um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I uh, can't wait to see you all. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from 10 pounds to 500 pounds. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Morning, good morning. I just have a little coffee fit there. Jan, Jan, it's eight o'clock. Get up. Get up, Jan. Hello, how are you all? How have you been? My glasses have steamed up since I walked in here. That's weird, isn't it? And it's cold in here. It must be me hot stuff anyway. Uh, how are you all? How have you been? I, I was going to have such a busy week. I've ended up buying a new kitchen. I've bought a new awning for outside the back door. I, I haven't paid for any of it yet. But anyway, uh, how are you all? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, shall we do today's early bird? <sighs> right, now it's mode of fancy that design house snack box. Oh, it's upside down. There you go, sorry. It's a little snack box. Now, obviously, you don't have to put snacks in it if you don't want to. You can put pork pie in it. You can put cheese in it. You could do whatever you want with it. We cannot find this anywhere else. Actually, this in the UK, this is where you could get you could get us up. Come and have a look. So it looks like a little lunch. Oh. Isn't that cute? It's it's tin. It's tin. And then you just put it like a biscuit tin, you know, but it's got a little handle. Isn't that cute, isn't it? Fancy that design house, it's called. It's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, that's not the price. 
So early bird, we've got to crash the price. Have to crash the price for an early bird. There's something not quite right here. It's, I've not, I've, it's been a bit of a rush. This it's the presenter. Is it? What's to the right? Yeah, the camera's not in the right place. £12.99. £12.99. That lovely little snack box there. You can put sewing kits in it. You can put EPP in it. All oh, the other Jans in. The other Jans watching. Uh, Glennie says good morning. Roxana says morning. Looking forward to seeing Beth Studley. I've used several of her patterns. They're all lovely. Yeah, she's next door. Morning all. Good morning, John. How are you? Oh, that's Leslie. Su Cousin Susan says hello. Another Susan says morning, everyone. Dull start here in Derbyshire. Chantel. Jake is so excited that you're back on. He does love watching you. Oh, Jake. <coughs> Jake. All right, mate. Anyway, Lynn Tewitt says, morning, everyone. Love to see you back, John. Pam Minihani says, lovely ray of sunshine. Claire says, morning, John. Loving that shirt. It's a very old shirt, this one. Come on, then. $12.99. <coughs> oh, I haven't spoken to anybody for three days, really. It's a bit of a shock to the old system. <coughs> £12.99. Oh, here we go. Morning, everyone, says Leslie. Sorry, we cannot find anywhere else in the UK to go buy this. $12.99. Uh, morning, John says, low. Easier to buy than clean the kitchen. I'll get someone in to do that. The other Jan says, good morning, everyone. Laurie says, good morning. Crazy Lorraine's. Oh, it's Crazy Lorraine's 65th birthday this week. Uh, I think it's Saturday. It's Friday or Saturday, anyway, 65. Jill says, loving Beth's quilts. Yeah, they're both up there. That's one. We've got a kit to make that. And a kit to make... That... Coming up. Well done, Jeremy. It's exclusive to us. Exclusive to us, they are. Uh, Princess says, good morning. Bernie says, morning. Vida says, good morning. From a oh, wasn't it windy last night? And I'm talking about the weather. Oh, my word, wasn't it windy? And it went on all night long, didn't it? All night long. Uh, Doreen says, morning. I meant you about buying a new kitchen. Oh, yes, I see what I mean. Well, no, the kitchen's quite old. The kitchen's quite old now. And it's spotless. But it's looking, it's only because I went to Vixie's house last week, didn't I? What was it? Did I go on Saturday? And it's like a flipping bijou hotel show home. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, makes you sick. Nowhere to put anything, mind you. One cupboard downstairs, that's all I could see. Mind you, I am getting a quartz top like she's got in her kitchen. More, more, more. Margaret says, good morning, handsome. Oh, <coughs> looking forward to today's show. Morning, cat. Uh, Jeremy's here as well. Jeremy's here too. Oh, it's, look, Crazy Lorraine says it's on Saturday. Uh, Carol on my bottom says, Morning, John, what a lovely surprise seeing you there this morning. Carol, do you think I'd left? Did you think I'd left? Anyway, look, keep going through for this. Uh, they're, they're trying to push me out. I've, I've gone, come to get in my dressing room this morning, right? This whole shelving unit, whole shelving unit's got some, oh, well, it's got all sorts on it. It stinks. None of my stuff. I'm just like that in the corner of the room getting ready like this morning. Like that in the corner. Twelve ninety nine. That's me getting dressed in the morning. Michaela Michaela says good morning, lovely John. Susan says hope. Oh no, I hope Loki's all right. Uh, Loki's not mine. Uh, Margaret says good morning, Jeremy. He says good morning. He's in a funny mood today, Jeremy. Mind you, he did buy the coffees. Not funny, weird. I mean, funny, funny, like making us laugh. Message from Julie. Morning. I love playing the early bird game. I have to guess the drop price. Do you think I need to get out more? Love watching you from Julie in Bedfordshire. Yes. But don't go till one. Get out more, but not until after one o'clock in the afternoon. Keep going through this. It is today's early bird. Remember, once you paid for it and you've checked out, that's your P&P &P done for for the day. I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? Did you guess it right, Julie, today? 12.99. Goes back up to 14 99 at midnight. Very popular. Right, shall we do today's menu? Here we go. Coming up today, fabulous fabric and new extra wide backing fabrics. That's me all on my own. Some. Got some lovely fabrics. So beautiful, beautiful fabrics. <clears throat> then we've got the Millie rag doll with Debbie Harris. That's our own design. There she is. So there she is. And she, oh, she doesn't stand up. You have to have a stand to stand her up, Jeremy. Stand Jeremy's. Oh, look, close up. There's more close ups. Go on then. 
There's the bag. There's the pocket. There's the shoes, the ballet shoes. The bow in her hair. And her hair. Right, okay, that's nine o'clock. Then at ten o'clock, TV debut. Best, right, actually, now, it, she, she did tell us in prep, she's not called Beth Studley anymore. She's called Love with Beth Quilts from, with Beth. So you weren't listening then. Okay, uh, so anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but she's known as Love from Beth. Beth from Love from Beth at 10 o'clock. And she's going to be making, now we have got exclusive bundles, kits to make this. Gorgeous. That, that's piecing. Or don't let the curves put you off. She's going to show you how to do it. Or FPP. Gorgeous, aren't they? Look at the fabric. It's her own design fabric. It's all her own design fabric. It's beautiful. Look at it. That one's, what, that, that pattern's so limited already? Oh, that's really limited, that one. Already. How have, you, how have people come in to get that? Or is it on pre-order already? Oh. The middle sections are appliqued on, by the way, just so you know. Right, that, that's night. That's 10 o'clock. Then 11 o'clock, we've got appliqued with cushions with Debbie Harris. Already selling. Now, guess which one's the most pop? Oh, we've only got a picture of one. You can't guess. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've been in. I'm not getting it right, am I? Uh, Julie from Bedfordshire made me laugh. Oh, yes, that... Patricia's morning, love you, John Scott, from a wet. I think you've forgotten to put Blackpool on today. And Princess says, right, okay, so then at 11 o'clock, we've done that, 12 o'clock. Now, it's just called Embroidery Kits with Beth Studley. We've got more than that, we've got our fat quarter. Now, if you like the fabrics that her quilts were made from in the first hour, we've got those in fat quarter bundles. Have we sorted that other one out yet? Okay, and then we've also got these embroidery kits. Look at these. One, two, three, four. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then we all go home. Well, no, that's a lie. Then you get on with your day. We then have to pick everything up off the trolleys. We have to pack it all away, check it off on the list. Then we have to open all of tomorrow's goodies, put them out on the trolleys, do our prep, everything like that. We have to do all of that, all of it. Jeremy has to hoover. Uh, Actually, you can leave that for Elliot tomorrow, can't you? And, um, oh, oh, I do apologise. Kat's got to go, Kat's going for lunch with a friend, so she has to leave quite quickly, she says. And are you working tonight? And she's working at the theatre tonight. So if you've been to see It's Not Unusual, What's New Pussycat at the Birmingham Alhambra rep. That's not the big one, is it, in the middle? That's the Hippodrome I'm thinking of. Anyway, the rep. She's there. She's one of the dressers there. Right, shall we get on? Uh, oh, no. The three ways to get in touch. First way, email. Jeremy. Message. Uh, no, not message. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. That's the emails. You can send a message on Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out to you. Um, morning, says Anne. Julie says, morning. John, we've missed you. Oh, thank you, Julie, my love. Uh, then there's a third way. So you can go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You click on watch the show live. Then you see the box on the right-hand side there. that says send Mrs. Studio. Carol, oh, Carol, you're up early. It's ten past eight. What's the matter? Um, you can go into the Welcome Beth, says Cat. Click that one and there. The white boxes, no, the messages in the white boxes go across the bottom. While we're there, we'll have a look at this, you see. So there is today's early bird. Now, in a minute, this will go to two columns. There'll be a left-hand column which says show deals. That's everything we've shown you so far. And then there'll be pre-order on the right. So this is everything over the next five hours. William Morris backing fabric extra wide. We've got the lovely mandalas back. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> now, you see that Ruby Star Society, right? We had that in a bundle the other day. Today, we've got it by the half metre. 108 inches wide, but look, we only had it in pink the other day. Got it in blue as well now, and all those other colours there. Then we've got some Christmas fabrics. They're not extra wide. They're just your Christmas fabrics. Then I've got a sewing machine. Then we've got, there you go, the Mabel and Deb. Now there's two different colourways. There's light, I don't know how we, how have we described it, hang on. Honey and dark blue. Oh, it's the, is it the clothes? 
the clothes, it's the clothes, it's the clothes, right? I'll show you in, in the hour anyway. And there's all bits and bobs there. Not all of those will get shown during the hour. Then we move on to Beth. So it's a TV debut. Exclusive kits to us. Love from Beth. That she's kitted them. The fabric is her design, right? Her, her own fabrics from Macawa. Beautiful Macawa fabrics. Oh, apparently, I've got a me we've got a message from Haley, our boss, to say supply is smaller than demand. How she knows that before we've even launched it, I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Then we carry on uh, to here are the cushions. Now, which cushion is most popular so far? Is it the winter ski? Is it the Alpine House? Or is it the reindeers? Oh, oh, I've just noticed. <laughs> right, okay, what you do is you, you see the bottom bit, that's the back of your cushion or your tote bag, whatever you want to make. The top bit is the bit you applique all those bits onto. But they've already printed the antlers on the fabric and the legs. You see, you don't, you don't applique the antlers. Look, they've got no antlers. Anyway, that's the most popular. That one there is the most popular. Now, Helen says, what a nice surprise. Wasn't expecting to see you. Do you think I've been sacked then? June says, morning, stranger. Oh, dear. Pauline says, morning, John. Getting ready for work, but watching too. Where do you think I was? Anyway, stop. Look, 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 look. So then we're back onto Beth D's, the embroidery kits. There's the fat quarter bundles. Look, isn't that lovely? It's a big one. And then at the moment, there's a small purple one. And we're looking, for, we've got the small yellow one, but Ian seems to have lost it somewhere. Uh, anyway, isn't that lovely? And then we've got some, oh, aren't they lovely? We showed you those at the beginning. Then carry on, carry on, carry on. More patterns. We're not making any of those. They're just upsells for you. And then that's it. You can all then turn off or turn over. Happy birthday for Saturday Crazy Lorraine, says another Lorraine. She's not 45, she's 65. 65. Right, okay, shall we get on? Uh, William Morris, X right back in. That's all over here. Brand spanking new. Oh, what? Where? Oh, yes. Yeah, so the first one, Strawberry Thief. Oh, oh can you imagine? How, if you've bought one of the kits, you know the box, uh, Becca Reed had one. In fact, she had the square one the other day, didn't she, that I had. Or she had the mineral one, the first one. Imagine. The, oh, I'll show it to you the pattern, first of all, so Jeremy can see the pattern. Veronica says, good morning. Now, you could make a duvet cover out of this if you want to. Cax is 108 inches wide, 274 centimetres wide. Beautiful, isn't it? But you know what? You could just buy half of each and make four cushions if you wanted to. Oh, now, I don't know if I'd use it for that. You mean upholster your chairs? Oh, you could do, but it, it depends what your dining room chairs, yeah, but not an arm. I wouldn't do an armchair with this. It's beautiful that make a dress. Can you imagine making a frock out of this? Look. So it's 108 inches wide. Look. Oh. I love it. Absolutely love it. How much is it? $14.99. Right, now we did look at this uh, on the internet this morning. We couldn't find it anywhere else for less than $15.50. I know, for half a metre. Uh, well, the, 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 uh, pat the repeat. Oh, no, hang on. The repeat going across. Um... Well, normally you wouldn't look at the repeat going across, but there it is. So there's one. Hang on, where is it? Oh, no, hang on. Oh, yeah, hang on. There, there, there's them in the middle. I think it's about that wide. The repeat going across, it's so wide you can't see it. But I don't know about the repeat going down because it's more than half a metre. Because you do, anyway, it doesn't matter if you put it on the back of a quilt, does it? Oh, hi, John. Watch me the grandchildren. Please say hello. Please say hello to Leo and Charlie. Leo, Charlie, good morning. Cat's new dog's called Leo. Hello, John and team. I've missed you, John. Lots of love and hugs, Davinia. Thank you, Davinia, my lovely. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Imagine a shirt made out of this. Not of your little Paul. Not of your little Paul because it would just fill the whole of the section, wouldn't it? Oh, cat's coming out to hold it out. Well, hang on, you'll have to. I'm not standing anywhere near you. There you go, there. Where's your mask? Oh, we'll be fine. We're far enough apart. That's your half a metre. That's your 14. I'm the presenter. That's your 14.99. Isn't it lovely? Do you know what I'd be tempted to do? Just a bit of embroidery, a few embroidery stitches every now and then, or a bit of cruel work on it. It's lovely, isn't it? So that's your half a metre. That's what you get for. Now, obviously, if you buy three metres, it does, you don't get six of pieces. It comes as a three metre piece. Lo I've got two other William Morrises to show as well, but that's, uh, that's my... Um, that's my strawberry thief one. Oh, now Kat's complaining because um, Jeremy cut up her face on shot screen. Beautiful. Do you want to see the other two? Then you can make your choice. Half a metre of your stash would be lovely. Right, this one is GSU123. Because I think this is the same pattern, just in two different colours now. Is it not? Oh! oh. This one's called Pimpernel. 108 inches wide. Do you know it make lovely curtains, wouldn't it? Or lovely blinds. Oh, that's the other thing I've ordered, some plantation blinds. I haven't ordered them yet. I'm saying I've ordered all these things. I haven't because I haven't got the money to pay for them. Good morning, John and team from Sue and Robert. Aren't they beautiful? Fourteen ninety nine for half a metre. Charcoal, they've called this one. Oh, is that a noise going on next door? Is Haley arrived? Fourteen, no, isn't that lovely? I love, love, love this. It's so stunning, isn't it? Tote bags, cushion covers, um, all sorts. You can make all sorts out of this. If you, because um, it's 274 centimetres wide, if you bought three metres, or even two and a half metres, how tall, uh, two and a half metres, what's that? A four, eight, ten foot. No. no two, and a half more, two and a half metres more than eight foot, isn't it? Oh, no, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Anyway, how long's a duvet? That's what I'm trying to say. My, I think my duvet's 220 by 220. So you buy, you buy two and a half metres of this, five units, you can make yourself, oh, that's only one side, you'd have to get another fabric for the other side, I suppose. This is back in. Morning, John and crew, still watching from my sick bed, nearly two weeks now. Without you, I'd be climbing the wall, says Sue. Oh, uh, Ali says, oh, that fabric is lovely. I feel some self-gifting coming on. Self-gifting's the way to go, Ali. Hi, John. Any chance of wishing my granddaughter... Ca it's everybody's birthday, is it? A happy sixth birthday from Nanny Angela in crew. Now, I think Nanny Angela haven't... Or oh, I better not say, in case you haven't given her a present yet. Haven't you done... I know you know. Oh, she at school? Oh, no, it's half term. It's half term. Okay, happy birthday. I think Nanny Angela's got a lovely surprise for you upstairs. Imagine if I've got completely the wrong person. And Kay's going, Nanny, Nanny Angela, where's my present upstairs that John said? I might be wrong. If it, I do apologise, Kay, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm wrong. Or imagine... I'll anyway... Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, there's an apple hidden for you upstairs somewhere. Yeah, I can see why. I love that. I think that's beautiful. I know I'm not allowed favourites. I think that's my favourite so far. So if I've got one more William Morris to show you now. Oh, now same pattern. It's Pimpernel, but much softer, this one. Not softer in touch, but softer in colour, look. 
Isn't that stunning? Pillowcases, bolster. Oh, I haven't had my earpiece in for about four days. It's itching already. Let me take, you keep looking at the fabric. I'm just going to take it out in a minute. Did you see Adam Brooks this week? Sold out his Baker Boy cap, didn't he? Brilliant. Fourteen ninety nine. This is half a meter. Good to have you back, John. Great show ahead. Thank you, Margaret. At fourteen ninety nine. I'm right thirsty this morning. Right, Strawberry Thief and Pimpernel Charcoal are neck and neck. I'll do them again by the, before the end of the show, or we'll do those again before the end of the show. But in the meantime, we have to do... Oh, if you love a bit of colour. Now, you see this pink one? We had this in a bundle the other day. The bundle sold out. I can't remember what it was for now. Oh. There's only three metres of this one left. Been busy on pre-order. Now, again, this is backing. Again, it's 180. Oh, look. It's good. Imagine that in a frock, though, or a shirt. Backing the Beth Dudley quilt. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? But there's only three metres left. Did you say three? Yeah, there's only three metres, that one left. Six units of that one left. It's 12.99. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 100% cotton. And I'll just do it like this so you can have a good close look at it. It's not sparkly, but it's got like little gold and orange or rust spatters on it. Yes, yeah, like a Jackson Pollock. Oh, did we? Oh, I don't know. Oh, now, isn't that funny? I only remember the pink one. Apparently the dove and the white are very upset because I've forgotten them. But we didn't have the black, the navy and the aqua, did we? I'll do those first. I'll do those first. Oh, nobody's checked out on that. So loads of you came in on pre-order to buy it. I bet you, I bet you any money you're sitting there and going, well, I won't get it. Everyone else will get it first. Go on. Give it a go. Or are you waiting to see the aqua one? Or is it spearmint? Oh, they've called it turquoise. They've moved all the desks around while I've not been here. Paul, buyer Paul, he's going to get so fed up of being hit by the door. As soon as you walk through the door from the studio, you smack against the back of him. He's not going to be happy. And then I'm going to put a poster up on the window later. Well, because Neil, where Neil sits now, all you can see is his like, head above the window. Over there, there's a window in his office. And you can just see this. Like that. He's not there. He's not there. This one is called turquoise. It's 180 or 274 centimetres wide. Yeah, imagine if you're making that. Put that behind it. Or the navy. I've got the navy coming up. I really feel like I'm not dressed this morning. <laughs> no, I am dressed, but it just feels, it feels like there's something's untucked, you know what I mean? <coughs> like on RuPaul's Drag Race. What, what? It's more in the quantity of this one, because we had the pink one. The pink one we had the other day, seeing lots of you bought it the other day, but this is brand new today. 12 99 Why? Well, why don't you try it? Oh. Okay, so now we're, Kat's a bit concerned. Do you have any issues with the website? Because every order so far this morning has been a phone order. Very unusual. Oh, apparently there are some web orders now. Yeah. Okay, we have had some web orders. Okay, let's do the navy blue next. Can I do, do navy blue? That's a different chef. 
That's gorgeous. Night sky. Can you imagine curtains made out of that? $12.99. Cat's going to use some for Christmas. Her bathroom. Oh, no, the bathroom's terracotta. Uh. Poor old cat. Poor old cat's boyfriend. He hasn't seen her for weeks. He's sending him, uh, like, um, what are those things called? TikToks of his cat. But yes, she did. Oh, no. Uh, thank you, Helen. Helen said, I've just placed a web order. It was very slow going through. That could be why, because a cat can see some now. She couldn't see any, but she can see them now. So maybe it's just taking it. Okay, if you've got it in your basket, try checking it out. If you want it, obviously, if you want it. Twelve ninety nine, speckled navy, hundred and eight inches wide. Twelve ninety nine. Did your mum have a nice birthday? No, she's on holiday, isn't she? Yeah, and she only had three pairs of shoes. At $12.99. So basically, for Kat's mum's birthday, they did a surprise holiday for her. But she didn't even know she was going, so Kat had to pack a suitcase. But they didn't tell Kat where she was going, so she packed, like, trainers, high-heeled shoes and some slippers. Anyway, $12.99. Jeremy had nothing to do with it. Why? Message from Julie. Morning all. John, you do cheer me up in the morning. I can feel a fabric purchase coming on. Difficult to resist. Julie, get on with it then. The website's a bit slow, Julie, my lovely. Next colour, uh, black. I should be, oh no. Well, yeah, it should be, because if Kat's got to rush off quickly, but there's a spare bag over there on its own, and I'm a bit worried now. Won't it? What have we got to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> $12.99. Fiona. Just, oh, Fiona, going into surgery this morning. Good luck, my lovely. We'll be thinking of you. Marina says, morning, gorgeous. Morning, Marina. No, she's not watching the wrong channel. They're so rude to me sometimes. I don't know how I stick it. Yeah, Jeremy bought me a Starbucks this morning, so he can have a few insults until quarter to nine, and then after that, then he can have to do a delivery later. I'm doing, I'm doing the um, coffee run tomorrow morning, but Jeremy's not in tomorrow. Mind you, poor old Elliot ended up spending a fortune the other day, didn't he? So, <coughs> Morning, John. Oh, here you go, cat, 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 cat. Had to check out twice before my order was accepted. So there is an issue. There is an issue. Keep trying. Don't give up. Keep trying if you're on the web. Or ring, because it's a free phone number, isn't it? Yeah, just round the corner there. In fact, I don't, I don't actually know where they are. All I know is we, I know they're in Redditch somewhere, but I don't know whereabouts. Yeah, I keep saying round the corner, but aren't they just round the corner? Oh, which road are they in? This is white, but it's not white. It's not white. Look, I'll show you. Look, this is white. Morning, John. Need your happy band today. Oh, no, Jackie. She's just tested positive for COVID. You don't go out, Jackie. How on earth have you got it? I know because um, Clive, you know, Clive, he's got it as well, I think. He, he put a little thing on his um, Instagram last night that he got it. He's going for a what's it test, what are they called? PCR test today, I think. To, to double check. 
Oh, no. Oh, I do one every day now. I do a, a what's it every day. What they call lateral flow. <laughs> Mo from the Highlands. I missed the start. Is, the gl is it glittery or spotty? Both. It's speckled, but it's not, it's, it's, um, it's not glittery. It's a gold colour. It's a gold colour. It's not stuck on anything. It's like a gold colour. So imagine a gold paint. That's what it's like. But then the, the other, this one's got white, gold. Is there not a third colour in there? Yeah, like a li light white. A light white. You can see it better. Let me just show you the black one very quickly. I've only got four metres this one left. And there's no plastic bag for this one. So whoever unpacked yesterday. Oh, Vixen have been in a hurry to get away, wouldn't she? So she's forgotten to put that one in the bag. Then I've got grey. Some of them have got bags and some haven't, you see. This is the grey one. Dove, I think we call this one. Oh, no, did I call it dove? Oh, no, it was called dove. Let's, let's see. Speckled dove. Oh, Jackie. How are you feeling, Jackie? Because Clive says he feels awful. He's just slept all day yesterday. 12.99 for half a metre. Remember, it's 108 inches wide. And my son and granddaughter came up from Somerset for a party and they brought it with them. Just shows you can't let your guard down. Jackie, I so agree with you. I so agree with you. I, every time I'm in a shop, my mask goes on. Even though people look at you and say, what have you got your mask on for? No. I washed them all through this weekend, so they're all nice and fresh again. Not weekend. It's only been the week, hasn't it? My weekend, because I'm in here all week. Oh, Yvonne says you're a tonic in the mornings. Is that to go with your gin, Yvonne? I used to have a landlady in London when I first moved to London. She used to have gin and water for her breakfast. Yeah. She said, oh, try it, try it. No, she said, no, just, just drank gin and water every morning. And she walked around the kitchen topless. Oh, no. And she was famous. It's only 12 metres, this one left. Sylve, morning lovely. Delightful lateral flow sound effects. Ours are done by swabbing both nostrils. But that's also... No, on my... No, hang on. On mine, it goes, you go... Oh, 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 oh. You have to do both on mine. Oh, have, have I not read the instructions right? Oh, I better read the instructions, haven't I? I originally, at the beginning, you had to go, oh, oh, like that, didn't you? 12 99 Well, I don't like any of them, but I do them. 12 99 Moving on, Michelle, good morning. Gin and diet soda for Yvonne, so that's right, I'm just the tonic. Please let us know if you have any web problems. Some people seem to be having a few issues with the web this morning. What's one of those? Christmas bundle. It's Christmas, but it's not real. What's the matter? Why? Six. I've got six. Right, what do the graphics say? Okay, so the graphics are right. Ignore the picture on the website. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll just check now. So Kat can say, have you got that one on your picture, Kat? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's right then. Okay, you do get this one. But on the web picture, that's not there. But you do get it. Oh, I love these. I think you can make a beautiful skirt out of that. Not now, because you're going to get half a metre of each of these, aren't you? We will be doing the by the half metre in a moment. Do what? The swabs are shorter on the nose only ones. Oh no, I've got long swabs on mine. Low says both nostrils, yeah, yeah, and the and the throat, yeah. Jackie says, feel like I've got a bad dose of flu, got the cough, you only need one nostril. Oh, I'm going to reread mine then. I'm sitting there gagging away on mine. Uh, we've only had to do the throat swabs for PCR. I've started something off here. 
The new of the boxes of tests only required to have no's. Oh, I'll read it. I'll open a new box tonight then. Depends on the kit they sent you. Well, they should have put it in the letter, shouldn't they? The ones I did said back of the throat and one nostril. Pauline says. And then Julia says, I've just had two tests before and after going to Italy. Both nostrils only. Yeah, when I came back, Julie, Julie, when I came back from Greece, she only did my nostrils. Anyway, look, Christmas fabric's beautiful. So you get the acorns on maroon. You get the beautiful gold and black and white stripe there. You've got the uh, acorns on black. You've got baubles on charcoal. You've got, I love this fabric. You see, that doesn't need to be Christmas if you don't want it to be. And then you've got the um, stars. Now, if you're looking on the web, that one's not in the picture, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely in the bundle. New ones are just the nose. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look then. Because mine are new. Mine are new ones from the NHS. Well, I'll have to have a look. They haven't, don't say anywhere. I just carried on doing it. Beautiful, $39.99. Right, okay, I've, now, hang on. What has happened, you've got to take the, we've just got to take the graphics out for a minute. There'll be no graphics in for a second, but while there are no graphics there, look at these and decide which one of these you'd like to buy by the half metre, because I've got them all coming up now for the half metre. I think this and this would make the most amazing uh, evening skirt. Doesn't have to be Christmas. These are obviously definitely Christmas fabrics, those. You'd use that for binding on a quilt, would you? Oh. Which way would you cut it, Jeremy? Hang on, hang on, hang on. So you'd cut, do it like this, so your binding would look like that. Would be nice, that as a binding, wouldn't it? I wouldn't do it like this, though. Don't do it this way. I mean, you do what you want, but... Oh, no, hang on, I've done that wrong, haven't I? Uh, Chantal says, when we have been for a PCR, it's throat and one nostril for adults and children are both nostrils. Oh. Wrap skirt comes to mind, says Rachel. Exactly. But anyway, which one am I doing? Stripe. This one. I'm doing this one. Right, just to warn you, there's only 10 metres this one left. That sounds like a lot, but it's not. 44 inches wide. Six ninety nine. Gold shimmer, black and gold stripe fabric. Six nine. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. What? What? Oh, Cat thinks this like looks like Louis Vuitton. Essence of Louis Vuitton because she's got those bags. You know the brown bags all the wags have. I can't see you with a designer bag for some reason. No, no. Um, does she? Oh, from QV. Oh, yeah, I know. I saw those sale on the shopping channels the other day. Yeah. Look, the, I love this one. No, no, she might not have done. She might have got it from the airport. At six ninety nine, this is gold shimmer, grey geometric. Just have a look at that while I have a swig of my water because I'm very parched this morning. Your mum loves me, anyway. Six ninety nine. Beautiful. I love this fabric. Now, would you use that as a board or binding, do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, no, I don't know if I would, actually. No. I want it to be the main feature, really. 
It's just suddenly the aircon's just kicked in. It's gone freezing in here. No, I'll do it in the break. I'll do it in the break because I can't expect the guest to stand in this freezing cold. Six ninety nine for half a meter. That's really good for a gorgeous fabric like this. Okay, moving on. The other, the others of the range are very Christmassy. I'd say. You've got your acorns on maroon with gold stars or snowflakes. Got an itchy back. Well, we called it purple. It's not purple. Oh, yesterday, it really was annoying as a viewer yesterday. Fix had all, there, Fix had all this snow going. I thought, oh, that's a cute little thing. And then I came back about an hour later. And then I turned on again a bit later and she went, the snow's still going. And it suddenly stopped him. Where's that come from? So what are you, yeah, what are you doing for tomorrow then? Six ninety nine, gold shim. It's not purple. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful that. I've also got that one in a grey and black. That's not. Oh, it's from Japan. This gold shimmer by Stoff, printed in Japan. Good quality cotton. Six ninety nine. Beautiful. Oh, I can't. Be, I, I've never worked. I'm working on Saturday and Sunday. Right, Saturday we get next. Saturday night, put the clocks back, don't we? So I get an extra hour in bed. I've watched a bit of Hannah forgets. Yeah, no, no, no. She'll be fine, but she'll be an hour. Uh, she'll be an hour early. So she, no, no, but oh, she's always an hour late normally. So she'll arrive on time on Sunday. Maybe. Six ninety nine. Uh, oh, it's not gold shimmer. This one's baubles. Oh, okay, there's only a meter and a half left. This one left. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, a bit late. We had a little visitor staying overnight. Ah. Oh. Thank you. Only forty five minutes late, Teresa. Don't worry. You've missed the the William Morris extra wide quilt backings. Now this. Oh. Now, uh, this one's uh, just one on its own here. They'll have called it purple. It's not purple. There's only two meets this one left. Shining star, this one's called in purple. But as you can see, it's not purple. Maroon or Bordeaux or something like that. Are you dressing up for Halloween? No, Claire, I am not dressing up. Oh, Munch. If Munch was in, he'd be dressed up all the time. When he Vix used to dress up when we were at Rocks and Co. I won't. Six ninety nine. They're not get dressing up where he is then. Two Adams. I think I only know one Adam, don't I? There's our Adam. Adam's tired. That's because he's got twins. Oh, sorry. Right. And it's, it's um, our um, Emma and uh, Rory, R Ryan, Rory, still on holiday. It's a lovely long holiday, though, haven't isn't it? Right, we better do some mandalas. These are panels, by the way. Oh, I picked the wrong one up. Never mind. Look. Now, everyone messaging saying these look like fruit pastels, right? They look like pork pies to me. Uh, $17.99, this, this uh, panel. I don't know what's going on. People coming and going, to in and fro in. $17.99, mindful mandalas. Like, let me hold this one up. Is this definitely the right one? Okay, because I've got a full-on pink one coming up in a minute. It says pink globe, sunflower. Okay, there you go. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, sorry, you want to see it up there? That could be the centre of your quilt, maybe. Or a big floor cushion. Oh, Karen. Oh. 
Oh, Karin in Newcastle. Um, I think when they had them, uh, not from the first day, it was from the second day. Georgia, the second day, hang on. What day did you get it on? When they restocked it, they did say there would be a 10-day delay or something, didn't they? But if you bought, you should have had it if you got it on the first day from me and Stuart. You should have had that by now. Okay, moving on. I haven't got a blue one with the yellow. I haven't got a blue one with the yellow middle. I've got a blue one with... No, that's not got a yellow middle. They've both got blue middles. Which one? That one. This is the one with the yellow middle, apparently, everyone. Look at the middle. It's very yellow. Is it the moon or is it the earth from the moon? Oh, it's lovely. I can see it on my screen. It's beautiful, isn't it? Looks like it's moving. Oh, no, Chantel. I don't know. Ring the call centre, Chantel. We can't actually answer it for me. You should have got that one by now, yeah. Someone else was getting it for their birthday, wasn't it? Their husband had bought it for them for their birthday. It was on Facebook last night. Oh, Karine odds it on the Saturday as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Jan! That's because you don't eat pork pies. Now, Jan, I've got a sad story to tell you, right? When... Debbie Harry was in last time. Uh, anyway, when she was in last time, we talked about Melton Mowbray and I said, that's where the pork pies come from. She brought me in a pork pie today. Uh, and cheese, that to say, I'm vegetarian, I don't do dairy. So Jeremy, Joe and Kat are stuffing their faces with pork pie and not Wensleydale, what is it? Stilton. Stilton. Oh, sorry, not Karin. Car in, like the car insurance, without the insurance, car in. Oh, it was the one for your birthday on Monday. Oh, I'm very confused now. Car in. Just ring the call centre, ring the call centre. You should have had those by now. Uh, morning, John. Love to see these mandana panels. Very striking. Would be lovely to see lap quilt brighten up the winter evenings. Kate, they would, wouldn't they? Especially where you live, because it's quite dismal there in winter, isn't it? Blue or red? Red. Is it not called red? Mindful Mandala by Amy Denia. There's the red one, pink one. Can you see all of that? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> That's not very romantic. He said it looks like a speaker. Oh, I don't know. Where are the bags for these then? Well, yeah, but they were just single things earlier. No, Jeremy. We'll blame Vix. Apparently, Vix did these. I'm opening blue one. There you go. Yeah. Email said there's an issue with the ones they had. Pr oh, okay. Apparently there's an issue with the ones they had printed and they don't want to send out not good quality. That's why there's a delay. So you had an email, did you? Where's Bob in today? No, Bob was only in training. He's in again. Saturday training and then he's in on his own directing on the 6th of November. Poor boy. Jill, so I live in Melton Mowbray and I don't eat pork pies. Good for you, Jill. Oh, it's cold in here. It's freezing. Oh, Jeremy, you got a mouthful of pork pie. Right, I've got an extra wide backing to go with these somewhere. Oh, no. Pork pies remind you of Christmas. Oh, be quiet. It can't be pork if it's a turkey pork pie. Kat said she loves a turkey pork pie. Ooh. Ooh, anyway, look. This is extra wide. This is beautiful. 
Well, no. Julie, you know Julie always orders our Christmas dinner from Marks and Spencers. She went to order it last week, right? And she said, I'd like the I'd like the uh, mashed carrot and swede and what sold out already. They've sold out of our and how do they know? Anyway, it's sold out already to, for delivery on Christmas Eve. Anyway, uh, we don't go, we're not going to go into lockdown, are we, this Christmas? Because, sorry, dear, I put it on, I put it out there already. I'll put it on the table. Thanks, John. That's right. Spent every first day of my school year teaching the teachers how to stay my name. Oh, this is car insurance. Car insurance. That's that's you now. Car insurance. It's German. Oh. Carden. Oh, yeah, I can do it like that. Carden. Insurance. 12.99. Which one do you want to eat to? The William Morris, yes, of course. I'll let, because Joe will be folding this out. Of. Which one would you want to do? Oh, that's not William Morris. Right, William Morris, Strawberry Thief. You see, that one's got a bag, Jeremy. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. 108 inches wide, remember. This is not in number one position. We thought it would be. A, a lot of the stock's gone. Quarter of the stock's gone already. And we had lots of it. But we thought, you know, thought this one would be the most popular. Brand new today, 14 99 You don't have to use it for backing. Make nice dresses out of it. Be lovely. What's the matter? Oh, Lowe's off for two weeks in the motorhome over Christmas to Scotland. Be nice. Okay, last before we go for a break. Now, well, I, you see, I thought I was doing Christmas Day, but nobody's mentioned it since. So maybe it's not me. Here you go. Then there's this one here. Oh, I love this. I can see why this is the most popular. I love it. Can you see that? Has Jeremy got enough of it in the shop? Yes, he says. That accent sounds like a cross between Irish and Welsh. What was it? My German. <laughs> My German accent. Karl is krankt, Herr Dr. Weber kommt zu ihm. I know. Beautiful, isn't it? It's like someone's chalked it. You know those chalk drawings they do on pavements? That's what it looks like, isn't it? This is the most popular and I can see why. Uh, 14 99 Life is pleating. Why am I singing Rocky Horror Show? £14.99. pence. I need to go to the theatre. I haven't been to the theatre for such a long time. No. Blimey, what's happened? It's five to nine and Haley's in. Did you have a school run to do or something this morning? Why are you in already? You never arrived for half past ten. Oh, I was leaving at one, that's why. <laughs> uh, could you buy, when you're out next, could you buy some air fresheners? No, no, you don't smell. John, how much of the backing fabric would I need for a dress, please? Oh, Eileen, would depend on the dress, I suppose. As long as you bought... Oh, Eileen, I suppose what you'd need to make sure you do is whatever the longest pattern piece is, is have that much. Because if you think you cut your front, your other front, and your back all out of that, depends if it's got sleeves as well. Um... You know what I mean? As long as you've got the length of the dress, I think you'd be all right. So if your dress was like, oh, I don't know, 100 centimetres, you just need a, just over a, a metre, a metre and a half or something, wouldn't you? Or what, it's difficult to say without knowing what pattern you're on, because you might want to pattern match as well. That's the only trouble. There's 274 centimetres wide, 108 inches wide, this one. Half the stock of this one's gone already. We're going for a break now. When we come back after break, we're making a dolly. Aren't we, Jeremy? Where's the picture? Brand new, brand new dolly pattern, rag doll pattern there from Debbie Harry from when she used to be in Blondie. 
Don't eat any. That's, is that the only Blondie song I know? Glass, and that glass. Does what? Oh, they're going on pre-order. They are going on pre-order, so please be careful. We will see you in four minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school. Um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well. So that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see. Um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Everything was going so well and I moved in. She fell over like that. So how gorgeous is she, Millie? Right, Millie, Millie, Millie. How beautiful is this? Shall we have a good look at her? $24.99. You get everything you need in that except the stuffing. Uh, isn't she lovely? Gorgeous. Even the little handbag look with the plaited hand. Can we see the stills, Jeremy, before we go? Oh, we can now see it there. $24.99. So now, there you go. There she is sitting down in front of the mandala. There she's standing up. There's her face. This is lovely. Look at the face, all embroidered there. We're going to be showing you how to do that. Bag. Cute. Pocket. Shoes. Ballet slippers. And a bone hair. And a scrunchie as well. Right, OK, so hang on. I've got two different colourways. So that must be this one here with the light hair. So let me explain, right? So this one has lighter hair, slightly lighter skin, and the, the gingery, blondy, what colour is that? Honey. honey hair, honey hair, honey hair, right? So, in your kit, you get your instructions. Let me move that out of the way. You get your instructions, right? You get your ball of yarn, your double knit mariner yarn for the hair. You get the black felt for the shoes. You get the uh, skin tone. Is that one called? No. That one's not tan. Then you get your denim for your dress. Then you get your Liberty Wiltshire Shadow for your blouse. Then you get your embroidery thread, your embroidery thread, and your embroidery thread. Don't need anything else. Oh, stuffing. You need some stuffing in a minute. $24.99. Let me show you through the instructions. Well, look, 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 look. Who was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. How thorough are they? And all your templates. And blaz, dress, everything you need. 24 knickers. It's got knickers on the back page. We're not allowed to talk about underwear. Right, so that's the first one. So that's called Honey. Honey, that one's called. So that makes this one. Oh, there goes a picture of it there. Right, then the... <laughs> uh, so I think she might be looking... Uh, I don't think that works somehow. There we go. That's better. Right, that was, that was honey. Now this one is called... Ooh. Oh, dark blue. <laughs> it's called, she hasn't got dark blue hair. She hasn't got dark blue hair. She's got black hair. She's got um, felt for her shoes, slightly, see, I'd say that was called, that's more tan, isn't it? Look, that's tan, isn't it? See, this one's the most popular so far. You get your dark denim for your dress. You get your pink polka dots for your blouse. Excuse me a moment. And your knickers. Let's have, to have a quick look. Uh, embroidery thread and instructions and everything in there, 24 99 That one is the most popular. That one's the most popular. We haven't got one of those here. Are you working in that colourway? You've seen that one in a minute. Right, you will also need some stuffing. Super soft toy and cushion filling. $3.99. Oh, one will be enough, won't it? Mmm, mm. mmm. Mm. <laughs> oh no, my dog doesn't know what to do when you say Millie, 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 fetch. <laughs> Millie, fetch. Oh, you might need, a, now do you need an embroidery hoop? Yeah. yeah, you need an embroidery hoop as well. Nice. If you haven't already got one, I'll wait for the graph to go. Uh, it's a little one to do <laughs> her face. Uh, 14 and a half centimetres, 5.8 inches, 3.99. Put, we didn't put them in the kit because you might already have stuffing and you might already have a, an embroidery hoop. Whoop. 
Let me sell earrings. They say that all the time. Right. Debbie Harris. Hello. Thank you for my pie and my cheese. <laughs> I've told them already. Have you mentioned it already? Yes. Oh, I had a message. Hang on. Hi, Debbie. Great to meet you in our hometown. Been looking forward to your show. Hi, John and team. Sarah from Melton oh, Mowbray. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You like pork pies, Sarah? We had a message from somebody earlier who said they lived in Melton Mowbray. Jill, but she doesn't like pork pies either. Mm. And there's no pork pie left. Jeremy and Kat have eaten it all, just so you know. <laughs> uh, right, OK. So where? who is Millie? Millie is actually named after my Labrador that I lost a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. So that's where I got the name from right. because I wanted to bring Millie into, into one of because my who's, designs. Who's, oh no, hang on. Now you've called yourself Debbie Harris Designs here, but aren't you called Mabel and Fred or something? Well, I've got lots of names now. Yeah, well, we know that, but we're, we're keeping it real now. <laughs> Keep it clean. So who's so I'm Mabel? Ma Ma Mabel is the cat. Right. See, I'm big into my pets, Joe. Yeah, that's right. You so Mabel's still with us. Mabel, oh, Mabel's still with us, yeah. 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 Deb's yeah. is you. I'm Deb. Yeah. yeah. And this is Millie. And this is Millie. Your dog in heaven. Who was my dog in heaven. Oh. Yeah. So like how to bring many more to pets have you got there? That's it. So what are you going to do when you design your next thing? I then? don't know. We did have a, we had a, when I lived at home, we had Jasper. He yeah. was uh, my favourite dog. Apart from Millie, of course. Yeah, of course. So I might have to bring a Jasper in. Or you get a new dog. Oh, well, don't tempt me, John. Don't tempt me. I'm going to get a dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not yet. Not yet, not what yet. What are you getting? Uh, a lurcher, I thought of, oh. yeah. Well, it depends. Because when I lived in the countryside, I, I live in the countryside <coughs> now, I was going to get a lurcher. But I've decided I'm going to retire to a, a riverside flat in York. Oh, so I thought I think, you were going to New York. No, no, I used to. Everyone say it. Because it said, said, said New that. York. No, it, it, said, it says York. Oh, I thought it said New York. No, so many people have said to me, because I used to live in New York with a girl called Donna when we worked together and she was from South London and she messaged going oh it's not the same as it was now <laughs> Barney's has moved because our apartment overlooked Barney's it was like no 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 not New York oh, York. York oh I'd like to live in York yeah well I lived there once for three months and it rained every day so I thought I'd never go back but last week when I went to Pavers I had to stay in the city centre and went walking around and oh, I thought beautiful. you can get everywhere from the beautiful. city centre flat get to the station get to coffee shops it's lovely anyway did, did you go to the train museum no, you I was have working. To, oh, you have to go to the train museum. I'm not really interested in trains. Oh, you have to. We have to go. It's it's the, it's the, it's the, what you have to do when you're oh, in no, York. Oh no, no. Uh, when I lived in York, and then afterwards, I made a lot of the costumes for the Yorvik Centre. Oh, did you? But I don't know if they still use them because that was like for forty. Oh, quite a long time quite ago. Quite a while ago. Yes. Why has that one got stuck? Cat. Yeah. Why has that got stuck? Shall we go on with Millie anyway? What Shall do we? we? Right, so because we've got Shall lots we? to cover, haven't we? So, we have got lots to cover. Where do we start? Because there's a lot to there's a lot of parts to this pattern. Yeah. Um, in terms of starting, I've got my little my mini hoop because right. I prefer to use a mini one. But if you were using the bigger hoop, you could just. So what I've done, what I've done, back up, back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have cut as you can see. You've got the templates in the pattern. So I have. Cut around the template, right? And then I use a smaller hoop. Oh, okay. So then. if you were going to use the bigger hoop, yeah, I would suggest don't or, cut it. Don't cut it out. So take your bigger piece of material, which I've not quite. I've not got one of those. Yeah, no, no, me. like this. So you, oh, it's a fat quarter. Sorry, I said it's a fat quarter. Yeah, yeah. fat quarter. Right. So <laughs> what you would do is you'd place that up there. Like that while that piece of fabric is I still... Would, I would draw all the pattern pieces out there because it's quite tight, that okay. fat quarter. Yeah. So all of the pattern pieces are cut on the mirrored image. Right. So fold the fat quarter in half. Yeah, like that. Oh, I've got a glamorous assistant. Look. Yeah. Fold uh, it in fold half. Fold it in half. Draw it. Draw it on. Don't cut it out. Don't cut it out. If you're going to use the big hoop. If you're going to use a big hoop. you then put the big hoop there where the face yeah. is and embroider the face. Yes. Then you take that off and then, and then you cut, cut the it panel out. Because if you cut out thin, you can't then put it like A you, big hoop, yeah. Unless you've got a little mini hoop at I home. Li I like this mini hoop, yeah. you see, because right. then it, it's, I mean, they're both, they do the same job, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, this, I find this easier to handle. Yeah. So, once you've cut your templates out, do remember to do the mirror image, especially when it comes to the... Um, clothes which we'll come on to soon yeah. um, so I've traced the face now I've got a light box at home which I I couldn't manage without now but trace the face trace the face from the pattern here mm -hmm. so there's the face so I've used a friction pen to pop that over the light box and trace the face onto there embroider it mm -hmm. so I was going to show you a bit of the embroidery Please. of the face 
Melanie, I'm afraid the pattern is not available on its own, just in the kits. So with the face, I have, let me just talk you through the, the different yeah, elements yeah, of yeah. it. So this is how I started to sew it. I've used, um, I call it a whipped back stitch. Right. Um, I think if you Google whipped back stitch, it isn't the version I've done here, but it's right. like, it's a back stitch, but I go sort of half a stitch back. So you know how a back stitch is normally just, can you see on here? Yeah, yeah, Jeremy's If a back in. stitch oh, yeah. is normally sort of like this. Yeah. The way I have done it so that it stands out more is to do your stitch and then the second one, almost like a brick effect. Yep. So I'm going half a stitch over and then on top of that half halfway yep, over the stitch before, mm -hmm. just so it gives it that definition, John. Yeah. So I've done the, I'd start with the eyebrow first, yeah. then the top of the eye, mm -hmm. and then with the white, which is a, just an off white that comes in the kit. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a really nice shade, this one. I also, and it's all in the pattern, you can see, I just do a, a highlighted line above that eye, so it just really makes that eye pop. Can you see it on yours there? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Just yeah. so it really gives yeah, it a Yeah, you haven't done nice... it on yours yet, have you? No, I've not yeah. done it on this one here. Yeah, I'll put it down so you can in see In fact, I might do that now. Can you see, look, there's a, or well, you might see there's a little white line just going along the top of that part of the eye. Yeah. And that just makes it, I just thought it was a nice little highlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. there so you go, sit on that one. Ooh. That's it. There you go. So I'll do that here. Perfect. Um, so using obviously your embroidery thread thread comes with six strands mm -hmm. so i've just separated it with two strands take right. two out i'm uh, obviously being covid secure over here john it's just me touching it yeah so just two strands for the nose and the mouth i use just one strand because they're not as defined but obviously you can decide how you want to do the face of course Oh, look, it's only put one through. Let me double that up. <coughs> it is quite um, tricky to split the uh, the thread, isn't it? The embroidery thread. Yeah. There we go. So you can see on this, this is the eye. So I'm just going to do a white highlight line above this um, eye on the right. So I'm going just above that black line. And then I do it just with the hoop, I find it easier to go up with the stitch and down with the stitch rather than if I was doing it without the hoop, I'd just go yes, up okay. and down in yeah. one in one move. Mm -hmm. So you can see now I'm then going in halfway past the first stitch. Mm -hmm. Donna says the Viking Museum and the Cathedral are well worth a look in York. Well, I used to li I, the room I used to rent when I lived in York overlooked the cathedral when I lived there. I was in the roof, and so my Velux window used to overlook oh, the, the cathedral. I'd, I'd love to live. My family are from Yorkshire, and I'd just love to live up there. Well, West, well it's not in West Yorkshire, but I went to college in West Yorkshire, and I absolutely love it. Oh, up there. it's beautiful. And you nice and central there, aren't you? In your, you can go well, to the it's coast. funny because the, uh, the hotel I stayed in, the nearest coffee shop was in the station. So I got a coffee, and I didn't oh. want to stay in the coffee shop because it was little and hot and crowded. So I just sat on one of the platforms, and then I looked up. And you could be like in London yeah. in two hours, you could be in Edinburgh in two hours, you could be in Birmingham in just over an hour. Perfect. How, Scarborough in an hour, mm -hmm. less than an hour. Yeah. And yeah. I hadn't caught trains for years and years and it was quite exciting. Not, I wasn't being a train spotter, but it was quite exciting seeing these big yeah. trains come into the station. Well, my eldest son and his girlfriend live in London. Uh -huh. So we often, when we go down to see them now, we go on the train, the Azuma train. Yeah. And it's 55 minutes mm. from Grantham straight down yeah. to King's Cross. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, is that where Melton Mowbray is then? That's where Melton Mowbray Near is. Grantham. Near Grantham, yeah, about half an hour from... How far are you from Louth? Oh, quite a while is that from... Is what, miles away? Yeah. Now? That's just Lincoln to us. Yes, yeah, so my friend li Anne lives in Louth. Oh. She's watching. And we used to live in Louth. Oh. So, that's that white highlight. So you can see how... I, I like the hand stitching at night, John. Yeah. I just sit in front of the TV and do a bit of, I find it very therapeutic. Get a lovely native light and do you have your lights. Yeah. Oh, we've got a couple on the website today, if you want to have a look at those. It's just, yeah, you, your lighting's got to be right, hasn't it? Yeah. I sit there with all the lights on in the room. Looks like Blackpool. Oh. So that's that highlighted there. So you yeah, can you, see, see, you can see how it makes see a how difference. see how different yeah, that yeah. looks. It just really makes it pop. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see here on this left eye that I've drawn it out, copied it from the pattern with my friction pen, and then I just do exactly the same with this side. And then the nose, as I said, and the mouth is just one And strand. what's that blue stitch? Is that like a satin stitch? The yeah, blue so stitch? this is just a satin stitch here. So right. I've done the whipped back stitch, as I call it, on the eyes here. Yeah. And then this is a satin stitch. Now, when I, is this one still? I'll just quickly show you that because this is how I, I'm always looking for or try to, especially when I'm writing a pattern, make it as, as easy and pain free as possible, mm -hmm. you know. Why make, oh, it's got a knot in that end. Why make hard work of it? Just exactly. keep it nice and simple. So just quickly, I'll show you and then I'll move on to the body and the rest of Millie. Okay. I can never thread this, you know. My glasses don't help, John. Eh? Well, when, you, when you're <laughs> trying to thread this, when you know everyone's thinking, come on, hurry up and yeah, thread it. We want to see you. We want to see you do the face. Um, you also, I just to see you will need a little bit of elastic and a little yes. bit of Velcro as well. <coughs> and lightweight interfacing. Oh, lightweight interfacing. Because what I did... Oh, this is not going to thread, John. Don't worry, don't worry. Do, do oh, it's done. I've done, 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 done. Done, it, done it. So I have, again, it explains in the pattern. You see at the back, yeah. I have put some very lightweight iron-on interfacing yep, just over the shoulders mm -hmm. and the head right. because that just stabilises that front um, head. And I do it on the back as well because you're going to do each of the hair strands or one piece of uh, yarn. Oh, the back of the head, yeah, yeah. So the fine. back of the head, the front of the head, that mm -hmm. stabilises it. But just looking at this eye, the satin stitch, so I always went from the inside edge, so I'm doing the blue of the eye, the yeah. iris, to the outside edge. And the reason you do that, especially when you come to do the black, the pupil, and the white highlighted in the centre there, mm -hmm. it then allows you to get as close to that stitch there as you can right rather than there being a gap mm -hmm. and uh, this is how i did it just to try and break it down because i think if you do one stitch after another it seems to take a long time to fill that eye what um what jane says what size hoop are you using mm. what is it four four we, inch we've got four inch ones on the four website inch hoop. we've got four inch ones on the website and i just find that nice and it's very easy to handle because uh -huh. it is so small. So, with your blue. So now, now the, um, this Millie's got green eyes, has she? Yeah, so one Honey's of the kits. got green eyes. One of the kits is green, yeah, and, and the other one is the blue. Yeah. So no, I'm the other. Oh, yeah, yeah, blue, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So They're neck and neck at the moment, by the way. The neck and neck. Mm -hmm. So, can you see how I'm almost doing it like a. Oh, yeah. Oh, Can't. so you're not starting off doing them all close together? No, I, I find it easier, not easier necessarily, but it just is, seems easier to do it by doing it like this. So it's like a cartwheel effect. Uh huh. And then you're kind of just filling in the gaps. Right. Because, because of the shape of the eye, with it being the, the, well, it's an oval, isn't it, the shape? That way, you've kind of got your guide marks yeah. for which direction the stitches and are going in. And also, by doing those guides, you because if you're just doing it round, it could, they could start slanting yeah. more and more yeah. if you got round, couldn't they? And yes. by the time you get round to the far end, they could be on You'd a be real weird it angle. You'd be doing it almost vertically, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. So that's how I would suggest doing the stitching around Brilliant. the eye. And then, when I go back round the eye, I then do them quite close. Oh, that one's coming through, look. Yeah. Where's that one appeared from? It's come through from the back, hasn't it? Because um, I didn't tie my knot off quite so close. And then I start doing them close to... I love doing this. I love sitting and doing embroidery. Yeah. And then you can fill in those gaps. Mm -hmm. But you know then that your stitches are all going in the nice, even direction. And they're all nice and facing towards that centre of the eye. So that's how to do the eye. And then okay. as I say, when you then do the pupil part, yeah. the black part, um, you would then do it exactly the same and start from that centre line going out. Right. So that when you're, imagine if this was the black thread, yeah. when I come up there, I can then, when I'm going back in, go right up tight 
to that stitch mm -hmm. on the iris. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So that's how to do the face. Perfect. Once that is done, if you're obviously using that bigger hoop, then cut out the shape of your body. Of course. <coughs> and I just wanted to talk, John, about the hair. Because with, with the, the uh, Millie that you've got there, she's got pale um, toned skin and pale hair. Right. So the hair looks quite nice against the skin. Where there's a contrast, so with the other kit, with the black hair, you've got the very dark hair against the paler skin tone. So what I've put in the pattern, and I just wanted to explain this actually. Do we do the hair? Uh, uh, do we do the hair now, or do we do the hair later? I would do the hair. The, it's the last thing I do. Is okay, the hair. that's fine. That's but you kind just of give my... us a tip on on the, the thing now. Yeah. Well, right. this is the head still. Right. Because you'll see on this one. I, mean, oh, I didn't show you this one see. earlier, John. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. this, although it looks a little bit strange at the moment, I'll explain what I've done. It looks I've like done. you. She's good looking, isn't she? <laughs> she is, she's a beautiful dog. Absolutely. She does look a bit like me now. I've had yeah. my hair cut, doesn't she? Yeah. Um, wonder where I got that idea from. <laughs> so the reason I've done this, because it does look a little bit strange at this point, and you can see on my pattern, I've given you the templates for this. Yeah. Because when I was making the doll originally, before, as a, before I wrote the pattern, when you do the black against the white skin, it just, you can see you all the individual... Patches. Just, yeah. Yeah. So I found just putting that darker material fabric there. No, 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 it's very sensible. And it actually gives it a really nice look because I've zigzagged around the edge. So it looks like a nice hairline. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the templates for that, don't worry about that, right. are in here. So you only need to do that one if, you, if you've got the black haired one. But if you're doing the pale haired one, the honey coloured hair one, you don't need to worry oh, about no, that. No, because it, you don't see the no. where there's no hair. Oh, I see. So, and so before I've, you sew it together, you need, so is that black felt or is that black fabric? This is just black fabric. Oh, black, oh, black fabric. Okay, yeah. yeah. From your stash. Um, for just from your stash, yeah. yeah. And then for the back of the head, I've obviously done the whole head. Yeah. So this back, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the interface in here mm -hmm. and then you've got that. I didn't glue it on. It's loose. Right. I just put a zigzag stitch across the bottom because that will get sewn in a into second the scene. Uh, into the seam. Brilliant. So in terms now of the, the body and putting Millie together. Mm -hmm. So there are your two pieces for your front and back. So they're obviously the head and the body are together. And then with the arms and the legs, so it does explain in the pattern how many of each to cut out, because you need four of each. Yeah. So you've got the front of the arm, the back of the arm, they're exactly the same. And I'm now going to start constructing how to put it together. Right. So these are the arms, right. these are the legs. So for the legs and the arms, I've just sewn right around the seam, leave a turning gap for the arm in the back of the arm. Right. Of about two or three inches. So oh, I was going to say you're not going to stuff it first, but you're going to stuff it I'm going to stuff later, it at yeah. the end, yeah. yeah. So I've, again, the pattern shows you where to leave the stuffing mm -hmm. um, area. So at this point, I've not sewn up that end because mm -hmm. that can be open. That's going to be in the seam. Mm -hmm. This is open and you can see how I've pressed it at the, before so that it's nice and um, substantial yeah. so that you can sew it up when you've filled it. Perfect. With the legs, slightly different, John. So mm -hmm. I've sewn them up, gone round all the seam, yeah. left the filling gap at the back yeah. of the leg, but before you stitch it onto Millie, you then press these seams together that way and sew across the top. Right. So that is, and make sure the foot, so you've got the kicking foot, is towards you. Yeah, of course. So that when you put it together, I think you're the right way. Well, yeah, otherwise uh, you'd have one, you'd have her doing fifth position in ballet and if you turn them on the other way, wouldn't you? Yeah, so um, that's how I did it. So you've got all your pieces here, two arms, two legs and your front and back of your body. Mm -hmm. So this is how we're going to construct her. Now, it depends how you want the position of the arms, but what if you sew the, the arms like this, let me show you, then you can end up with the finished doll being a little bit like that. But she might be cheerful. So if you wanted a cheerful doll, Ray. then that would be, that's how oh, you would okay, sew yeah, them so on. Okay, yeah, so be careful, yeah. So I would just say be careful because these shoulders are round. It does matter where you sew them on as to how it looks when it's finished. Right, you home. So I like them kind of this direction so that she's nice and and yeah, friendly, course. but not too excitable. Yeah. 
So um, then. Sorry, Donald, it's a four inch embroidery hoop that Deb is using. So I'm going to then bring the arms across her body mm -hmm. like this. So she's crossing her arms like this. And then we're going to tack these in place. So I'm just going to pin all use your clips yep. those in place leaving i'm just going over by about a quarter of an inch so that i know that is going to get sewn in nicely on mm -hmm. that seam same with the other side just a little bit of movement here in terms of making sure you're not sewing the other arm in does that make sense yes so i'll tack those two in do, oh, oh. do that now uh, christine says morning debbie Morning. Julie got her native light yesterday. She can't wait for it to arrive. Oh, then. Did you have native lighting on yesterday? Oh, that's on someone with Kara yesterday. Or do you mean you received your native light that you bought last week with me? <coughs> I'm changing the... Um, uh, so I'm um, the length, not the length of the stitch the width of my, where my needle is, okay. so that it's within the seam allowance. Yeah. And what are your seam allowances? Quarter of an inch? It's a quarter of an inch, yeah. but I'm just taking that across because all you're doing here is tacking that arm in. Yeah. So I'm just going around that seam. And I don't need to do a forward and back stitch there because mm -hmm. that's... Oh, the settings might have been changed since they, we last Yeah, year. that's it. It's um, You get so used to your own machine. Yeah, exactly. That then when it's slightly different, it throws you off a little bit. So same with the other arm. And you can, if you're not happy with the way the arms are positioned when you've finished, you can, of course, adjust them with your stuffing and doing a couple of tacking stitches yeah. afterwards as well. So there's the arms sewn in. So I'm going to pin those together because when we sew around this edge, we don't want those arms getting in the way. So right. I'm going to put them out the way, well out the way of this seam allowance uh -huh. and just pin them. Then the same with the legs. So just make sure that your legs are, as I say, facing you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to then put them up. So she's kicking up like a ballerina, yeah. as we just said. So make sure it's facing you. And put it the other way and again I'm going to tack these in and then I'll show you how to sew the top of the body or the back as it is isn't it yeah at this stage I love how it always feels like you're sort of really creating a character with a doll it's just so nice when it starts coming yeah. together so again tack her down or this leg within the seam allowance Honey, do you mean? Honey's in the lead. Oh. Not by much, but honey's in the lead now. I can't decide which one. I, which one do you like best, John? Well, I haven't seen that one made up yet. Ah, oh, good point. But I do like black hair and blue eyes. I think that always looks lovely. Yeah. Oh, because the one on the pattern's got actually got dark brown hair, hasn't that's it? That's a different on the... one altogether, yeah, yeah. That's my sort of original design is with the, the brown hair. Yeah. So she's even more like me, you see, John. So, the legs are now stitched on, and I'm going to do exactly the same with those legs. Bring them into the middle of the body. Mm -hmm. Neatly, only neatly in terms of so that it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah. You don't have to be too precise with where they are, as long as they're out of the way. Mm -hmm. Then, the back of the body goes face down, so it's right sides facing on top of the front. And all the arms and legs. And I'm going to pin quite, I'm not a massive pinner normally, but on here I am going to pin quite well because I don't want those arms and legs popping out. Yeah. So I'm making sure that I can Would you use pins rather than clips then? For well, this? I, yeah, I'm, I'm a, generally I do use the clips, but I just, I find the pins are a bit more, they tend to be a bit more secure if you're securing pieces in. Yeah. And because those arms and legs, you really don't want them being in the wrong position at this yeah. stage. Do you want to do clips? We've got them back in stock. Yeah. Oh, graphics coming in now. There you go. Nine 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 for 50 <coughs> of them. <coughs> right. Okay. So you've got Millie now all pinned together, arms and legs in the centre. And I'm going to sew from here all the way round to here. So this will be my, that I'll leave that gap open 
so that I can stuff or fill the head and the body. Right. So I'll do that now and then you can see what's Right, I'm going to ask you a question now. Go on. Why did you, <coughs> why have you left the stuffing point at the bottom and not at the side? So the stuffing point is going to be at the bottom so that when you look at Millie, she, you won't see the seam. The, the raw seam, if you like, that you're going to hand sew will be at her bottom behind right. her. Right, okay. So that's why I did it uh -huh. that way. <coughs> But of course, she'll, she'll have clothes on, but because, yeah, 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 yeah. because the clothes, you can take them <coughs> off and make yeah. different clothes, mm -hmm. you just want it to be neat, don't yeah. you, that seam. So now I'm going to put my stitch width back to 3.5. So it's in the middle. So it's in the middle because this is just your quarter inch. Well, actually, it's 5.6 on this machine, isn't it? Because I'm... Oh, I don't know. On, my, on the Juki, it's 5.6. That gives you your quarter of an inch yeah. seam because I've just got a normal foot on. So, all the way around. Because you're double sewing now, those yep. arms and legs in. Careful around the corner. Now, when you come to the shoulder, in between the shoulder and the head, just raise the foot, pivot, and just do a couple of stitches, or three stitches, so that you're getting around that seam in that corner. Mm -hmm. And then just pivot again. Take it slowly round the head so that you're following the shape of the, the head. Because of course with it being a doll you want it to be quite symmetrical both sides and, yeah. and even. <coughs> Just taking your pins out as you go. And she is. So again when I get to this side, mm -hmm. raise the foot and just do three stitches and that then takes you to the correct seam allowance to start again on this shoulder around the corner it's quite satisfying when you go over the arms and legs again because yeah. you know that they're secure <clears throat> yeah around towards the top of this leg and at this point i'm going to so have you caught a bit of the leg in it? A little bit yeah, of the leg, yeah. yeah, just so that that's secure. So there you are. I'm just going to cut all these little, these long ends off the automatic thread cutter. It's not cutting the bobbin one lot for some reason. So there she is. Let's get them out of the way. So I'm going to cut into the seam here without cutting the stitches uh -huh. near that neck and head joint of again course. just so that it takes the bulk out of those edges yeah so when you turn it out that fabric will sit nice and evenly and now you're going to turn her the right way out just now, be careful of those be pins careful though, of yeah. those pins yeah i'm going to take those out and here she is. This is where the magic happens. Oh yes. I love it. I Looks love like a it. frog. <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't look quite so glamorous at the moment, no. does she? Come on, here she is, look. So make sure you I'm just using my my thumb. I'm not uh, using a pointy tool or anything. Yeah. So you can really get in around those seams so they're nice and even. And the shoulder. Mm-hmm so that they're nice and pushed out, ready for when you're filling. And there she is. Oh. And she just comes together then quite quickly. And as you said earlier, John, so that, that on the back, you've got your two holes here to fill each of the legs. Yeah. And then I hand stitched that with a slip stitch yeah. once the filling was in. Uh, same with the arms. So the seam here, the filling seam, is underneath so it's mm -hmm. out of the way and here so the way i still i'm not going to show you how to fill it today no 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 but start with the head and uh, for those of you who make toys and things like that you'll know this very well you need more stuffing than you realize yeah. don't you yeah definitely so really push it in i like to use a crochet hook i use the end of this one um so that I am, I mean, a wooden stick is often better, isn't it? Because it doesn't then pull the yeah. stuffing oh, back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. To push the stuffing, the filling, right up into those seams because you want a really nice even finish when you filled her, especially the head. Yeah, we, ha we also have, we have them in stock, um, Kat, those um, 
They're called hemostats. They're like, a, we call them needle grippers, where you can take your stuffing and push it right up yeah. into, they're like a pair of blunt pair of scissors that you grab your stuffing with and put them in. Yeah, that, that would be particularly good in the thumb. Yes. Because this thumb part, I mean, I'm, I do another Millie that's much bigger, but this version, the smaller one, that thumb is quite tiny. Tight, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just pull a little bit of the stuffing off, roll it up in a ball, and push that into the thumb so that the stuffing doesn't come out. Fill it quite tight, especially in the head, mm -hmm. because you want that to hold the hair, because there's quite a lot of yarn in that hair. Yes. So there's a bit of weight in it, which is why I've reinforced it with the interfacing. Mm -hmm. So lots of stuffing here. The arms and the legs, I tend to put less stuffing in nearer the joints. Right. Because that then just allows it a bit more movement. Yeah. And then lots of stuffing here in the yeah. neck. Oh, yeah, because you don't want a floppy head. Because you don't do want, you? unless you want a floppy head. Yeah. Depends. You know, I like it quite firm. Jeremy's got a floppy head. I like, I like her to sit up when she's sat. Uh, fill the body and then hand stitch that seam closed. So you yeah. just turn that over by your quarter of an inch. Be careful that that raw edge doesn't fray. It might be an idea to zigzag that at yeah. this stage because it does fray a little. And then turn that under and as you hand stitch that down make sure you're going over those stitches that have secured the legs yeah then you fill the, the toes the feet the legs in the same way again leave these bits near the joints quite loosely filled so that you can then sit her up yes and that then is millie doll herself complete but she's bald She's bald. Well, no, yours isn't. Yours has got a little well, Lulu got, Brooks haircut. She's got she? um, yeah, a little short, short haircut, hasn't she? Bald. So at this point, I would then once you're stuffed. Yeah, I so mean, you've got to, basically you've got a naked doll. You've that's got bald. a naked doll with no hair. Yeah. So in the pattern, I've then moved on to the hair. So let's show okay, you that then. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got plenty of time. So here, oh, quite miraculously, is quite miraculously. There she is. Look nicely. Nicely filled, and you can see what I mean by her arms. So now you've gone back to the the green one. There. This is the green yeah. one. Yes, yeah. because I wanted to show you. I thought if I do the example on the black, you perhaps you won't, won't see, see it. it. Yeah, exactly. That's so fine. I've, That's I've fine. gone with this sample. Yeah. Now you can see her arms here. When I filled this one, her arms were quite high up like this. Right. So I've just done a slip stitch over the joins just to bring them down. But you can see she's not absolutely perfect because. Who is? We're not, are we? Well, We're, some of us are. Well, but, obviously yeah. you are, John. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the furthest from perfect in this room, but there you go. But, um, yeah, it doesn't matter that they're too far out. And you can see where I've done that slip stitch to fill her in the joints yeah. and on the back, a little bottom. So that's what your Millie doll will look like at this stage. Brilliant. So, uh, Julie says, morning to you both. Fluff, oh, fluff in the feed dogs stops the button bottom thread cutter oh that's useful to know isn't it oh. i haven't got a brush here no 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 but actually you when you land a mark all use that machine so we do. yeah i do give and it, none of you clean it, they I, all just leave uh, it right hang on a second john i do i put a new needle in when i come oh all right and but i do didn't, clean it but we didn't this morning this morning i didn't clean the feed dogs fine apologies i'll do it before no, don't i don't apologize at all it's our fault I do, you've got to look that. after your machine yeah exactly or, well, you're yeah. the only ones that are allowed to use it you see so because we're, tr we're, we're trained jukey jukey yeah. people oh i love it love it Anyway, go on, you've got your naked so doll. So here she is, and this is the, obviously the, uh, the black yarn that we're using. Okay. Now, it depends on how long you want the yarn, is how long you want the hair. Right. Now, I like, the reason I made this doll is, one, I love dolls and loved them when I was little. What I wanted in a doll when I was little, because I had a rag doll, but she had fixed hair. Right. And all I wanted to do was Just play, play with, the with the hair, plait the hair, put it in ponytails. So each individual piece of yarn is threaded onto the head, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Okay. I prefer it quite long. So I would recommend doing it, I can't remember what I put in the pattern, 14 inch lengths. Right. However, the second one I did, I went to 16 inch, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. But only in the, the longer obviously your thread is, the longer your hair. So that's yeah. 16 inch. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're gonna half it because you're gonna loop it round. So you can see that from the top of the head, it goes down to the bottom of her body. But when you're doing the ones at the back of her head, it's right, the way right down, down there, to yeah. her knee. But at least then you've got plenty to play with it. And you can we always can cut, cut it. Yeah, exactly. You can always cut it. 
So this is how I've done the hair. So John. if you wanted a short, spiky one, if you were making one that was a bit like a child that you had or something, you, yes. want, you just use shorter bits of yarn. Shorter bits of mm -hmm. yarn, okay. yeah. And I'll tell you what does look nice, and I'm going to make one this weekend with uh, the alpaca boucle. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, so yes, it's yes. Got yes. Like the ringlets. So it's that Hannah hair. Hammer hair. Hannah. You know oh, Hannah is normally hair. in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. I thought Hannah. you said hammer. I thought. No. So here we are. I've turned her over. I start from the nape of the neck and work towards the front. So again, it's all in the pattern how to do this. Right. With a friction pen or an air erasable pen is good here. Yeah. I'm going to draw <clears throat> arch, arch shapes on the back of her head like this. Now you can see I'm doing it freehand because I've done so many of them. But you, there is a there is a pat in the pattern it explains how to do this. So you're about quarter of an inch, half an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. It's hard to it's yeah, hard yeah, yeah. to in between each line. Well, I suppose the closer you do them, the thicker her hair's going to exactly be. Exactly that. It? Now what I did with I think it was this the one you've got there. I started off doing the hair like this yeah and then when you finished as we mentioned earlier you might find you've got a couple of um, <gasps> you've not took a hair down have you john you're not allowed to take it took a hair me down. ages to style that <laughs> yeah but i was just going to show where you'll go about to do your um, yeah arches, no, that's that's, that's it. it yeah and then when if there are a couple of bits that you think oh gosh it's not treating her very well is it that's what they do when you've got long hair isn't cat don't you go like this in the morning oh, to you, the hair dry it that way up and then you kind of flick it up like that Oh, cat be gentle, be hair. gentle with it, John. But hang on, do, do these plat do these plaits come undone? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you can plait it. Yeah. Okay. Put it in pigtails. You carry on. Put it in ponytails, a ponytail, whichever. So you go all across the head like this. Looks yeah. a bit like a rainbow, doesn't it? Well, I was going to say, imagine if you did each row in a, a different, different coloured yarn. That'd be nice. Especially if you were going to see Joseph. Well, yeah. <laughs> How good would that be? Cat had different coloured hair at one there point. There you go. I think that'd be amazing. If you were going to see Joseph, you know when you go and see it, everyone's dressed up, aren't they? Are they? Uh, yeah. Oh. I'm thinking more like Rocky Joseph? Horror than than Joseph. I'm a Joseph fan. We were singing Joseph earlier, actually. Oh, yeah, all of it. So I'm showing you this in a obviously very contrast thread, yeah. so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So I'm going to start here at the bottom um, of the neck. I'm going to. Go in with my needle yeah. and secure that because you want this to be very secure because you don't want the yarn falling out of the hair. Yeah, you carry on. I'm doing I'm different hairstyles. I'm just watching what you're doing here. with my Millie doll over there, John. So <laughs> this is why I was never a hairdresser. There yeah. you go. No, that's not bad. That's like um, beehive. Yeah, that's it's Mary nice. Wilson. She looks really nice. And the nice, Wilsonettes. Actually. Yeah, very good. Anyway, carry on. Very good. So now we're doing a running stitch because each stitch you do is going to hold one piece of thread of, right, of yarn. One piece of hair. Of hair. So I'm going to make these stitches about a quarter of an inch long. Don't make them too long because then you'll be left with a big piece of thread um, which is going to hold the yarn and then only a little bit of yarn. But you need enough to get the yarn through. Right. So you'll get the hang of it once yeah. you start. So about a quarter of an inch long, go in. And then back up. So on this bottom arch, I'm just going to do three stitches. You know, one when, when I was at Wimbledon School of Art, the first year we did all um, a bit of everything, and then the second year we had to we had to um, specialise in, and I specialised in wig making. Oh Theatrical really? Wig making, yeah. Well, when I was little, I mean, my mum and dad will laugh at this. I used to make wigs out of wool Lovely. in exactly this way. So I'd get the cellar tape caught all the wool and then I'd lift my hair up before hair extensions were a thing um, oh. and then grip it in and I'd have long, oh. long hair. Oh, yeah. no, I should have been in the theatre, John. Yeah, you on should. On the stage. Yeah, there's one <laughs> leaving in a minute. Stagecoach. No, anyway, never mind. Didn't work. Um, so no. uh, so, so now you do that all through over all of over the all uh, rainbows. those rainbows. I like that, that they're like little rainbows. So you do that all the way around, taking your time, because this is all part of yeah. the enjoyment of making it. So I'll just show you this arch, and then I'll show you how to loop the hair. So I might get one more in there. Again, you can see I'm not being over-precise, John, Yeah. because it's, you know, they're all going to be individual. 
but it does explain more in the pattern. Yeah. So I'm just going to tie that off there, otherwise those stitches will come loose when I put the wool in. Yeah. I flip between calling it wool and yarn. Yeah, it must be yarn because it's not wool, it's, is it? It's yarn, isn't it? There. So that's how you would go about the head. Yeah. All over. Okay. Including the front. Right. Which is why I brought this one in to show you, because you would need to do loops for the hair on the front of the head as well. Right. So that a hairline isn't too far back. Depending on how you want your doll. Yeah. Dawn Taylor's she, watching. Oh, hi, Dawn. She says she's gorgeous, Debbie. Oh, oh, thank you. What about the doll? No, she's more mean to the doll. <laughs> we have to explain, because I've got you two muddled up, and I've said that you're all oh, leaving you jobs and everything. So we will clarify <laughs> who's doing what in a minute. You did, yes. yes. <laughs> so I've half the yarn. Yeah. And now I'm going to use a pin here. Right. To So you're pushing the wool yarn. Yarn down from the top of the head to the neck. Yeah. I'm going up with the pin to grab that piece of yarn. Yeah. Pull it through. Yeah. And then this is just a normal. Could you use um, one of those really, really, really fine crochet hooks? You could, yes. Because we had it on the other day with Anna and Alice on Yarn Lane where she was putting beads. Yeah, on, that'd be perfect. On, on, a, on And it's like 0.75, the size is 0.75. You got that'd those, be perfect, brilliant, yeah. yes, that, that's perfect. I didn't have a thin enough one. Yeah. Now, I cut each of these individually, but you could make yourself, look, how big is A4 in terms of inches? So it's just, so an A4 is 12 inches. I'm just thinking, if you've got yourself a piece of quite firm cardboard, oh, yes, yes, yes. 16 inches, then you could loop it round. Yeah. I enjoy doing them Cereal individually. Box. Cereal box would be good. If it was, you might have to double layer it. Yeah. And, but I quite like doing them just one at a time because okay. I enjoy the process. And then pull that through. And then. It's the same as out. real wig making. Because what you do is you have octagonal net that you make a gallooning, it's called, where you make the hot, the shape of the person's head. Oh, okay. And then you literally get a barbed crochet hook and do one hair at a time. Oh, really? One hair? Yeah, but 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 the reason you have octagonal uh, net is because if you think our hair just isn't going one direction, no. so what you do is you mark oh. up, that bit goes that way, that bit goes that way. Oh, you, that so makes you, sense. So you crochet almost the hair to whichever side of the octagonal bit of net you need it. So it because that's direction? the way the width your hair grows. Yeah. That, um, it's a bit like latch hook, isn't it? You know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The it's exactly like latch hook. But the barb, yeah. if you get the barb of a, of a wig making hook stuck in you, you have to it, go to hospital to get it out. Oh, gosh, or really? just yank it out because it will <gasps> rip your skin. But yeah, you could end up leaving the end of it in, I yeah. suppose. So yeah, this is a simplified version then. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because then you knot, then you, you then knot the hair, you see, around yeah. the, the, the net. So you're doing it exactly it, the same way uh, as you would do a real wig. This is, this is how I've literally been doing it since I was about four. Oh, well, there you go. You could have been a wig maker. <laughs> oh, could have been all sorts, John. Yeah. Never Instead mind. Instead of that, your ear. Instead, hey, this is what I want. This is where I want to be. I'm just thinking of all the classrooms I've been in over the years. Perhaps need to have been in so many of those. Oh. Never mind. So now while you're doing that, mm -hmm. you're going to be at the Knitting and Stitching Show. Have I got that yes, right? Yes, yes, that is I. Right. Yeah, so you've got classes Harrogate. at the Knitting and Stitching Show uh, in Harrogate. Yes. And what are you teaching? I'm teaching Learn to Crochet. Right. Um, and sewing with stretch fabrics. Oh, oh that's a good one because mm. lots of people are frightened of that one. Yeah. I oh, didn't, re didn't realise you did crochet. You should be on Yarn yeah. Lane then. Oh, I crochet, I'll I'll tell them. I'll tell knitting, them. tell them, John. Um, okay, yeah. so that, so then... Have you left your job or did you not have that, a job? That was, that's Dawn. So Dawn's <laughs> left her job, but she's not going to Harrogate. No. Well, I think she is going to guest, Harrogate get, as but a she's going guest, because yeah. we're hoping to meet. Okay. And with Barbara. But you're, you're going there, but you haven't left a job to uh, go I just, I'm a counsellor um, yes. and hypnotherapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do that now a, a day a week, a day and a okay, half okay, a week. Okay, okay, okay. So but you were, freelance, you were freelance, I'm freelance doing that anyway. Yeah, so, I work yeah, for myself. Yeah. So okay. I can... So you haven't left your job. No. So Dawn's left her job. So what's she going to do for money? Dawn, what are you going to do for money? Well, she's going to sew, I think. Ooh. Yeah, she's going to sew. But not at Harrogate? Not at Harrogate, okay. no. So there you go. That's how you do the hair. So you can see, I mean, I, that just makes me so happy. And look how long it is, John. Yeah. You could plait that. Well, I know what you could do. Put it in a beehive. Put it in a beehive. So hang on. So you literally just go round, round, round all the rainbows. Yep. And I can, yeah. Uh, so this is, so at the moment, 
you're saying if you're using the black yarn, put a piece of black fabric over the back I of your head. I would. Because, yeah. Uh, I have because, as you can see, there's nothing wrong with it at all. But, and also, obviously, when you get lots of hair layered up, you don't see that underneath. But if you were to put it in pigtails... Yeah. And part it, you would. Real I time. just but think, but then it would look natural because that's what natural. because that's what your hair looks like. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Thanks. Uh, maybe <laughs> what would be good is you could do little grey ends on your wool and everything, couldn't you? What if you wanted it to look like me? No, no, I'm not saying for, <laughs> to look like me. You could. Do I spend a lot of time and money, and money covering yeah. them greys <laughs> up, John. They're staying well and truly hidden. Okay, yeah, so you do that all the way around. All the, head. the way around, and then you end up as you have that with that one there with a full head, head of, of hair. hair. But you could, then, put, you could put highlights in, you could put low lights you in. Could if you've got yarns at yeah, home, you lots could, of different colours. I mean, obviously, you just get the one colour with your kit, but you could actually add browns yeah, and all different, coppers. Yeah. You could do a red. Be lovely. All sorts. Okay, now we've only got a couple minutes left. Can we talk? And we're not going to make the clothes, but can we talk yeah. about. Uh, yes. uh, sorry, I'm racing ahead. Because that, that's the doll done, isn't it? That is absolutely, John. That's Brilliant. the head, the, the doll done. And just with the front, with the front of her head, as I said earlier. Just go around here with your final Hang sort on, just of look at arch. That, Jeremy. There you go, brilliant, thanks. There. Right. Like this. But you could do it like a little widow's peak as well if you wanted to. Yes, you? you could. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely looked like me then. So that's how you do the hair. Okay, brilliant. So she's quite, I think, quite straightforward. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then here's all the little bits for, the, for her clothes. My needle there. So she has got her lovely little pinafore. So again, all the cutting instructions are, as you would expect, in the uh -huh. pattern. So this, when you cut this piece, pattern piece, it's on the fold yeah. so that you end up with a front and a back. Now, obviously, you're a clothes maker, John, yeah. more than I am. Yeah. Um, but this is how I've made it. So I've got my little pocket. The reason that the lining of the pocket is bigger yeah. is because you're going to have that turned over and you just get that little pit of the um, yeah. lining showing over the top. So that's the dress. Yeah. Dawn says she's <laughs> running with Dawn Taylor full time now. She's very excited. She's sewing full time, is she? Yeah. Christine would love to do rainbow hair. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? And then Claire says, my mum was a wiggy for a wig company back in the day. It was fascinating to watch her. Well, what oh. you have to do is you have to watch the Catherine Tate she did a Mickey tape on um, wig makers in the West End. They're fantastic. Oh, did she? Uh, Kate says, lovely doll, like a demo and a masterclass in wigs too. Yeah, there you go, Kate. Mm. Right, okay. So you've put in the pocket. So that's the pocket on the dress. Yeah. And then with the dress, because it's a pinafore that just ties at the shoulder, then you just do a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around the straps. Okay, so you've just turned it in. Just turned it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then sewn the back to the front. Mm -hmm. I've put a bit of Rick Rack, same as Rosie Rabbit. She's got a bit of a seam of Rosie Rabbit, a bit mm -hmm. of Rick Rack across the bottom of the dress. Yeah. And then just turn the hem up. So that's the dress. That's quite straightforward with the dress. Yes. And then the bag. Now the bag's quite tiny. So if you didn't want it quite so tiny, you could always add a quarter of an inch seam allowance on to the on pattern of, pieces yes, yeah. to make it a bit easier to make. So that's got four little patchwork pieces like this together. So the front and the back are exactly the same. So you sew that together, do the same for the back. And then I'll show you how to do the strap. Lovely. So that's the front and back. And then the strap, again, I like my plaits, John. Mm -hmm. So the strap is three pieces of, a bit like making your own bias binding. Yeah. So I've made one piece in the denim. Yeah. And then the other two. Are they two, on the straight of grain? I have done these on the straight grain. Yep, yep, that's yeah, fine. they're not cut on the bias. Yep. Um, so, but I've made them the same as you would bias binding. Yeah, of course. Fold yeah. them in half, fold them in half and half again. Mm -hmm. Top stitch down both sides and then plait them. So when I plaited them, put the denim piece behind, the two pieces there on top, and then just plait them. Obviously, they'll be quarter yeah, they'll be of the size. Yeah. That makes the bag. Yeah. Janet says, morning, John and Debbie. Morning, Janet. Oh, morning, Janet. <laughs> okay. And that's that. This is cut on the bias, John. This is the uh, piece of fabric because with the blouse, yeah, you could do it different ways. Obviously, you've got the four pieces which make up the blouse itself. Mm -hmm. So the two front pieces. Th this is where you have to cut them with the mirror image. Yeah. The back pieces are slightly wider because you're going to attach your Velcro here. You will need about right. three inches of okay. Velcro to attach it, or you could use poppers and things like that. 
Um, and the bias edge, you, so you could either do the same as we did with the denim dress, where you just turn that under by a quarter of an inch, and mm -hmm. that will still fit her. I actually like to put the bias edge around the collar because I like you to like make, to make work it fiddly, for myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So you sew it together and then you just bind the edge of the neck. Yes, and, and the bottom. Sleeves. Oh yeah, and the bottom, and then it's got little puff sleeves, mm -hmm. so they go in. Again, try to keep that quite straightforward, so it's simple to make. Yeah, and then you've got all these little squares or rectangles. Um, I think there's one thing on the pattern, John, that might be I might have done incorrectly. Oh. I think I said cut two pieces for the bows of the shoes. Right. Yeah. You so shoe, but you need four. Yeah. So that, that's my error. Um, so you would sew those right sides together, leave a little turning gap, turn them out to make a nice rectangle. And then to make the bow, this is how it would be if you've got it sewn properly together, folded it in half, and then I just fold that piece in half like that mm -hmm. to the center. Same with this one. And then I do three rows of stitching vertically and that makes it into a little Brilliant. Bow. And there's the pattern for the shoes as well. We don't need to talk about them. No, same time. for the shoes, same for the hair bow and the knickers. You just need a bit of Thank knicker you. elastic. Thank you. Alison Thank you. Catherine says, Morning, John and Debbie. Lovely oh. demo, Debbie. It's nice to be able to watch because I'm on half term. Oh, lovely. Right. You're back in an hour's time I doing am. applique. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, let's just do the two kits that are available. I've got Honey, first of all, which is this one where you get your honey uh, yarn, you get your embroidery thread, black, green, and it's like an oyster. Uh, you get your uh, nude, uh, I think it's nude anyway. You get your liberty, you get your denim, and you get your felt all in there. Plus, most importantly, you get your instructions, 24 pounds and 99 pence. All you really need is some stuffing, some Velcro. And now Debbie was using a four inch embroidery hoop if you want to do it the way hoop. Available on the website. The other colourway is this colourway with the black hair, where you get your black yarn, you get your dark denim, you get your tan, you get mm. your black felt. Now this one you get white, blue and black. Black, there it is. And you get your pink dot for your uh, clothes underneath and your instructions on there. $24.99. Little bit of Velcro. Um, or if you're making a hair scrunchie, a little bit of elastic. Do you need elastic for the knickers? For the knickers. You need elastic for the knickers as well. Yeah. £24 and nine pence. Which one's the winner? Which one's the winner? Honey's the winner. Oh. Honey's the winner of this hour, but it could change. It could change. Right, don't go anywhere. TV launch. Straight after this, we've got Beth Studley. Uh, she's making this one behind me, and she's making that one over there. Isn't she, Jeremy? That one there, that's curved piecing. And then my one behind me is FPP. I will see you with Beth in four minutes from now. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, 
I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials. So whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool, the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And always use the right tools, so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing lots of tips, techniques, and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I'm so excited. How many years have I been going, oh, Beth Studley this, Beth Studley that. I, I've never met Beth before today, but I did see her at Festival Quilts years ago. And the round her stand, right, you couldn't get anywhere near because there were so many people there. Before I talk about this, let's say hello to Beth. Beth, wave, say hello. Hello. There she is, there she is. Um, it's really, really, really lovely to have you here. But I'm going to talk to you in a minute because I want to talk about this beautiful fabric. Okay. These kits are just... Stunning. Right, I've got two bundles for you this hour. We're going to concentrate on broken circles, which is curved piecing. And we're also going to touch on the sunbeam quilt, which is the one behind me, which is FPP. Right, look at this, look at this, look at this. So in this kit, $109.99. Now, you will be able to get it on split pay. There you go. Two payments of $54.99. So you pay $54.99 today and you'll pay $54.99 next month, and that's it done. But we'll send it to you as soon as you pay tonight at midnight. What day is it? Yeah, tonight at midnight it should be. Uh, your, your first payment of $54.99 will be taken. This will then be shipped out to you. They're sitting in the warehouse waiting to be sent out to you now. So what you get in here is you get enough to do the whole of the front and the binding of this, right? Now, if you want backings, make sure you look back to the our 8 o'clock hour that we had this morning on the, on the computer. No, what's it called? On the website. Uh, right, so the first fabric I can tell, this is a gorgeous Macau fabric here. This is the linen texture one in that lovely, lovely deep blue. Not going to concentrate, that's your background, right? What I'm going to talk about are all these. Now, these are all Beth's original designs and they are exquisite. They're not available by the half meter. In the other hour, 
We have got fat quarter bundles. I'm not supposed to show you that, but there are fat quarter bundles in Beth's second hour. These are just available in this kit, which is totally and utterly exclusive to us at this moment in time. Oh, don't look at me. Look at the fabrics. Look at them. They're gorgeous. The colours are so pure. The patterns on them are just divine. Look at this. I love, love, love this. And I can't tell you, I don't know which colour I like best because look. Oh. Do you call that pink? Yeah. Oh, it's pink. I was going to call it magenta. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. And look. Look, aren't they it's not just gorgeous? Cutting up all the fat quarters, you get to look at them all up close. And these you are not change fat your mind. quarters. These are long no, quarters. No, those are long quarters, long but you change your mind on which you one you like the most. You haven't cut all these yourself, have you? I did have some help from, from children, but yeah, most yeah, of them yeah. myself. She has got about 27 children, yeah. so it's fine. They can all do a little bit. <gasps> and look, 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 look at these. Those are nice as well. Now, we will go through all these later in the second hour, I think, when we're doing the fat quarters. Have they all got names? Or do you just do you give your fabrics names? Yeah, pretty much. I can't them all. That, one's, that one's sunflowers. The stripy one, which is my new favourite, actually, because that one's not been released before. That was Moa Stripe, I think they This one? It. Yeah, in the blue is my favourite on that one. Oh, okay. And what's it called? Moa Stripe, I think. That was actually Makawa named that one. All right. I think I just called it Stripe and they, they oh, pushed it up. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I love it. So in this kit, so now, these are all, let me show you, they're all long quarters, not fat quarters, they're long quarters, right? So you get one Two, three, four, five. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. In the broken circles, it's twenty-one, and in the other one, it's seventeen. Brilliant. They're just. And how much of this do I get? The um. A meter twenty-five. One twenty-five. Uh, aren't they just beautiful? Absolutely stunning. So this is the one we're going to concentrate on in the hour. The finished quilt is sixty by sixty. We'll just show you the finished quilt. Jeremy, don't worry, you have to move. You have to I move. You've got a still of it. There you go. There go. I think it's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. And also, I am such a huge fan of navy or black as backgrounds on quilts. Me Because I think it's like a black opal, so it makes all the colours completely pop out, yep. doesn't it? Now, the centres, are the centres pieced as well on that one? They're appliqued. So they're appliqued. I'm not much of an appliqueer normally, but um, yeah, I've done it for these word? ones. Yeah, I've, I've, it is a word. Make, yeah, <laughs> I've decided it is. Okay, but we'll be concentrating on that one in a minute. Yep. Then the other one I'm going to show you now is the one that's behind me. <coughs> very limited on this one already. I'm getting overexcited. Look, I'll cough. <coughs> right, so this one's called Sunbeams. This one is foundation paper piece. Again, 109.99 available on split pay. This is 39 by 39 inches finished. And again, same beautiful fabrics there. But there's not as many. How many do you say you're in this one? There's 17. The, Se the ones that are missing in, in that one are the sunflowers. Oh, okay, yeah, the sunflowers. Because they were just there. a bit because they're quite small pieces in the quilt. They, yeah. It was just a bit busy, so I yeah. used. So ones. beautiful, isn't it? And then how much do we get of the uh, linear? Yeah, a metre. A metre of the linear. Yeah. Plus your uh, instructions. 109.99. No, no, you wouldn't want a big print in there. Now, I'm just going to say something. Um, if you're loving these fabrics, you're thinking, oh, I don't want to buy the kit, but I do want the fabrics. In Beth's next hour, we have got... Now, they're available on pre-order if you want to go in and get them. I'll just wait. I'll wait for the graphic. Oh, it's going on the side graphic there. Right, I'm not putting the graphics through yet. You can get a fat quarter bundle, but look, look, that one doesn't appear anywhere, does it, in, no. the, in the quilt kits? The mains are only in the bundles. So that's only in there. And then, do you get the sunflower? And, but you do yeah. get the sunflower in there. Yeah. So these are fat quarter bundles. Now, there's a, on the website, there's only this one at the moment. If you wait a minute, there's, not a minute, during the hour it should go up. There are, if you're thinking, I don't want that many, I could just, there are two bundles, like a yellowy bundle and a pinky purple bundle. That's right, isn't yep. it? We will, they will be ready for the 12 o'clock hour, but there are smaller bundles of those as well, if you didn't want to get the, but that's not now. That's not now, that's later, that's later. <laughs> right, okay, we are going to concentrate on the Broken Circles quilt, but before we do, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so lovely to have you here at last. Good, good. Um, how did you start? How did you get started into quilting? Oh, God. I, when I was about 15, I did an evening class and I, I was hooked. I did it with a woman called Anne Baxter, who I believe does stuff on the television, actually. I, I think she's still teaching. Right. Um, but yeah, she, she just got me started doing very basic um, sample quilts and yeah, I just got hooked. And at the time, it was all very much country style prints. It was yes. all browns and creams, which was nice. 
but I, you can tell. Oh yes, was you a love colour, don't you? And it was around the time actually that Kaif brought out his very first patchwork book with all the squares on the front. How many years ago was it? Well, I was fifteen, and I'm in my forties oh. now. So. <laughs> Yeah, I've, Quite been, a doing while it, ago, I've been doing it a while. And yeah. I went when I went through university doing, I did design, and my, my university tutor was always telling me, put the quilts down. You No, one, no one's into patchwork quilts. No one, no, because then it was thought of as yeah. a bit old fashioned, yeah. like crochet used to be thought of, and now look at it. Yeah. So, what did you do your degree in then? I did textile furnishing design. So, it was kind of interior design based around textiles. Oh, wow. But I did do a bit of print design at right, universities, okay. and I, I didn't think I'd ever use it until one day. I did. Of course, you know. And do you find it easy to, to design fabrics? How, what's your what's your um? How do you start? I do I, I do everything on paper to start with, um, and then just I do I doodle. And I was going to say they doodle. Yeah, aren't they? yeah. I mean, it's very hand drawn, and then I, I see what I like, and um, yeah, and then put it into the computer, and that, that's when I really play and put colours in, and yeah, it's fantastic. And do the, the cat's question earlier was you have got quite a, well, we don't have to go into your personal life, but you've got quite a few children, haven't you? I have, yes. Um, do they get involved in this side of your business? So if they're interested, they, I mean, I don't, yeah, if they're interested, they, 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 they do like to sew with me sometimes. They, they've done little bits of the embroidery. Um, but yeah, they've, yeah. Have any sometimes. of them got their mothers or their father? Oh, no, no, we have to also discuss <coughs> your husband. Yeah. On some of your patterns, I didn't know this. Yes. Some of your pod patterns that we've done in the past, there's been a man's name on it. And I've yes. Going, I don't know who this is. So the, this? yeah, the Fat Quarter Storage Lantern you've done, that was his. Yeah. Um, the there's a lovely pouch with the the bow the with ties the lace up. up that's one, that yeah. one's his. And the woven basket's probably his most well known yeah. one. So yeah, we we yeah he hasn't done any for a little while, but when we first got together, we collaborated a few times. And he's, he's done a few patterns, yeah. Oh, so that's a, so I, I had no idea until you said this morning with your yeah. husband or anything. I just yeah. thought it was somebody you collaborated with. So, are any of the children taking over either you or your husband's creative flair? Um, yes, they. I mean, yeah, they all have a go, and they're all they're all pretty good. Um, yeah, Bonnie's had a go, Harriet's had a go, Dylan's actually had a go, my son, and um, he he did some crazy patchwork, and he was quite good. Um, but yeah, none of them. I don't think they. They. It's what Mum does, and it's a bit boring. Oh, isn't okay, it? okay, so, yeah. yeah. It's not cool to but, do what Mum yeah, does. Yeah, they do do bits and pieces. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. And one thing you have to say is, I'm not going to say where she lives, but if you're down south and you see a very, very bright pink <laughs> minibus. <laughs> That's you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it won't be on the road because it's not working at the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to get repaired this week, but we couldn't start it. Long story. Yeah, long story, <laughs> but uh, uh, fantastic, lovely. Right, OK, so now let's start with Broken Circle. So yeah. when you design a quilt, again, is that start off as a doodle? Yeah, uh, no, it's uh, I do it in electric quilt, EQ. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Um, and with this, I, I had about uh, seven or eight different quilt designs that I'd thought of for, for, for this henna collection and I asked you guys what you wanted and you went I want that one and that one oh. so I said right that's what I'm making then and perfect um, yeah that's yeah that's so the about. design came after the fabric so the fabric came fabric first came first and then you designed the quilt around I've it. always got hundreds of different quilt designs and then when I bring out a new collection I drop the fabrics into the thing and to, see to which see one it works because it could be one of your fabric collections that wouldn't work doing yes, this design yeah whatever. so yeah these probably I've, I've had on file for a while yeah. and I dropped the henna into it and yeah I thought that looks quite nice so. no no so why is it called henna then <coughs> it was my first collection it was actually the very first one I brought out henna okay um, and the the main which you've got there yeah. is very much kind of that henna that's this, so you put this one yes. in the main, aren't you? This, now, this one isn't in the quilt kit, this is in the fat quarter bundle. So this one's called the main, so that would be... Oh, I see, so it's like... Mendy kind yes, of, yeah, yes, design. Yes, yes, yes. And, that. Um, yeah, that I, this, this collection is a re-release of that original one. I recoloured ah. it, and I took a few of my favourite prints from other collections and put those in it, and the, the, a couple of new ones, some of the yeah. new ones in there. But. So you think, like Liberty, Liberty do that, don't they? They go back and get their archives and recolour them. And well, I've them learned out. over the years, <coughs> going to shows and stuff, the amount of times customers will come to me and say, oh, can I have that print? And I have to say, none left, yeah. sold out, all gone. Yeah. So actually being able to re-release one and say, oh, yeah, it's coming out again. It's coming. It's been great. And also, you know they're good quality because they're Macau. Yes. Yes. And Macau are never, ever stint on quality or anything like no. that. Their, their fabrics are just exquisite. Yeah. OK, so let's make a start then. You're going to show us how to make... So each of those, is each of those a block then? Do you call each of those circles a block? Yes, each of these is a block. OK, brilliant. And it's made up of four separate pieces, so four bits in the block. OK. Um, so, yeah, the cutting list is in a chart. Can you see that on? Oh, yeah. You, I'm, you I'm still there. learning all this technology here. No, 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 here. it's fine. Now, you have to do it as though it's towards it's you. You, you. Oh, I do it that way. Yeah, yeah, that's Right, it. OK, yep. Oh, so that's all your cutting list. Yeah, there. so the, the chart will tell you exactly what to cut from each template 
from each fabric. Right. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. And if you did, for whatever reason, want to make the quilt without those fabrics, or you made the quilt and want to make a second one, yeah. just use the the first column. So number your tw pick twenty one different fabrics. Use your first column, and then use the same chart again. So you know. could almost make this the second time round as a scrappy quilt from your yes. cupboard. Yeah, because <clears throat> you, you only need a fat eighth of each of the fabrics, don't you? Yeah, and and be, because it's kitted up and you've got all the fabrics yeah. there, you know, I've been very specific about what you need and where to place them. Yeah. But you don't have to follow it at all. You could just go, do you know what? I'm going to cut 25 of this one, 16 of those, and, and piece it however you want. So yeah. But again, but you... afterwards, the second one you make from your stash, you could just be whatever's in your cupboard. Just yeah. Make sure they get, that they look nice together. But you know what I mean? It's, it's up to you. I, I always say that quilts are such a personal thing that if you want all the yellows together, put all the yellows together. Yes. It's not just because you've designed you it, it to, to balance level, for you. Your living room. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Well, right. one of the, yeah, one of the things I like is when customers come and show me their take on mm. what they've done. It's always, yeah, it's always nice to see. Brilliant. So, yes, that's your cutting list. Okay. Um, so if you want to go ahead and do all of that to start with, go and do it or yeah. kind of do it as you go is what I did. Mm -hmm. But the first one is for the background. So you'll see you need 64 of this one. Right. So you've got six templates, sorry. You've got... And these all come in the pattern, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they all come in the pattern. Sorry, it's, I'm new to this No, 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 TV you do it brilliantly. <laughs> Uh, there you go. So you, yeah, you need 64 of this one because this one is the main the main background. So it's in the corner of every block. Right. So that's why you need so many of that one. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the quilt in each in each of the blocks, there is one of each of the templates in the background. So oh, you've got a small yes, yes, one, yes. that one, and then so that's why there is then 16 of each of those. Right. Makes so sense. So that's in your background fabric. Yes. Yeah. So that's why those mm -hmm. numbers are like that. And then everything else is all random. Okay, numbers. do your patterns come with seam allowance already on them? The templates do, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to add them on. God, no, wouldn't want to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have got this one cut out. I've got a block ready to go. Okay. Because I wasn't sure. I, I do a lot of cu my cutting kind of on my leg. And I thought standing up and doing it. Um, well, you're going to have to sew standing up today. No, I know. It's all new. Well. So, yeah, I've got this one. This one's the, the A block, which is the background, and uh -huh. then B, right. C, and D. And then the centre is the applique bit. Okay, lovely. So now people are, a lot of people get very frightened. As soon as you show them a curved seam to do, they get frightened. But it's not frightening, is it? No, no, I don't think so. It's, it's really a case of pinning. Pin, 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 pin. And then it's just like sewing a straight, a straight seam. Uh -huh. So the first thing you want to do, so I'm aware of people watching the, um, the screen, <laughs> the, the camera above, you want to clip the, f the inside curve. When I first started doing curve piecing, I started clipping the wrong curve and it doesn't work at all. No. So only ever the inside curve, because right. you're going to shape this bit to, fit to that, that bit. And also, don't do your snips too big. It's tempting to go in, because you've got a, a quarter inch seam allowance, but you really don't need to go that far. You just need the tiniest little bit of give. Yeah to help stretch it round. And if you cut too deep, you'll end up pulling it open too much and it won't go. So then you're gonna pin this to this one. And in order to get it to match up, always pin the sides on flat, which seems a bit overkill. But if you, if you line up those edges, because uh -huh. you, you want those to be square once you finish the block, and it's tempting to just kind of pin and hope. Yeah. But if you, um, if you really are, methodical about making sure that that edge is straight you'll find that once you finish the block it will sit straight uh -huh. so do that on both sides first right do you also match middle to middle you you can do Only it that way as a dressmaker if you're yeah. putting a skirt on or something like that you would do your two ends and then you either a middle or quarters so that you know you're not pushing it too far around so yeah you don't need to do for that. the bigger curve Yes, that might yeah. be helpful, but when it's this small, yeah. you don't necessarily okay. need to. Um, but yes, if you want to, just, just kind of fold it in the middle and find your centre point mm -hmm. and then match that up as well. Brilliant. Uh, who's asked that? Susan said, could you use pinking shears instead of clipping it? Pinking shears. Oh, that's when you cut the zigzags, isn't yeah. it? I, I wouldn't. No, okay. Um, I don't, if, if you've used that method before and it works for you, then, then go in, for it. In, Doll making and in dressmaking, you often would you'd often pink a curved seam when you're turning through. Oh right, but so I've yeah. never seen it on quilting before, so it might yeah. just be a non-quilters thing. I would have thought you're then going to make it difficult to 
see where your seam allowance is. Yeah. I don't know. I've never done it. If it works for you, do it. Yeah. Um, so can you see what I'm doing? Then so Yolando just... says, good morning. Lovely to put a face to Beth. Yeah. I have the privilege of demonstrating Beth's kits and they are so thorough and easy to navigate around. Even those that have curbs absolutely love this quilt. That's when Yolando, who's yes, one of our... Yes, I've met her. Oh, yeah. you're, you're, well, once you've met her, you never forget her, do you? Yeah, it's quite it's difficult, again, to remember everyone's faces. Yes, but yeah. yeah, and I was having a nice chat with Debbie out there, actually, before, oh. before she came on. So literally, what are you doing? Just pinning, pinning, Just pinning, pinning. and you're just easing it round. You're, you're matching the inside curve to the outside curve uh -huh. and you're, you're just easing it around so your 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 clips will just make it a little bit easy to to get it into place uh-huh and um yeah just loads of pins <laughs> remember these kits are exclusive to us lots of people got them in their baskets i bet you're waiting to see the demo before you check out but please be <laughs> careful especially with the sunbeams because that's very very and limited now. also i will say there is none of the henna fabric left it is gone this oh is, this is what happens <clears throat> when i get i wait for months and months and months for my collections to come out and then they're in the warehouse and they're gone oh so we can't so, so once these are sold we can't re yeah, we can't none. repeat these yeah. kits then Oh, the fact that, that you've got that many of my fat quarter bundles is quite good for yes. you, really, because there's, oh, really, there there's really none left. So please be careful because we can't get this fabric again. No, I was, yeah, I was, I was really nervous sending it all off to the warehouse for you guys because I thought if that goes missing in the post, oh, don't. Is this, I can't replace it. I am turned on, I'm just looking the machines on. Yeah. Yeah, so one more pin I think will do okay. it. Okay. Glennis is watching from the hairdressers. <laughs> it's so funny how, oh, here you go. Michelle says, love Beth's patterns. I've messaged you on Facebook. Uh, what is the best way to get in contact? Oh, okay. What if people need to get hold of you? What's the best way to get hold of you? Email, probably. Email. Info at lovefrombeth.com. I don't tend to, I, I don't tend to see my messages on Facebook no, very I've much. No, I've noticed I, that. I tell, I, <laughs> Fine, I don't take it personally. <laughs> Do you know, my husband was going through with me yesterday before the show and he went, you've still got your, on your work, Facebook page you've still got yourself living as Rochester that's like four or four or five houses ago and I had an email my, my email on my Facebook page was an old email that I don't even oh, use no. not very efficient but so yeah you're not, not too hot on the social media well I Instagram I use and I but Facebook I tend to be it tends to be more of a personal one and right. then Instagram is very much more but we look look for on Facebook we love look for love from Beth love from Beth but on Instagram we look at for Beth Studley yeah yeah so an email is the best way. Info to get at lovefrombeth.com. Yeah, yeah I I, I'm on my work emails every day. Oh, there you go. That's the best way to get in touch. Uh, sorry, I haven't used this machine before. There we go. Okay, so I've got a quarter inch foot on. Right. Um, I'm going to take that first pin out actually because it's going to get in the way. Yeah, if you break the machine, you pay for it. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know if they told you that. Love the quilt, Beth. I use a glue gun when doing curves. Works great. From uh, oh, glue pen. <laughs> sorry, not glue gun. Glue pen. From, I was busy looking down for a name, but I've only got Mrs. in Angus. Yes, a, a lot of people do use the glue pen on curves, don't Is they? Is that too? the same one you use for doing English paper piecing? Yeah. Yeah, I've got one. Of, oh, I don't know where it is, but I had one of those. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, it was useful for that. I've not tried it for anything else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, fantastic for curves. No, I've always just done the pin, pin, pin method. I was watching someone on somewhere on social media recently and they were saying that they I think she was working with my fabrics actually uh -huh. she was saying she was doing a no pin piecing uh -huh. curved piecing and I was thinking my goodness how does that work yeah, I, yeah. I, we, I go pin 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 yes well it, it depends on what how you've trained and what you like and everything yeah. isn't it really well you develop your own ways of doing it especially exactly. when you've been doing it years okay so I'll bring the iron up so this is the bit that I like about the curve piecing actually ironing out your your curve it's very satisfying, isn't yes. it? Yes. Also, when you first uh, sew it, sometimes it looks like it's not sewn evenly. It's yes. only when you turn it over and press it out that you realise you've got a lovely... Yeah. Uh, go on then, who's the, the message from? still on. Yes. You're doing great, Beth slash mum. Lovely and the kids. Oh, lovely. Oh, the iron wasn't on, that's why it's... Oh, um, dear. That's why it wasn't working. It wasn't working much. properly. All right, then. Do you want to wait for it to heat up? So now Lee then is your partner husband in crime now. and your partner in pattern making. Yes, as well, then. yes. Well, I think he he was like he watched me when we first met and he was like I can do that. <laughs> so we had to go and yeah. He's oh, done so some good was pattern. that not his? Was that not his? Oh no no no. He's it's only through watching me and he was thinking you, yeah you, 
I can do that. And yeah, he had so to what go. Was, what's his background then? Is he a teacher or something like that? He is a counsellor by oh, profession. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, all, we're both teachers now because we've been homeschooling. Um, for so you homeschool all your children? All of them, yeah. And they range from? 15 to 9. Yeah. And that wasn't a lockdown. So I'm on thing. holiday today. This yeah, is, this yeah, is, yeah, you can come again. I know during lockdown, people kept uh, saying, oh, oh, I don't know how you're coping with the ho homeschooling and stuff, and moaning about the homeschooling. We're thinking, God, we do it every day. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. I was, uh, that's what I was chatting to Debbie about before yeah. I came in here, actually, because um, she was, she's a teacher as well. And um, yeah, it's, it's a nice process. You get very in touch with your children's abilities. Of course, yeah. but you've got that means you've got to be an expert on every subject at every age range. Yes, well, yeah, you, there's lots of resources that can help you. And oh, the, yeah, the well, homeschooling yes, yeah. network now of other people yeah. that do it is quite big. And I'm yeah. just going to stop you talking a bit because your microphone's playing up. So I'm going to do a recap uh, while the microphone. Uh, Jeremy's going to come out and sort your microphone out okay, for you now. Oh, no, that's not way, don't worry. Uh, we'll do a broken circles first, which is this one here. Uh, Jeremy will come out and sort you out now while I just do this. So in the kit here, you get a metre and a quarter of your uh, Macau linen texture. It's not a linen texture. It's what they call that fabric. It's kind of a, a pattern on it there. And then all of these are from Beth's Henna collection, right? They're all fat. No, they're not fat. They're long eighths. That didn't sound right. Yeah, long eights, so all long eights. And you get 21 of them. Jeremy's making more noise than anybody. Uh, 109.99, two split payments, 54.99. What are you trying to say to me, Cap? Oh, you could hear you, Jeremy. Right, and then the other one here, the sunbeam quilt, which we'll come into in a minute. Same fabric henna, but with a linear, metre of your linear there. Uh, graphics in on. Now, the important thing is to know is we cannot restock this. So if you're thinking, yeah, and Beth can't even restock it. It's not us saying we can't. Literally, all the fabric from this collection, it, what's left is all in, the, in these bundles and in the fat quarters we've got in the, in the 12 o'clock hour. So if you are thinking about it, thinking, oh, maybe I'll get it next week, next month, whatever, might not be here. Might not, well, it won't be the rate it's going. Right, okay. Are you okay then? We'll just go back to you pinning more. Yeah, then. I'm just pinning the next layer. Uh, Catherine says, always impressed with someone saying curves. I tried it once and it made me cry. Oh, try it again. Try it again, Catherine. It seems to be <clears> I'm, <throat> um, I'm drawn to methods that people don't like because so many people tell me they hate foundation paper piecing. Oh, well, I think, I think foundation paper piecing is one of those things that you hate it until you get the hang of it and then suddenly you yeah. go, oh, this is brilliant. It is. It's so precise and yeah. you can sew shapes that you wouldn't be able to achieve yeah. other ways. Most of my quilts are foundation pieced. Most of them. Oh, are they? See, the problem I have, because I've been doing it f for a long time, and you can't, you know, you only really works if you do what you enjoy. Yeah. Um, I've got a bit too advanced, and I'm not, I'm not very good at doing things for beginners. So thinking backwards, you know, to try and do easier quilts is something I find a bit oh. difficult now. Maybe you could go to Lee. Yeah, yeah. Um, Julie just, says, Beth is so lovely. I met her a couple of times at the Hampton Court show. Oh, yeah, that was the... Kirsty Olsop one. I don't do that one anymore. Oh, do, oh, okay. Yeah, I did it for about four years, and then yeah, it's it's because it's lots of different crafts. I'm I'm mainly yes. I do better at the more fabric focused yes, yeah, ones. Yes. Message from Maureen. Morning. Just dawned on me. I've got Beth storage pods. Great yeah. fun to make. Thank you. Yes, it's that putting the name to a face or the face yes. to a name, isn't it? Because we all yeah. know your patterns because we used to sell them at Sewing Quarter. We sell, we sell them by the hundred here sort of thing. Yeah. But it's just putting a, a face to the name, isn't it? Well, that's why I came on because, I mean, I've, I didn't come on before because I was watching the other presenters and thinking, they're doing such a good job. I don't really need to come on and do it. But, you know, it's... it's <laughs> Good to um to do it yourself oh, so yeah, people yeah. can see who's actually done it. Yeah, exactly. And you do, I suppose you do know your own stuff. When you say you use lots of pins, you weren't exaggerating, were you? No, nope. no. Nope. But that way you'll never get a puckle. Yeah. Most of the time you won't get a pucker. Yeah, I will down. Now I'm on telly, I'll get yeah. a, I'll get a nice pucker in it. It does happen. But so this time. is where it's important that you have very, very sharp pins because you don't want blunt pins going through your fabric now the ones that i like actually are these little ones um I ha i've got another packet of them somewhere in in my shed and i can't uh -huh. find them i'm not i'm not going to buy one shed because, studio yeah my, sh yeah, my yeah, studio yeah don't give me the impression you're just working <laughs> from a shed no it's a summer house actually it's 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 two rooms it's quite oh nice. but i do call it the shed yeah uh suzanne says morning john and beth i love fpp so i'm definitely going to look out for your patterns yeah i love your pod patterns all that it's that funny shape with all those darts in 
and you take a piece of fabric, you dart it, suddenly you've got a, like a sphere, an orb, you know, it's brilliant. Yes. I, the when I was first designing that, I remember talking to a couple of, I did a, like an open day thing at, Maca at Macau yeah. with some of their customers and I was kind of, I got a sample of it and I was explaining, oh, this is my new pattern I've coming up with and people were looking at me like, I don't see how that's going to work. And then when it actually came yeah, together yeah, yeah. and I released it and I was... And the amount of people who put different things in the different pods, like we had people messaging saying they put the cats in it, and other yes. people put garlic in it, and other people put makeup in, things like that. In. We've got all those patterns coming up in the last hour. Um, yeah. Sewing curves is the equivalent of sewing French knots. It's hard until the knack clicks in, says Julie. That's exactly what it is. I think it's... How do I get the needle to go up? Uh, does that... There's a, there's a button there. Oh, there's don't worry, a, it's come out right? anyway. Yeah. Make sure you check out, please, 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 make sure you check out on whichever one you've got in your basket. Lots of people got it in their baskets, don't want you to miss out. The Sunbeams one in particular is very, very uh, limited. Let's see, look at that. That's, I'll put the side graphics in so you can see both. That's why I like doing curve seams. Yeah, look. It's very satisfying when you iron it. Could do with a bit of steam, really, with a bit of steam. But. And also, your seam allowance tells you which way it wants to go, doesn't it? Like yes. when you're doing straightforward piecing, it's always like, which way shall I press the seams? But actually, this way, the fabric tells you which way it wants yes. to go. Yes. Well, actually, it? with this one, you're gonna you're gonna press it the other way. Oh, are you? Yeah. So yeah, I'll do the last one now. Yeah. And again, it's your choice. You've told us how many, what, what to cut out of, of each fa fabric. Because the blue ones have to be the ones that you've told us to. But the other, yes. once you've cut them all out, you could just have little piles of them all, couldn't you? You yeah. can decide which colourways you want to go together. Yeah, and if you decide I don't like the pink, I don't, I'm not a pink person, I'm just going to go with the blue. And yeah. then substitute some of your own fabrics in. I do, I do honestly like it when people take their own takes on uh -huh. my stuff. But if you wanted to, you could sort of make one circle all blues, one circle all the yellowy tones. You could do all sorts of things with it, couldn't yes. you? Kind of moving them around. And as you're working, whenever I'm working through a quilt like that, and especially when I've got a new, because this, this quilt was the first thing I've done with this collection, you, you do one block and you go, oh, those three look nice together. Yeah, and you yeah. get an idea of what you can do with yeah. those. And, you, and then you go to the next block and you go, oh, those four look nice together. Yeah, the only trouble with that is when you get to the end, you're going, oh, I hate this one. Yeah, this one's not as good. Yeah, yeah. my nan used to uh, crochet like squares to make a blanket out of and I was tiny and she'd go would oh, you like this one I'd like love that one and then she'd get to the end there'd be one with like brown and cream and red in it and you'd be like oh don't like that one <laughs> that one's not good um, I made the love from Beth woven basket a brilliant pattern with great instructions See, that and one is, beautiful results that one is Lee's that's my husband's the woven basket oh don't give him all the credit <laughs> oh, I can give him the credit for his ones Oh. Well, actually, that one we worked on together. That one's kind of both yeah, of yeah. ours. Well, your name still goes on the pattern, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Well, I've got the, the kind of the platform to sell it, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so will today's class, then, them all be watching Mum on the telly? Yes. Yeah, they will be. Oh. They were, they were hoping I, I was going to be back in time to take, because some of them have got a, a Halloween party to go to tonight. And saying, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I won't be back in time today, because I'm oh. going to be on the telly. But I might be back in time. It's half term, the road should be a bit empty, shouldn't they? Yes, yeah. Oh, but they should be on half term. Do they yes. not homeschooling? Do you get the same holidays as going Yeah, to we do generally give them, unless, yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of homeschooling. It's flexible. If we, we, they love it when we tell them they've got to do work in half term. They yeah. Honestly, they yeah. love it. Um, <laughs> but so sometimes we do. This is just me asking this now. How do, do, do they still do O levels? And they, do they still do the exams at the end of a year if they do homeschooling? They, yeah, they can do. You, you just have to put them in yourself. You, you do it as like a separate individual yeah, 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 yeah. person through a school or you can do it in college. And they send the papers to your house and you do exam? No, they would go into a... Oh, they've got to go into yeah. the school to do it. And we've got some of them kind of studying for GCSEs. Um, oh. But they can do the subjects they want to do. I've got, I've got my son doing history and geography because he's uh -huh. very good at remembering facts. Right. And Casey's doing English literature. And yeah, they're... Um, they, you, the thing with homeschooling is you can... They can do what they are interested in. Yeah, how's you know. your French and your German then? Oh, we, we, we <laughs> discovered this really good online teacher, called, I can't remember what she was called now, 
um, French teacher, but yeah, she was she was very very funny. She's got a YouTube channel. Alexa, oh, so Alexa, could, she was called. French so you with can Alexa. do a French lesson. Yeah, you don't have to actually teach it. You can sit them in front of a lesson on YouTube. Yeah. and oh. But the bit, I mean, you can get we. I can remember fair bit from school doing French, and so can Lee. So we we do bits and pieces with yeah. them. But yeah, Isabel's the one that's mainly into the languages, and she likes to do her um, sign language and stuff as well. And she was learning. Oh she was wow. Doing yeah, they, they, they get into their own interests, and to a point you can let them explore their own interests. But yes, um, yeah, well, yes, because at school, if you suddenly said, I'm interested in doing sign language, yeah. they're going to go, no, I've got a class of 31 kids, I can't have you doing... But yep. I think, I don't know if you watch Strictly, but it was a deaf girl on Strictly Come Dancing, mm. and I think the fact that she's on mainstream... I know she's an actress in EastEnders, but, you know, she's dancing, and she's yeah. deaf, do you know what I mean? And they do all the, the sign language, and, and Giovanni, her partner, her dance partner, talks to her using sign language. I just think it's brilliant that lots of kids won't have even known that that was a thing, do you yeah. know what I mean? A lot of kids are be so much better at remembering that kind of stuff. Yes. I think if I tried to learn language, sign language, it would take me so long. Yeah. But Isabel just picks it up in, you know, an afternoon. Yeah, but her brain is about yes. 40 years younger than yours. Yes, it's not full of other stuff. <laughs> yeah, full of piecing. And yeah. Household. Yeah. Message from Joanne. Hi, John and Beth. I got Beth storage pods pattern and the gondola basket pattern. I have made lots of the gondola baskets in case. Yeah, the gondola is a nice one. That's one of those. Yeah, it's not. Everyone kind of knows my pods, but the gondola is a nice one. It's quite easy. Is the gondola the one that well, it looks like a, a looks gond like gondola yeah. with a handle? <clears throat> yeah, over the t over the yeah, middle yeah. handle. So, do you design things that you're at home? And you suddenly think, oh, I need something to keep those in. I'll design something around it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. That's it. And the button. It's got a thread cutter on that machine, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, this time right. we're going the other way with the seam. Okay. Reason being is because the outside has got quite a thin oh, bit of background. Yes, so if you yes. iron the seam that way, you're going to end up. It's just, it just with gives it you in the yeah, catching in the you seam. You just want yeah. more space. So that one needs a bit more easing. Uh, Justine says good morning or guten morgen from Luxembourg. Hello. We have international. Yeah, don't every we? Day. Oh, Georgina's never done curves before, but she's going to have a go now because it's a great demo. Thank you. I think it's just taking your time and not getting panicky and stressed about it. Yeah, I always say to customers at shows because you get a lot of you know new people and beginners, and I just think if, if if you really want the end result, if you really want to achieve, you'll you'll persevere and you'll mm -hmm. you know you'll you'll do put you your do mind classes. To it. I have done. I don't haven't don't do any at the moment, but I have done. Um, I did some. Here through shops, um, and I did some through the. Oast, I did one through Oast Quilters when I was living in Kent, uh -huh. um, and we did some ourse ourselves. Me and me, Lee was doing the food, and I was doing the teaching. But yeah, I haven't done it for a while because we, we've got two little ones as well now. So um, yeah, they take up lots of. Time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's one kind of quarter block uh -huh. finished. So, are you doing um, Harrogate? Will people see you at Harrogate? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Go possibly on. this other one that's coming up at Birmingham, I emailed, I hadn't booked onto that one, the ICHF one. Yeah. Um, that I might be getting to that one as well. Oh, okay. Yes, so these, you've got your, once you've got your four blocks finished, it's just a case of sewing them together. So you could do them in, if, if you're following the pattern, obviously do them in, in the order that it, it states there yeah, in the yeah, figure course, one. But, but if not, you could, you could flip, flip it around and do it your own. You just way. make six. You just make sixteen of that. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, of sixteen those. of them. And so you do your straight edge, and then how do you? Um, we're not going to do an applique today, but how do you do the middle section? So you've got your two templates for that. So the, I've, one is is the shape that you know the finished size that you're going to wrap your fabric around, like like doing English paper piecing, uh -huh. and then you've got one template for. Oh, to the cut fabric. the actual fabric, yeah. yeah. And I've done it a slightly bigger seam allowance than a quarter of inch because it's just, it's just easier to yeah. have a bit more to work with. So you're just going to tack it in place around the outside and iron it and then take the stitches out. And um, So it's not appliqued as in uh, like Bonda web or anything like that. So you're no, just no. literally popping it on top. Do you hand stitch it? Do you hand, do you hand stitch Slip it? stitch it, yeah. So I used to do it a very lazy way because I don't, I didn't, wasn't really a fan of applique and I used to just kind of lay it on top and then machine stitch very close to the edge. Yeah. A few of my quilts I've done it that way but I did it a bit more neat on these ones. So I'll just sew the block together. I don't know how much No, no, you keep, you keep going. I'm going I'll to ask you questions. Um, so, oh, hang on, there's a message first of all. Let's have a look at this one. Hi, 
uh, April in Australia. See, I told you we're international, didn't I? Yeah. Loving these quilts and feel lucky that I got a fat quarter bundle pack and enjoying the demo. Oh, have you booked it? You bought it on um, on um, pre-order. How long does it take to get to Australia? <clears throat> um, quilting. We're not going to do a quilting demo or anything like that. No. But you think that the actual quilting is as important as the piecing, don't you? Yes, it's it's the extra dimension, if you like. Yeah. You know, you've got all the colours of the piecing, and it, it's the, adds the texture. And it's it's the bit that people always comment on when they look at my quilts at shows and stuff, because you know, a show it's all up on the wall and it looks yeah, course, very impressive. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, for this one. I, d I do a lot of just spiral quilting and it's the most easy, it looks really impressive, but it's the most easy way of doing it. So with this one, I just I just went round the outside, the very edge of the centre, kind of in the ditch, if you like. Right. And then when you get back to the start, you just slowly feed Work your way out. Right. So do you do it on a domestic machine or have you got um, a long arm? I haven't got a long arm, no. I've just got a normal, it's, it's got a... A longer thread. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's just a normal machine. Don't know if I can say the brand. Yeah, because... I can, I have a Janome Horizon. Oh, you can definitely say that because we yeah. do. Uh, oh, we you do, do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's an old one. It's one of the, it's the first kind of model that came out and it's been updated a lot, I think. Uh -huh. but, um, have you only got one machine? I've, I have, actually. I bought a, a sewing machine for my daughter and I've been using hers all the time because it fits on my desk easier. She, <laughs> she ought to be charging me for it, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that's also a Janome, but a much more simple one. Yeah. So, yeah, I've pinned it in place. You don't have to if you feel confident not to, but it just... It just you know, you know yeah, you're, yeah, you're going to yeah. keep it Well, yeah, because straighter. you're matching seams, aren't you, on this one? Yeah. And I'm not too picky about seams not matching up. The overall effect, I mean, if you, would you notice if any of those seams no, are not completely no, matched up? No. Um, joy is in the making it, and all that's that. That's funny you should say that, because we're going to go on in a minute to the Sunbeam, which is FPP, which is all about precision. Yes. But so, it's, it's precision that you don't have to think too much about. It just no. does it for you, so... Yeah. But no, I'm not one to one pick and start again if my seam doesn't match up. Got another message from April in Australia. At the moment, about three weeks, all going well, which is one great once shipped. I have only had a couple of orders that got delayed, so very happy. Brilliant, April. Oh, with shipping and everything at the moment, that's brilliant to hear. I think <coughs> things you... have been getting held in customs a lot. Oh, my yes, best lots. friend lives in Australia, and I sent her a moving in card, and um, it didn't arrive till about a month after she'd moved in. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, these seams. Open, yep. find them open. Okay. Which is always fiddly. But, um. Oh, uh, I've got a message from Julia. Now, Julia, your first message didn't come through. I can only see it because someone's replying to it, saying, Morning, John, back from Italy with the cold from whatever. Oh, dear. Well, yeah, it's horrible. It's also a bit of out at the moment. Oh, look, it's fantastic. See, so not quite matched up, but never mind. Yeah. Oh, that one's quite off. Can't see that one. No. Colours are beautiful. They all work. So so when you do your doodles, how yeah. do you then decide on what kind of colourways to do them in? I just keep dropping colours in until I got, get what I like. Yeah. I just try a few different things. I, I tend to have base colours that I use I, i'll always use an aqua i was gonna say you could look at that and you'd know that was a beth studley yeah just because the colorways on it sort of thing i don't tend to use red i don't tend to use green i tend to use aquas and oh, i like yeah. i use a lot of navy i don't know why really i just it just kind of developed that way you've got the colors that you like and you know what appeals to you as you're coloring things on the we computer have, we have one lady oh sorry is that again cat Oh, yeah, you can always tell, yeah. Um, we have one lady who won't use ever use red. Yeah. So we'll sometimes have a bundle and she'll message in and she'll go, is that red in there? Oh, I can't have it then. <laughs> I can't, yeah, I can't have it. Or yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to change it for something else. <coughs> <coughs> no, I, do, I like red. I just, it just never seems to be what goes in my, in my collections. So you're looking around now to have a look. Yeah. No, because you've got kind of like yeah, these are all paprika -y and spicy colours rather yeah. than... I mean, all of my collections have been slightly different colourways, but they're all kind of the same yeah. shades, if you like. Please remember, we can't, we cannot, loads of people have got this in their basket, we cannot replace these once they've gone. That's it. It's because the fabric is all over. Beth saying that this was the... E all the fabric that she had in this range she's cut up for today either the long quarters or the um fat quarters 
Demand is higher than supply. Yes. It's all exclusive as well. Nobody else has got these. Nobody else has got these. So refreshing to hear Beth say she's not too worried about her matching seams. Gives yeah. us newbies encouragement from Yeah, the look at this one. Oh, it's exactly. really off. Exactly. I think to be is fair, it really actually, off, that one? In, my own, in my own defense here, these, these blocks were sewn on my machine and obviously the seam oh, is quite yeah, different yeah, on yeah. this yeah. machine. And you're yeah. standing up and you're on telly <laughs> yeah. and you've got me wittering in your ear. Mm. Message really, hi both. Best, what a joy you are. Clear, precise, organised and ultra-talented without being affected. How clever you are. Much love from Julie. Oh, that's Thank a you. nice one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's true, though. It's true. Sorry to hark back to the quilting, but did Beth do it free motion? Uh, technically, no, because I don't have a free motion foot. I use my walking foot. So it's it's quite, it does kind of organise it, yeah. but yeah, it's just, I, so it's literally you're just stitching through it. It's not yeah, you're not you, you're not doing it like this. You're going round in circles yes. like that. So the, yeah, a free motion you can kind of move it yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, with a walking foot, no. But you just use the edge of your foot as a guide yeah. to. You're quite old-fashioned. That, that, that isn't meant as a. This isn't yeah. meant rude, but you're quite traditional in the way you do things. You yes. know, not, there's no fangled, newfangled devices. You just need a sewing machine that does a straight stitch, really. That's yes. all you need, isn't it? I think I learned quite early on that I like doing things my own way. And I, I, I <laughs> figured out, you know, just do it your own way rather than trying to learn yeah, 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 someone yeah. else's so way. So that's what makes you unique and makes you best Dudley, isn't it, really? Yeah, I guess. We are going to talk about sunbeams as well. We're not going to do a demo from, but we are going to talk you through the sunbeams. Do you want to do that now, or do you want me to finish this block? No, no, no. We can do that now. Block. I don't want to put, put you off, but we can do that now. Just put that together. Just put that one to that open one that one up, so we can just look at it together with the circle in the middle. Yeah. And then that's what you each block. You're going to make sixteen of those. Yeah. And then I presume you just do rows of four. Yes. Is so. there another border of blue round the edge, or is that the board? Is the board? yes? I did. I think it's. Two inches, two inch border. Yeah. Um, but that's optional. If you don't want to do that, you can oh, just... Oh, no, I like that because you've got yeah, your frame. And then I you've do. just done a scrappy, <clears throat> a scrappy binding. Yeah, so with the binding, I just cut one and a half, one and a quarter inch strips of anything that I could. I've got some in here. Um, yeah, all your scraps, just pick them up off the floor. Anything that's usable is a one and, one and a quarter. Even if it's this long, yeah. you can, you can yeah. use it. Sew them all together. And then make is that all? Is that all you cut it? One and a quarter inches. One and a quarter inches. If I was doing a binding from from scratch, I cut it at two and fold it in half yeah. and do the binding that way. Yeah. But that you don't want to waste fabric, so that way I just do it a, a quarter and oh, okay. inch and a quarter. So do you, do you stitch it on that side for a quarter inch, turn it over and over, and then stitch it down on the yeah. back. Slip stitch back. I went through a phase of doing all my bindings on the machine, and then I, uh -huh. I went back to slip stitching. Yeah, I think it's just one, neater. Yeah, yeah. And when do you, when do you get time to do slip stitching then? No, I know. I, I, I yeah, I don't like doing that, that that bit. It's the most boring bit. But yeah, generally in front of the telly in the evening. <laughs> no, I was just thinking when you've got all those children, and everything else, and a business to run. I think you just you learn to box off your time. You know, this is every five minutes or every 20 minutes counts, you know, so you, you use it wisely. I suppose. Oh, no, 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 exactly. I, I, they always say, don't they, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. Because yes. It's so easy. I've just had three days off and I had so many plans to do so many things and they end up thinking, oh, I'll just watch another escape to the country or mm. I'll just watch another naked attraction or whatever, you know, and yeah. it's like, that my three days have gone like that, I know. you know what I mean? So, well, you do, I t we tend to do things in blocks. So, you know, this week we're going to very much focus on the schooling. Next week we've got a bit of work to do. So you, you do a bit of your more independent learning. And, you know, it's our lives quite flexible, really, How in that lovely. way. Yes. Yeah, it kind of works for do us. Do you live in the country? You don't have to give away where you live, but do you live yeah. in the countryside? Well, actually, no, we're in a town. Um, but, yeah, countryside's very Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, just kind of like, you know, yeah. kind of, I can, I've got this picture in, like, one of those um, Durrells or whatever in, you know, kind of, what's that one where they're all abroad and they're all... Um, Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's yeah. move on to this one now then, because this is gorgeous. Yeah. So this is, in the kit here, the Sunbeams quilt, you get a metre of your linear print, the lovely indigo linear print there. You get all of these patterns. You don't get the flowers in this one, because the, from there, because the flowers are too big for the pieces. Um, these are long, are they long quarters or long eights? What do we call yes, these? Yes, a couple of the kits I had to put a fat quarter in, because that's what I had left. Oh, okay. Because that's, that's, that's how much I had no fabric left. Yeah, yeah most of them are long But it doesn't quarters matter, like you still get the same. Yeah. Same, Same amount, amount of fabric, fabric just yeah. in a different shape yeah. sort of thing. So then inside here, without me opening this, 
Do I've... we get charts that we need to photocopy? There's no, there's no chart in that one. Um, I'm just thinking how I've done this one. It's, it's, it, I mean, I've, it's. No, no, based... sorry, I'm, I called it a chart. The things that we sew on to do oh, the foundation yeah, so you, paper piece. Yeah, because you're going to be copying these. Yeah. Um, I've put two on the same sheet, so it's easy to put in the photocopier. Yeah. And, and I know you can use special papers for foundation. Yeah, yeah, we've got Carol Doe, but you use photocopy yeah. paper, do you? I do, I do just not use normal paper, but yeah. I'm sure if I actually used that, I'd probably can be converted, but... It, this is fantastic. Yeah. Um, just so you know, the quilt, uh, the, the pattern comes with the quilt kit. It's not available on its own. This is Carol Doe's foundation paper piecing. You can print onto it. You can photocopy onto it. So you could print up all of those or photocopy all of, uh, of the charts from there straight onto there. The only reason we say use this, uh, we used to say use the cheapest um, photocopying paper ever, right? The difference is this one here, it's kind of made for the job. It's like a, a sugar paper, so you can stitch through. It's strength, strong to stitch through, but when you want to rip it away, it comes away much easier. 100 sheets of 14.99. Right, very quickly, because we're sort of running tracing out of time. Tracing paper is also very good for and foundation. What? Tracing paper, just normal tracing paper is quite good for foundation pieces. Oh, is it? But yeah, it rips away. And can away you put tracing paper through a photocopier? Yeah, yeah, we can put it, certainly put it through a printer because I've done that. Oh, okay. Right, but, um, okay. Yeah, because it rips away very easily. So what and you saying, can see through. Yeah, so the sheet, oh, yeah, the right. sheet comes, so you'll need to photocopy this, I think, 16 times to get enough to do the quilt. But this is one of those ones where if you want to make it bigger, just, just make it bigger. I mean, you, you'd need to incorporate more fabrics yes. from the kit. But yeah. if you, or, you know, if you... Well, if you bought this from the... Yes. Or oh, we've already put it through the graphics. If you it's... bought that fat quarter bundle, you could then end up making this into a full-size bed quilt. Yes, you, you could, yeah. yeah. Fine. So, what do we? How do we go about doing this then? Well, so do you, you want me to actually sew? sew no, no, no. You can just, just talk us through it because I think. Well, foundation people... piecing. Yeah. Um, you sew onto the paper first. Yeah. And it's what well, this one of these things that when you try and explain it, it just sounds so complicated, but yeah. it actually isn't. Um, so you're sewing. It's it's a bit like paint by numbers. You're just sewing onto your onto your lines. Uh -huh. So it's all number for you. This is piece one, two, three, four, and you just sew onto the lines. So you start with pieces one and two. And how have you, uh, do you, do, ha, the cutting out, how do you, because you, you obviously don't say, you haven't got templates for all those numbers. Do you just no, say no, cut strips you cut of, as you go. So you're going to cut strips um, at an inch and a half for these, and that's enough to cover your space in the pattern right. and, with a seam allowance. Uh -huh. So w once you've got your, your fabrics, cut them all into um, inch and a half strips. Maybe just two, do two or three colours, two or three fabrics to start with. and then. So the whole of the, do you use all that fabric? Does it, all of that No, get no, used? both of these kits, actually, you'll have plenty left over. Oh, OK, yeah. OK, then. So don't cut it all up to No, start no, no, with. just do two or three strips and then cut more as you need. Some of the colours you'll use more than others. Yeah. Some colours you might only use one or two strips. OK, but now the blue in this one doesn't get cut up into the strips. Is that incorporated no. into the sun into the sunbeams? No, I did think about doing it that way, but I thought it would be nicer to be appliqued afterwards. So that one is done in the same way as this. Um, obviously, this is... A print but you do yes, it in, a, yes, in yes. a background you do it exactly the same way it's bigger circle and so the applique it on blue is only in the circles in the middle and the border yes are those circles all different sizes is that my eyes it's just your eyes and it's probably my sewing <laughs> no no because that one looks smaller than that one but that's no you know, they're, they're all the same size these are very expensive new glasses <laughs> but and that one's quite nice because it's foundation pieced and it, all the precision is in the blocks that it doesn't if you don't get the center quite central and quite sewn on straight it doesn't yeah. really notice doesn't no really no matter. no not at all so literally you take the piece of paper you put the first one on the right side yeah stick so you, it down, and you've then, got you put them right sides together yeah and then you would put them on the back of the fabric on the back of the paper sorry yeah um, like this. It's all, it's all picture. I've got all pictures. Oh, no, no, it's all in, it's all in, in there. Here. But you so don't use, you don't and use an outer quarter inch ruler then? No. How do you, how do you, so is. when you've sewn it, how do you trim it off? Uh, I, I fold it back directly yeah. on the line. And again, this is explaining the pattern. Yeah. Um, so you're folding it back like this and then you, you trim to a quarter of an inch. Oh, so it is. You should be using just use a regular just use, ruler, so you do, don't have to buy. A I just do it by trip. eye. No, 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 no. <laughs> but no. yeah, you could do it with a ruler. Yeah. Um, and then you fold it back, and then yeah, fold your fabric back yeah, yeah. the other way. I mean, if you've done foundation piecing, it makes sense what I'm what of I'm course. saying. Of no, course. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's, there's instructions in there that tell you, tell you exactly how to do it. Because so many people haven't done foundation before. I, I find that every time I do a foundation piece, I do have to do instructions on how exactly. to do it. Exactly. That looks like, and uh, Kaif designed a fabric where it's not, it's, it, where he's drawn it like that. So it's oh, kind right. of like a circle, and then he's done. Oh, I know the one. Fabric. Yeah. That, I don't know the name of it, but it's, yeah, it's kind of like creating. But this must. Be, so, how, how would you quilt something like this one then? 
that one I just did line straight through the um, the beams. So right. I, I just went straight up through the middle and then I went into the next block, stopped at the centre circle, moved around a little bit and came back through and went that way. Oh, and some of them are half blocks then as well. Yes. So the ones in the corner, your cornerstones are like half blocks as well. But that yeah. will be, that's all in there anyway. Yes, yeah, so you've got separate templates for, you've got six templates for the centre. So you've got one for the whole, there's four whole ones in the middle. Yeah. And then there's half ones and quarter ones. Brilliant. That's been brilliant. Now you're back in an hour's time. Yep. We're going to be uh, the fat quarters. We, we've got this big bundle. Are the, are the other ones arrived yet? Just waiting for confirmation. There will be. If you don't want to get, can we put the? Have you put the graphics this through or not? There you go. Side graphics are eighty nine ninety nine. But there will be. And how many are in there? Twenty four. Oh, Oh, that's good. That's good. Twenty four for eighty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 we also do do. And we'll, we'll have them at 12 o'clock. There will be a pinky version and the yellowy version. We'll show you them later. This one here, you've not seen that in either of these kits. And the florals, I'm going to mess this whole one up now. The florals, if you've bought the sunbeams, you haven't got the florals in there. Just so you know, just so you know. Right, okay, let me just recap these two kits before we go for a break. Right, now, now, you see, now we're going to have people missing out now. So I'll do, uh, which one are you putting in first? Uh, broken circles first. Please, please, please be careful. Now, these ones, I've got lots of stock of these at the moment, but not the not the sunbeam. So please be careful. You get a metre and a quarter of your Macawa. Beautiful uh, linear print, linear texture. Then you get fat quarters. You get oh, These are all Beth Studley originals. There is none of this fabric left, so we cannot recreate these. They are exclusive to Sewing Street, but Beth used all of her fabric to cut all these out for us. Right, so you get the... the Oh, now, what, what would you call those? It's the, called Pop. Pop? Yeah. <laughs> pop, that one's called Pop. I'm going to test her now, this one. Moir Stripe. Moir Stripes. Then you've zigzag. got this one. Zigzag. Oh, that's really... Yeah. Yeah. This one. Dashes. <laughs> this one. Wheels, I think. Could be wheels, could be medallion. I'm could be sure, wheels sure. on the bus because you've got little kids. I'm not, I, think it's, I think I call it wheels, but I think Henna, um, Macara called it medallion. Okay, then. Uh, star? I think it's just called Star. Flower. Sunflowers. Sunflower. <laughs> anyway, none of these fabrics are available by the half meter because they've all been sold. Well, we haven't got them because they've all gone into these kits, right? And the pattern doesn't come on its own either. $109.99, split pay of $54.99 twice, that's all. There you go. Right, moving on. Uh, this one here is your sunbeam quilt. Turn that one around this way. This is the FPP one behind me. This one, you get a meter of your Macawa linear. Then you've got your zigzags, you've got your Moira, Moira, Moira Stewart. Moira. Are you sure it's not Moire? Yeah, probably is, yeah. Moire is like watermark taffeta. That'll be what it is. Then. Yeah, it is Moire. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. They don't get out much down south. No. Uh, no. Then you've got your pop, you've got your dash, you've got your star, and you've got your wheels on the bus go round and round, plus your instructions there. It's enough to make the front and the binding. So the binding of that one's all out of the blue. There's no, oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. Take that back. Take it back. Exclusive to Sewing Street. Yeah, it is medallion, that one. Beautiful. It's what? It is medallion. Oh, not wheels on the bus. Mm. It'll always be wheels on the bus to me now, that one. Right, we're going for a break now. Uh, make sure you check out your basket. I don't want you to miss that, especially on the Sunbeams one. Um, we're doing the plique cushion after the break with Debs and then we'll be back in an hour's time where we're doing embroidery and we're doing the fat quarters. So we'll see you in four minutes from now. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. 
Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my sewing street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic. Um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol, um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was, I, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a purlet thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston and I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios studios whilst the show was on. It was really really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. But I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. My word, it's one in, one out today, isn't it? It's all go. Would you like to make an Alpine house cushion? Jeremy? Honestly, this, this is what happens when you use freelancers. Now, you say, let me explain something. Right? I'm going to show you that one first, right? So this is this panel that you can get totally, 
This is not the most popular anymore. It was when we first started, right. But they're all popular. Well, let me explain what it is, right? So, where, uh, it's a panel. It's totally exclusive to us. Oh, it doesn't say that. Totally exclusive to us. You can make a cushion. On the back of the cushion is the finished picture, but not appliqued. And on the front of the cushion is the same picture, but it's appliqued. So you appliqued it with these bits here. Oh, that's not going to be easy to do. That tree, is it? Mm. How did you do that tree? Okay. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so there's your tree. There's your snow. There's your little bit. <laughs> Who drew that? That little bit of snow there. Where's that big bit of snow there then? Where? Sky. Oh no, background behind the house, show you. Because the sky's already printed. There's the house. There's the path. There's the wall. And there's the little trees. There's four of those. Don't think she's put four on us. No. Oh, excuse me. No, I haven't put four. Oh, honestly. Because you only need one. You don't need one. Well, they're extras then. I think you've got extras. Anyway, so that panel is twelve ninety nine, <laughs> and that's called Winter Cottage, Winter Cottage. Blimey, it's number eight thousand seven hundred sixty eight. That'll be a long road. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> Jeremy's saying they're all individually numbered, starting at one. That's a lie. They're all <laughs> eight thousand seven hundred sixty eight, Jeremy. Okay, so that's your Alpine House. Oh, no, Alp they haven't called it Alpine House. That's what they called it. Winter Cottage, right? That one was in the lead this morning on pre-order. That's in what position now? Second place. Second place. First place is the stag. <coughs> <laughs> this one makes me laugh. I'll show you the back picture, first of all. There's a lovely back picture. Stag's looking through woodland. And then that's your floral woody bank. What's that quote from um, Midsummer Night's Dream? Anyway, it's come to me. Anyway, that's the back of your cushion. Here's the front of your cushion, right? So the antlers are already printed on. Is this one you're doing? Yeah, the antlers are already printed on there. So you just have to put the body there and the trees. People multi-buying these. People multi-buying these. So there's your trees. I know a bank where the wild thyme grows, where oxlips and nodding violets blow, over canopied by sweet luscious woodbine. I played Oberon. Wow. I did play I Oberon. I can tell. No. <laughs> no, that's bottom. <laughs> Oberon's the king of the fairies, isn't he? Anyway, look, and here's your large deer, which looks a bit like a sheep to me. <laughs> if you look at that, does it not look like a sheep? And then this one here looks like a dog with it that's been told off and its ears are down. But that's a small deer and that's a large deer. Not an O deer. The what? Not an O deer. Not an O deer, <laughs> but it could be doe a deer. Doe a deer, a female. Yeah, it could oh, be a doe dear. a deer. Just getting silly now, aren't we? Could be a lady. <laughs> what, what? Just getting silly, aren't we now? Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. It's because it's gone very hot in here suddenly. I'm having a hot flush. Major. Right. Take your cardio off if you have a hot flush. <laughs> now this one. No, I chose the Alpine House. I didn't choose this one. Oh dear. This is Jeremy on his holidays. Are you going skiing this year, Jeremy Joe? Can you imagine Jeremy Joe on skis? You know when they have baby giraffes at the um, <laughs> at the zoo and it kind of wakes up like that and it has to get that first milk and it kind of does all the, That's what Jeremy Joe's like most days. So this is the back of your cushion, or your guide. Ooh, oh, yes. When JJ went skiing, he came back with two broken legs, didn't he? Then, and not from, he wasn't on the ski slope, he was drunk at a party. But anyway, uh, here you've got the, that, cable car. There, you, so you get all of these. Oh, I was going to say it's only half, but you need half. What's this here, then? Mountain. Oh, yes, yeah, small mountain. Where's the big mountain then, if that's the small mountain? What? Oh yeah, there's the other mountain on flowers. $12.99. You're not going to see this one demoed at all. You're going to see the doa deers 
demoed. They're really good value for twelve ninety nine though, aren't they? <coughs> nice cotton. Yeah, you know what? Do you know what? I think what I'd do is I'd make two cushions. I'd have mm -hmm. half a metre of like cream or grey or grey if it was this one. Grey fabric as the back of my cushions and then have one cushion that I've appliqued. And then you know what I'd do? I'd then stitch, <coughs> like do like little bit of quilting. Why has he got a chess piece on the end of his arm there? Anyway, um, so then you've got two matching cushions then. So that's what I'd do. Would you do what? Oh yeah, where's his, where's his, um, what are they called, those things that you have to hold on to? Oh, it's uh, ski rods. What? Do you know ski things poles. like that? Ski, ski poles. poles. Is that ski what poles. they're called? Yeah, I go skiing often. You go what? <laughs> you do what? <laughs> I, go, I go skiing often. Do you? No. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't imagine you in a pair of salopettes. What are you saying? <laughs> um, but, you know, I used oh, to dear. do the Vitality <laughs> show, right, and things like that. The, th the top sellers at those vitality shows are those poles not for people who go skiing, who just go walking. Oh, like hiking. Yeah, yeah. and I never, and I, I used to live in Norway quite a lot, and everyone had a pair, and they'd go walking like this. You could always, um, you could always just sew them on, couldn't you? Yeah, you could sew them on, but I don't know what they're for. Or oh, what's the matter now? Thought we were being told off about something then. I'm, she's going home in a minute anyway. So, so Hayley came in, right? She has to leave at one o'clock, but she, uh, last, time, last break I went in, she was doing squats, right? In the, like gym squats. And then this time she's on some gem game on the, you know, like, what's that called? Gem, what's that? No, no, no. You know when you have the, the coloured. Jenga, oh. There's Jenga? a jewel candy crush. That's what she's playing now. Right, okay. Let's start with this. I've got some other cushions coming up when Orlando did. Um, but I've got those coming out and I've got, well, I think he's broken. Right, so, make it. Yeah, go for it. So. Oh, and no, I forgot one thing, sorry. Sorry, sorry, bond <laughs> web, five <laughs> metres on a roll. Five metres on a roll. You were just saying how good this was. Oh, it was really good, really good. I like to have loads of bond web. It's brilliant on the roll. Twenty-three ninety-nine. pounds <laughs> bought one of these on the other, when she was in the other day. Anyway. Now you can get on. I'll talk about the mat later. Thank you, John. Thank you. That's right. So I've cut out the panel. Um, it's a bit like a jigsaw, I think. This. Right. And I think one thing that's worth doing before you start is number all the pieces because some of them need to go on. In a, they need to go on in a particular order. But oh, there's no instructions. <coughs> there's no instructions. But it's it's okay. You don't need instructions okay. particularly. Be but that's why I would just number them. Right. So, for example, here, this bit needs to go on first. I know that because I've used this as... It's a bit like a jigsaw because this is like the front of your oh, jigsaw Oh, so box. you have to look at it, yeah. So I'm, I've used that as the picture, you see. So that piece goes underneath first because the trees are on top of it. But that deer is behind the trees. Right. Do you see what I mean? Oh, yes. So it's... If you put... Imagine if you'd put that stag on and then put the tree over it then the stag would be behind the tree that's fine well it would be fine yeah. but except um, if you did that on this one you'd have no bottom on the big one no you, it would look if you like put that. him in front of the trees on that you'd suddenly wonder where his bottom was yeah or this one you could have his bottom showing and it could be the tree behind it so he'd be in front of the tree yeah but has it got a bottom <laughs> well, this well is, we'll soon has, see now he has we? actually oh, he has do you see bottom. what i mean yeah so i've used my friction pen and gone one two three four, five, six, seven. Fine. So I've numbered all the pieces because I, then I haven't got to think when I'm doing it. Because right. you know what it's like, you get going. And okay. So I have kept, now I know this is a bit wasteful. If I was at home, I wouldn't do it like this. Oh. I, if I was at home. It's a do as I do. Do as do, I do. Yeah. No, don't do as <clears> I do, do as I say. Because to iron, to press those little tree trunks, it's quite tricky, isn't oh, it? Oh, I think I agree with you, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of cheat because you can still save the Bonder web yeah, and yeah. use it for other bits mm -hmm. and bobs. So I'm just going to show you from scratch, really, how I did it. So as you can see, I've cut all the bits out of the panel. <coughs> and then... This one's still in the lead. Still in the lead. It is a nice one, this, isn't it? I like the colours, the greys. It's nice and neutral, isn't Would it? Would you only get it out for Christmas, though? <coughs> I think you could have this one out. In winter. In winter oh, they can all be winter. You? None of them are Christmassy, are they? Not really, no. Mm -hmm. And then I found this quite strange because I do a lot of applique. 
Well, of course, normally you draw the picture on the paper onto side. Onto the paper, yeah. Then you're ironing it onto the reverse fabric, of the fabric. Yeah. This is the opposite. So you've got the bonder web glue side up. Yeah, just be. Oh, now you make sure you use your applique mat. I got you on those out specially. What have you, you done with it? You did get me one out, John. Don't get your glue there on you your go. iron. That's a good idea. I was just being careful. I have got an applique mat at home. I do use it. To yeah, be six ninety nine. They are really mat. good because, as you say, if I was doing that, <clears throat> the only thing is, it does. It still sticks, but yeah, no, but then it, it doesn't comes matter. away. It's not gone it's on your iron or ironing board. Your iron. Uh, Claire says Nordic wa Nordic walking, that's called. It uses more energy. Mm. Dawn says you two make me laugh. A tonic on a grey day. <laughs> Is it horrible outside? We don't know. It's dark when we come in. Now, do you use paper scissors or fabric scissors? Oh, uh, I've got special scissors. What are I don't they for use, both? I don't use my best no. fabric cutting. No. But I've, no, I've found that Bonderweb doesn't blunt my scissors. So no. I've used, I use decent scissors. I don't use my yeah. paper scissors because you obviously cut them through fabric. That's right. But I don't use my very, very best shears. You see, these are my best scissors. Oh, no, I don't want to use those. And these are my paper scissors. Oh, OK. So I'm going, I'm using my paper scissors. Your paper scissors are obviously very sharp. But they're though. all right, yeah. yeah my they're paper scissors that. just chew through things. Oh, no, these are going through quite nicely, look. So you're now cutting right to the edge. Because if you're used to doing a lot of applique with the cushion covers and things like I say it's, it's kind of the opposite way around yeah but it was nice to do something different yeah <coughs> keeps so us all fresh doing oh it different. keeps us on our toes doesn't yeah. it yeah and it's you know it's just you think oh it's the same a plea cave but it's not it's different but the same, same principle same principle so I found this very nice and therapeutic yeah. doing this mm -hmm. because I've then so that is now the paper side. Yeah, is it cool? So I'm going to score that just the same as I would. 10 out of 10. Normally, 10 out of 10, let's score yeah. it. Or one nil. Oh, doesn't mean anything to me. Take the, um, take the backing off. Yeah. So you've got the Bonder web sticky side on the reverse. And then, where's my board gone? Yeah. <coughs> and then. Is that definitely number one? That's definitely number one. Okay. Because what, what happens at this stage, John, is you've got it there. So you can see I've written number one here on this bank. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to place that there. So for the moment, you are covering up the bottom of your trees. And, and, all, and his legs. And his legs. legs. So you do think, oh, but it's fine. Mm, fine. Because you've, you've got the sizes already. They're already there. You've not got to cut them out. To, you know, I'm two wondering sides. if I might use some other fabrics some colorful fabrics in there as well <coughs> you could just use a pop one thing in a bright color couldn't you yeah. have it all gray monotone yeah. and then just have one yeah monotone doesn't run monochrome doesn't really go in my house <coughs> monochrome does it oh not? here you go dawn's got a dedicated bond to wear pair of scissors well she would oh she would have to yeah. that dawn taylor they are a sharp pair of sewing scissors hubby sharpens them Wow. On a special wet stone. Yeah, that's what he's oh. telling you he's doing, Dawn. <laughs> he's going down the ironmongers, really. <laughs> I'm going outside to show up in these scissors. I don't think we've met him. Oh, yes, we met him right. Is he called Steve? I don't know. I think actually. we met him right the first time. She's never brought him back since. He's too busy sharpening her scissors. Yeah. Oh, she we has, frightened him off. She has him put to work. So I'm just cutting out. Now, these are quite nice to cut, the because they're like a birch tree, aren't they? Yes, yeah, silver birch. Silver birch. And I think, I think it's important when you're cutting these out to cut on the line. Because if you cut outside of the line, you'll still see the outline edge. Yeah. So cut directly on the line. They're a nice size because they're not too thick. Not too, yeah. <coughs> um, Dawn says, yes, he is called Steve. Uh, Princess says, I missed the start. Uh, is the bonder web double sided? It's the same as all bonder web. It's got paper on one side and glue on the other, princess. And what you do <coughs> is normally you draw your pattern on the paper side. You then iron it to your piece of fabric. You then peel the paper backing off, put it onto another piece of fabric, iron it again. So it is double sided, but only once you've taken the backing paper off. Ooh. It's uh, it's ever, everything's kind of in reverse, isn't it, with yeah. the, when you're using the bonder web? Now I've not numbered these tree oh, trees, so I'm going it on to. The panels. I've numbered the panel, but I like to I like to keep a bit of guesswork, John. Yeah. <laughs> I like to mix things up a bit. You do need to get out more. Do you know? <laughs> I spent 
too long in my sewing room on yeah. my own. Or down the pork pie factory. <laughs> I don't actually eat those pork pies myself. Oh, don't you? No, not really. Do they do vegetarian versions? I'm going to have to ask. I'm going to have to go in and ask. And also, do they do turkey versions? Cats had a turkey pork pie, she said. Oh. She I'll said it with cranberry juice. No, not cranberry juice, cranberry jelly. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll have to ask. Yeah. I, um, yeah. I did say though, didn't I, last time I was on, I'd bring you one. And did course, you? Yeah. That's did I not say on air, I'm no, vegetarian? No, I don't think, probably did, yeah. John. Or maybe I went, no, she won't. She, yeah, probably She's think, just saying you that. You know what Debbie's like. Yeah, she she's won't. an expert. And Come she on. did. She's a, a woman of her word. Obviously. And trust me, John. There we go. So they're all the, now that backing of that bundle web's coming off already, look, oh, which is fine. Oh, it doesn't normally do that. I think it's because I've not press fully it pressed it. <coughs> so here we go. So there's the cushion cover. So this is number two here. Right. So now I've got to do a little bit of guesswork. Are you going to cover up his antlers now? Oh, so no. now I'm going to, which one's which, John? I don't know. I find this quite nice. It's like, that. so that's that one. That's definitely that one. That's that one, because it's got that Kink. bit there, yeah. kinky bit. Um, and this is the other thin one because we've got another wide one there, which is actually number four. But <laughs> I'm going out of order. Where's number four? Because where is they're four, cut out in advance. Oh, okay. Because they were on the same piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that has come off quite nicely. Actually, it's okay because it's still. Um, it's only the paper that comes off. It's only the paper yeah. that's come off. So there is my tree. So can you see what I mean, John, about the lines? See, I've left a bit of line there yeah. for the outline, which is fine. <coughs> but you're going to zigzag or something over that line yeah, anyway, aren't you? Yeah, so yeah. you could use, in fact, the, paper, the sticky bit has come off there, look. Oh. So with that, that's a good... I'm glad that did that. I'm glad that went wrong because <laughs> I did that on purpose because I'm going to pin it on Yeah. to show you that, as you've just said, because you're going to sew all the way around it... Oh, so none of it's stuck on that one? That one hasn't stuck at all. All the papers come off. Oh, All the um, glue came off. Maybe you didn't iron it properly. I didn't. It I didn't do that. No, it do, I've never had that happen before. So let's try again with this bit. I like having the whole this big roll because you've got plenty then, haven't you? Yeah. So let's make sure we've got. While it. you're doing that, I might just do a quick recap. Mm -hmm. So the one we're working on is called the Winter Stag. It's a panel exclusive to us. <coughs> What sound does a stag make? Uh, you have to watch, um, uh, what's that really good programme about the royal family? Crown. When did they go up to... Um, oh, yeah. For the <laughs> anyway, here's the winter stag. You get the backing. You get the one you're going to put all the plique on and all the applique pieces. Twelve ninety nine. That's your winter stag. That's doing the one that Debbie's demoing. The one Debbie's already made is this one here, the Alpine House, but we've called it a winter cottage scene. Number. It's in America, this house, isn't it? If it's number 8,768. <coughs> Imagine if you're the, the um, newspaper boy on that street. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there's one that you applique all your pieces onto. There's the finished one. Then these are all your bits to applique on. Twelve ninety nine is the finished sample. That's the front, and there's the back, Jeremy. <coughs> and then we've also got the skiing one, winter ski scene. Now this one's being a bit neglected. The other two are very, very, very popular. This one's being feels a little bit neglected. I think this one would look nice in a kid's bedroom, this one. <coughs> Don't you? Anyway, that's your winter ski. Now, I've got two other things, uh, very similar to this. When do Orlando did these? I'll just show you them quickly. Look. <coughs> Cats up a tree. Now, this is a cushion cover. She's made this. You can't make it into a tote bag. So that's this one here. So now what you get in this bundle is you get Wendy Orlando's instructions. Oh, that's a dog. <coughs> oh, they're both dogs, right? Then you get half a metre of your n nude. And then you get a panel with the cats on. Now, again, you get your outline of where everything goes. So you're not left thinking. And then you've got your cat one, your cat three, cat four, 
cat two leaves that's your layout not sure what that's for and then these are your straps if you do make a bag out of it <coughs> but what wendy did was she used this to make the border spot the deliberate mistake okay so that's that one and we also have one with dogs which you get half a meter of gray the instructions and then the panel with the dogs on this one's very limited <laughs> there you go so on this one you get your three dogs meeting under a tree you get the places where they have to go you get the tree <coughs> You get the handles or the border, depending on what you're making. You've got the Scotty Dog waistcoat there. That Dachshund's very, very elongated, in my opinion. The dogs <laughs> near um, Cat's house meet up every day, outside their house. Oh. Right, back to the demo. How are you doing over there? Very good. So I'm cutting out the um, the small stag. So with a plique, just use I'm just using the very the the part of the scissor almost nearest to the hinges, yeah. so that you can then and move in the actual fabric rather than the scissors. Yeah, because it gets quite thin around those legs, doesn't it? <coughs> they are very thin. So it's using the the corner of the scissors rather than the tip. Uh -huh. So there's the small stack. Oh, I need that, don't I? To, no, to press him on. But this will stick that bit down, you see, as well. The uh, tree that didn't quite stick. <laughs> Do you go behind it or in front of it? This in one goes in front. Yeah. I mean, I don't suppose it would No, it looks matter. weird him going behind it, though. Yeah, it? it does. It would look like he was hiding, wouldn't it? But it wouldn't be the end of the world, would it, if no. you put them on in a different order? So there he is, yeah, because he goes on behind this tree. Yeah. So Did there you? he is. So it's quite okay. nice because you've got the picture underneath to line him up. I'm going to put that applique <coughs> because the glue has just come off onto the front of that stag. Yeah. And there he is. Nicely glued on. Mm-hmm. And then I'd already cut out number four, hadn't I? <laughs> Don't know, we couldn't find it earlier. Here he is. There it is. Here's number four. Yeah, this is the wider one. So here, here that one is. And then I think it's nice because you can then either do free motion or mm -hmm. zigzag stitch or, you know, use your walking foot. You oh, put some Roxana's noticed a mistake. A mistake? Hi, John. Can you tell Debs that the tree piece two... Mm -hmm. Should be behind piece one. Oh yes, the she's ground quite right. as shown on the printed quite version. Quite right. Oh, it's a good job people have got their eyes peeled. Now, luckily, because we've not glued it down. Uh, well, that one is glued, oh. but I've managed to pull it up. Perfect. So, matter if it goes in front, though, does it? Not really. This one's going to go in front here, isn't it? Well, okay. That's what I mean. It doesn't overly matter as no. long as it as long as it maintains the picture. But I Roxana, think. thank you for being so yeah, um, observant. It's nice to know people are watching. Um, yeah. And making sure we do it right. But if I'd if I'd stitch that down, obviously you'd have been that stage on, wouldn't you? To mm -hmm. <coughs> to have then had to unpick your stitches with this applique, Matt. Yes. I've also made the mistake of not sticking to one side. I was going to say. So, of course, now it's got a bit of the glue. Oh, so, so we're going to glue on the iron, glue on the mat. I'll tell Elliot. That's, um, that's yeah. He's not in yet. It's because we'll it's um, the other way around. But what I like about these mats is you can just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the whole point, you isn't know? it? Just peel it off. You're taking it off there rather than off the bottom of your iron, aren't yeah. you? They are brilliant. Yeah, wouldn't and they come last. off the bottom of your iron like that, though. No, gosh. And it, they last for ages, don't they? Yeah. There we go. So now we've got two trees, the stag and that grassy bank. Mm -hmm. So next we're going to put the uh, big stag because he goes behind those two trees. Yeah. So let's cut a bit of bonder web for him. And you still have loads of bonder web left. Well, I don't think you've got five metres. Five metres. It's great having loads 
I love having a lot of bond web in because then yeah. you're not thinking, oh, I'm going to run out. There we go. So that's m that's my clean side that I've just cleaned. You sure? Well, I think the both both sides are a bit gluey, John. There we go. I think that's the, the trick as well, which is why that first tree didn't quite stick. It's leaving your iron on long enough, isn't it? Because it's yeah. got to go, the heat's got to go through this. Yeah, appliqué. totally. Matt. There we go. Yeah, you're supposed to leave it for 10 to 15 seconds in each bit. What's the matter, Elliot? What have you lost? <coughs> oh, just yourself. Yeah. What are you looking at? I've got a new set. We're having a new set? You gotta move it. Where to? The other side of Redditch. Where is it moving? There's a wall there. We're going next door. Oh, there is no next door. That's outside. It could be a bit windy tomorrow. <laughs> Are you in tomorrow, John? I'm in for four days now. Oh, it's the uh, burp, 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 burp. the weekend coming. It's the weekend coming soon, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I wonder what you're going to say then. No, no, it's the weekend. No, I don't even know yet. Kat hasn't told me what it is yet. Have you, Kat? <laughs> I don't need the sheets because I'm going to be unpacking it in a little while, aren't I? So you've got an exciting few days. So you're what? an all weekend, John? Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, very nice. Then Rebecca reads in on Monday. Oh, it's fixed up. Oh, they've moved it round. Vix is in on Monday. Rebecca reads in on Tuesday because it's the Yarn Lane's birthday on Tuesday. Oh, gosh, yes. Didn't know that. That's gone quick. I think, don't you think time's strange this, oh, because of lockdown? Well, it's November. That's ah, November next yeah. week, isn't it? Clocks go back on Saturday yeah. night, remember? Extra hour in bed. So Rebecca reads Tuesday. And then is it Stuart Wednesday and Thursday? Oh, it's me Thursday. I think I'm booked somewhere else on Thursday. <laughs> Friday. That's not right. Where is that? Uh, oh. Yeah, no, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, well. I don't know why I've suddenly got a day off in the middle of that, but never mind. No. Oh, do you cut that little bit of white out? Well, I was going to, but, but actually, when I've looked on here, there is white there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so you, you could leave it on. Yeah, because if you cut that out, it's going to give an extra bit of weakness, isn't it? Though? Yeah, that's it. They'll be uh, quite thin, won't they, those parts? So just score the back again. This is really satisfying, taking the paper off. Yeah, because you're... I love oh, doing no, that. Elliot's who's in today, isn't he? That's very satisfying. Mm. <coughs> so there he is. Hang on, that's the wrong one, John. Make sure you put it on the right one. What do you mean? Oh, you're going to stick it to the... I was going to stick it to the... Oh, um, honestly. I think I blame Kat for putting you off. Now, do the legs go in front or behind the mound on that one? Behind? They go behind, don't they? Yeah. So really, your order is rubbish. Well, do you know what? <laughs> do you know what, John? When I did it at home, that yeah. this one, yeah. I didn't write the numbers on at all. Yeah. I just did it. Yeah. While you were talking and introducing it, I thought, oh, actually, I'll put some numbers, I'll put on, some numbers on. And it totally backfired. Yeah. So What I would do... Oh, oh God, you made me right. jump then. Sorry, was I really <laughs> loud then? Sorry. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Is I'd just cut all the pieces out, yeah, and I'd lay them all on before I'd taken the backing of the bonder web off, so I knew which ones going to above and which ones went below. That's what I think I'd do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's. If I when I do my own applique designs, that's exactly, exactly what, what I you do. do. You just so I don't know why. Well, it's it's totally backfired. It's those new. Oh, there goes another iron another on the one. carpet. No, I've not. Um, I've not. We're not got you, Debbie Shaw. That's the Debbie Shaw memorial burn on the carpet. She just wanted <gasps> oh, now if we're moving the. S oh no, why came different? Yeah, yeah. No, if we move the set backwards, then you'll be able to see the Debbie Shaw burn on the floor. What no. have you done now, John? I'm having a ne nightmare with this. Look. What it's, have you done now? It's the mat. I'm putting all the glue back on there. Oops. 
Should we start again? Shall we? Shall we just go back to 11 o'clock? Yeah, or we could just make another one. I think because... Because, <laughs> because what? What happened? <laughs> there we go. No, it's fine. It's actually fine. It was just... It's, this, this is... I'm not being consistent. You know, when you're... Music, right, you should have a, an X marked in a pen on one corner. So yes. you know that's always the top side, yeah. Do you know, can I... We see, I can't do that because it's not mine. Mine never looked like that at home. Do you want another one? Oh, oh no, I couldn't use a new yes, one. Yes, you can. Start Am I again. To? Yeah. Oh. While you're just sorting that out, I'll just remind you of which one, Cap? Oh, that's better. Stag. That's better. Right, write a write a mark on it. Put and, a mark on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, yeah, don't do it in friction pen, Jeremy says. <laughs> oh, hang on. Which one am I doing? Stag. That's it. God. Right, there we go. It's the panel. Totally not exclusive to us. What it is, if you're doing it properly, don't follow this demonstration. <coughs> this <coughs> is the back of your cushion. <laughs> this is the front of your cushion, right? The front of the cushion is all these pieces get appliqued onto there. What I would do is buy half a metre of grey fabric, have this the front of one cushion, that's the front of the other cushion. Put some H640 behind both of them. And then when I did my applique, I'd do the same stitching on this one as I do on that one. Then you'll have two matching pillows for the same price. Yeah. That's what I'd do. I would do that. Twelve ninety nine plus half a metre of fabric. What's that? £3.50 or something like that. Do you know what I mean? And a bit of H640. I'm sure you've got some of that in your stash. So that's your stags. Which one's in the lead still? Oh, got a question. Monty both, is Bondi Web the same as freezer paper? No, Paula, it isn't. Freezer paper, I'm just saying there used to be some on that top shelf over there. Right, so Bondi Web has glue on it. So you are gluing two pieces of fabric together. Freezer paper is like greaseproof paper and one side doesn't have glue on it. It has like a red, um, like a, thank you, Joan. It has a plastic sort of surface to it. So, right, Bond, can you just pass your Bonderweb, roll a Bonderweb yeah. over from top. No. Right, so Bonderweb here, right, let me move this one out of the way. Bonderweb has glue on the, this side, so you then <coughs> iron that to your fabric, you then peel this paper off, and then it's glued this way. You then put it on a piece of paper so you can glue both sides, two pieces of fabric together. You cannot glue anything together with freezer paper, but what you can do, you see, is a, there's a dull side and a shiny side. If you cut out a shape and iron that to fabric, it sticks, but there's no glue, it won't mark your fabric, and you can use it five or six times. So it's good for using as a template or something like that, but it, you can't use it to stick things together. You can use it to wrap your meat in though and put it in the freezer, <laughs> or you can uh, make little tablecloths when kiddies are gonna be painting on your table, or as my mum used to do when I was little, she used to wrap my three morning coffee biscuits up in a bit of freezer paper to take to school with me for my break. So then, so this is your Alpine house. Stags are in the lead still. Second Alpine house. It's not called the Alpine house, it's called the Winter Cottage. You see, I imagine that's on a main road. I don't see that as a little cottage. I see that on a main road in Baltimore. Or where does, um, where is it that Jill Rep lives? She lives somewhere where it gets really, really, really cold and snowy. She doesn't live in Canada. No, there she lives in America. I will think it's in a minute. And then last but not least, and it's still trailing behind, sadly. But it's not Pittsburgh. Glynis. Morning, John and Debbie. Love the demo. Which demo? This one. Hubby said, would it be possible to cut out using a craft knife for a sharper edge? Oh, no, I wouldn't could, use a craft could knife. Do, though, oh, it depends what you're good at. If you're good at you crafting, <coughs> then I'd use a craft knife. You could use a rotary cutter, a little a baby rotary cutter, the 18 millimeter rotary cutter. I would personally do it by scissors because that's what I train to use, really. Mm. Anyway, this is your um, ski one. Beautiful. Right, you hope. What are you doing now then, Debbie? So, I've stuck the other pieces of uh, pieces of applique down. <laughs> to the table. To the table. To my dress. 
And what are you doing there then? What's it's that? It's definitely sticky, the glue. Yeah. Let's say that. Um, so now I've got some H640. Right. So I have cut that to the size of the cushion cover. Bobbly side up, sticky side up. Yeah. Because it's iron on, obviously. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I mean, I love More ironing. More ironing. Do you know what? I spend my life appliquing. You wouldn't believe it, would you? It's because it's the other way around to normal. Yes. Um, and then... So Have we got any H614 stock? Georgina says, I love it when things don't go quite right. Oh, that's a nice way it of It makes me it. feel so much better when it happens to me. This Georgina, do you mean wrong? Yeah, she's been very nice there. Yeah. It's very kind. <laughs> the thing is, it is nice. Now I've got a new um, applique mat. That's definitely helping, though. Yeah. Because I know which is the nice, clean side yeah. now. You're laughing at me, aren't you, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh! I was looking at the time thinking, is it lunchtime yet? Need my boiled egg. It's, um... And it's on full as well, this iron. It just... It's not... Oh, it's, it's just because I'm rushing, isn't it, yeah. really? 864 for a piece. Now, this comes already cut. So if you buy four of them, you will get four pieces that are a metre by 90 centimetres. It's so what? It's Who lives in Wisconsin? Oh, Jill lives in Wisconsin. Oh, does she, Laurie? Did you say that? How did you know? Oh, no, no, but Jeremy said it earlier when I was saying about it looks like a main road. Thank you, Laurie. How are you, my lovely? I'm just making sure I'm pressing this. Yeah, you do so that. You've got nice, plenty of time, don't we? Nice and adhered to that um, H640. Yeah. Because I just thought then it really does help when you're quilting it to give it that nice depth. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then with your cushion behind it, it's nice and plump. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to free motion. When, normally when I do um, an applique cushion, I always use free motion. But I thought today... What are you going to do today? <coughs> I'm just going to use different stitches. And that's what I did on this one. You know, right. you were talking about the you trees. You can take it down if you want to take it down. So we, put were it on the table. we were talking about the trees. Yeah. So when you cut out the tree on this one, there is a very faint outline oh yeah around the edge and then you can see if you can get in close it's that i've zigzagged yeah so i've done a zigzag stitch around here and then around the edge here i've just done a straight stitch uh this one i've done an applique stitch around the snow on the roof so that's what i'm going to do okay, on this perfect. one i've done a bit of free motion on there but mainly just use the the machine different yeah, stitches perfect. So that's what I thought I would do on this one. Laurie's crocheting while she's watching. Don't let us put you off, oh, Laurie. Oh, I love it. I love crochet. So I've just chosen on this one the just a straight um, applique. Did stitch. you clean the feed dogs out in the break? I did. Oh. Yeah, I did. Now I've this is a you know just just a traditional applique stitch. Yeah. But I find... Do you mean like a blanket stitch? A blanket stitch. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just going to make the stitches a bit wider because right. it's quite slow otherwise. <laughs> so that's better. A bit wider and a bit longer. Yeah. Now, while we're there, talk me through your nail design. Oh, so these... Grace does my nails for me. Yeah. Um, so I went to see her a couple of weeks ago and said... Well, I, well, I want to do something different. So um, she, I picked the green. Yeah. And then I said, I, I knew I wanted a solid, but my little, my, my forefinger's broken, that nail. Yeah. So I had a solid there and a tip. And then she said, should we go for glitter? I said, yeah, let's do it. Well, what's that third one? Is that diagonal? So this one is on the diagonal, oh, yeah. yeah. And then mirrored look. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of hair dye on that one, which I can't get off. Why you've been dyeing your hair? Well, I went to the hairdressers. Yeah. Had my hair dyed. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's naturally dark. Yeah, yeah, of course. I just like an extra shine. Yeah. And um, I put my glasses on while the while the dye was on. Oh, that's good. And of course it got. I know. Mm. Are they new glasses as well? They're not new glasses. Oh, I like no. them. I'm not, I don't remember those. No, I think it's because of the green nails. Yeah. The glasses. 
so you can see that that is nicely and because it's i didn't change the thread it's still that creamy color from yeah. millie doll if i was doing this um myself i would do it i'd have put a dark thread in there I think, okay cat would do a glitter thread apparently that would be good. Of, uh, that one, I used a variegated navy oh, okay. on the house. Yeah. So that when you close up, that looks really nice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Where's the variegated on there then? Here, this blue. Oh, about so the bottom see, of the door. Like on the, well, all the blue is, although yeah. you can't really see it. No, you can it. see it now, you can see it now. But on the door, yeah. I put the panels on. Yeah. And you can see they're variegated. Yeah, nice. And then I put the button on it because I thought it looked like a wreath. Oh, not because there's a mistake. No. Not if people not put a button no, on. No, I can take it off I? and show you. You see, that's it now. You think I'm going to make mistakes, no. John? You know me better. You did the whole first hour with that making one, didn't you? What? Yeah, I did. There you go. We all make mistakes, don't we? Oh, My whole life is one big mistake, <laughs> but there you go. We, uh, we're only human, John. Yeah. Aren't we? Or are we dancer? Or are we dance? Yeah. I won't sing. Oh, actually, um, that'd be quite nice if you did it in a dark grey, because mm. those silver birch have a kind of lines coming in like that, don't they? Yeah. So it could have yes. looked like a... I am, um, when I had my garden design, when I first moved to my house, the garden designer, we decided we we're going to have silver birch going in a row all the way from the oh, front nice. window to the front drive. Oh, nice. And then on, when on the day the plants were all delivered, some completely different trees arrived. So I rang him up and I went, these aren't silver birches, these are something else. He went, couldn't get silver birch. Oh. So instead of ringing me and saying, oh, you can't have silver birch, what do you want me to do? He'd just chosen some other trees. And after they're called, I think they're called Judas Hearts or something like that. And when I put them in, I was like, oh, I ate and I love them. I love them now. But the trouble is, last night it was Danny the gardener came this week and my garden was immaculate. Last night it was really, really windy and all the leaves are falling off the trees and they're all over the lawn yeah. again. They're yellow. 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 But not. Oh, you bobbing right now. Well, no, but I could, you know, when you're sewing and you can you know, feel so, yeah. it's scratchy underneath, so I could sense it and it had just got a bit twisted round. Mm. So I managed to catch it before it started going. Yeah. Nesting. Yes, exactly. There we go. Do you do Halloween? Have you decorated your house? I have in this year. Nathan, who I was talking about earlier, my eldest son. Yeah. His birthday's Halloween. Oh, is it? So he's 25 this year. Oh, he's not actually. He doesn't at home, live at he? home. No, no, he's the one who lives. That, in no, London. that came out wrong. I don't. There's nothing wrong there with living no, at home. He, yeah, but there's something. When you wrong. said something that he was away. Or he something. lives in London. Yeah. yeah. But even though he's 25, we were quite early on. I used to always do big Halloween because it, it was, was his, his birthday. birthday. Yeah. And nobody really did it then in this country, where because no. now it's oh. massive. Isn't have you it? been to America around Halloween I time? I'm normally in um, San Diego now. Oh. Um, and they, it's huge, every Is single really? house, not just a little bit of light here, like full on, full on. Yeah. My next door neighbours cover the whole of the front of the house in cobwebs. We like saw one yesterday, cobwebs. on the way here yesterday, yeah. we saw a house with a cobweb at the uh, bedroom window, yeah. right out onto mm. the front lawn. It looked oh, you amazing. You weren't passing my house with. But no, anyway, no, sure. no we well, don't bother now. I don't no, bother the now. rule in my village, in our village, is if there's nothing outside, you don't come knocking on the door. So I don't yes. put anything outside, and I keep switch all the lights off. Yeah, I, I do. Now, now my two have gone and left yeah. home. I don't bother. I did used to enjoy it though. It was nice having his birthday on Halloween. Nice. Oh yeah. That because nice. it's it made it that more much yeah. more special. Well, little Paul must be going to some very weird party on Halloween. Because he's put a thing on Facebook, hasn't he, saying he wants like a, a, a Mohican on a bald head with a chain. Oh, that's Poppy's birthday party that we haven't been invited to. Is it fancy dress? And when is it then? So, is it on Halloween? Oh, oh we've not been invited. Oh, I could walk from her house apparently. I thought she lived miles away from me, but she doesn't live that far from me. So again, when you're, I like that um, blanket stitch on that yes, on the nice, trees. Looks really nice. 
So just stopping and starting um, around that stag's head so that we don't go over his nose. Okay, I've got a quick question from Anne. Uh, hi folks, what are the finished sides of the cushions? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I could measure it. I, I put measure. a 45 centimetre oh, cushion that in there. Inches? I know, that's what it said on the um, Hang on, then. Here on you the go. cushion. Uh, oh. Well, actually, it'd be a bit smaller than Seven this, wouldn't it? Because you've got your seam lengths to come 17, off here. 17, is it? So the panel measures 17 inches. 17. The picture, which is uh, 43 centimetres across. But then don't forget, you're going to take off your half an inch of your seam allowance. And then this way. Is it a square? It is a square. Yeah, it's a square. So, so <laughs> this is 17 inches. So when you sew it, it'll be 16 and a half inches. Is that right? But this one is, this is a 45 centimetre cushion. What's square. that in inches? Um, I don't know. I use inches. 18. Oh, okay. So this is actually an 18 inch cushion in there. So you can see how nice and plump, plump that it is. is yeah. So well, that's what Delphine was saying. She normally puts a two inch big uh, cushion pad inside. Yeah. So if that's a 16 and a half, then you put an 18, 18 inch, inch in, cushion yeah. in. Be that's nice. what that looks like. So Lovely. yeah, I think that fits really nicely. Good question. And then she says another one. Message from Nicola. John, we went to San Diego for our honeymoon 22 years ago. My husband used to live there, so we went for three weeks. Love it there. Now, Nicola, that's the whole reason we go. My older brother, when he finished university, he learned to be a doctor in Liverpool. He went to San Diego to learn how to do keyhole surgery. So he lived there for like three or four years. Then he came back to take a job in the Northwest and always said, oh, I'll go back. And then of course things happened. He married Julie, they had children, they never went back. So about six or seven years ago, they went for a family holiday over there. Uh, George, his middle child, who was already at Canterbury University, decided he didn't want to go to, he left university and went, went to San Diego University. And we've gone there on holiday every single year since. We didn't go last year because obviously we couldn't fly last year. And we didn't know if we could go this year, which is why we went to Kefalonia this year. But we're going in May. We're going to San Diego in May oh, next nice. year. And then we're going to go to Kefalonia in September next year. You lied to Kefalonia then, John. Oh, where we were was lovely. We'd, I watched um, that thing yesterday where they buy houses abroad with Laura oh, Hamilton. Oh, Place in the Sun. And... Um, she was in Kefalonia, we were like, oh, we never went there. Oh, we never went there. Oh, we never went there. Because literally, we, lived, we stayed in this fabulous villa with a gorgeous beach in a lovely village with one restaurant and one coffee shop and cocktail bar place. And we didn't really leave What it. more it was, do you need? And that was amazing. Was Especially fantastic. when, you know, you've worked, haven't you, all through lockdown. You needed a break. Oh, tell me about it. So it's nice to go and just yeah. switch off, isn't yeah. it? Not be always doing things. No, I do like a, I, I, I like a holiday to be... Do nothing. Mm. A rest. Yeah. And you don't want to be watching the time and oh, no, working no, no, to a timetable. No, no, no timetable, no plans, no nothing, no. just get on with it. The only thing that, it didn't mar it at all, but like two days before we came back, we had to go to the nearest town and find a clinic that could do our PCR, PCR or whatever it was to get swab, to get back. Yeah. So did you use that as a chance to look round that town then? Or we did went you just shopping. Kinda, Julie went yeah. to the earring shop. Oh, nice. Uh, and I went to the, uh, did we go to, went to a lovely bakery and coffee shop, but they didn't have any soya milk, so I just sat and watched. <laughs> and then we went home again. I always like to get jewellery when I'm on holiday. I like looking around the jewellery shops when I'm away. I normally like, especially when you go to Greece, you just want to buy something. I've got all these little pictures. I used to go to Skopelos years um. ago when I worked in theatre. I always used to go there for my summer holidays. I always buy something. Cause it, Skopelos is like the white villages with blue shutters. Kefalonia is not so much like that. Oh, okay. Nice though, isn't it? Just to see different cultures and... So you can see with this, um, when I use the H640, how I've just made it that bit bigger. Yeah. So just cut sort of loosely round to start with, because with the quilting, obviously it shrinks it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you've always got that extra just to cut off. So if I've got chance, rather than doing any more um, quilting, I was just going to show um, how, because I'd put a zip on the bottom of the other one. Yeah, we could perhaps run out of time as well, so. Yeah. So if I just cut the edge off there. Yeah. So you just cut, I mean, you could use your rotary cutter, couldn't you, in a ruler? Well, you see, I'm, I'm a scissors. I use scissors for nearly everything. 
I, I like I love the rotary cutter, but yeah, some you, I just think it's nice, isn't it? That's snip, snip, snip. Yeah. And then with my zip here, um, I'm not going to have time to do it because no, I've, I've changed not. the zipper foot to the yeah. zipper foot. Don't mind just talking to it. I would turn the um, cushion cover so it's upside down so that I can work on that edge. Got my zip, so I put that face down so it's right sides together along that long edge. Mm -hmm. I always use a longer zip than I need so that I can sew freely to those edges and then just chop. Make sure yeah. you then put the zip of, put, um, in the centre yeah. and then just chop, chop that it. to size. Yeah. So I would pin that quite closely to the edge, well, exactly to the edge. Yeah. And then with my zipper foot on the machine, yeah. it's really easy. I, I, the classes I was teaching before half term, because it's half term last week where we live, yeah. um, people were quite frightened. We did a cushion cover and they're like, oh, I don't want to put a zip on. It's really, no. really easy, mm -hmm. isn't it? So with your zipper foot, go along here and sew that edge really close to the teeth. Do the same with the reverse side of your cushion. Yep. And that's your zip in. And then just sew and around the three And then you the just sew around edges. those three edges and you've got your lovely cushion cover. Perfect. Got a message from Julie before we go. My Molly, the Siamese cat, is 21 years old on Halloween. We're having a cat party with balloons. Your cat likes balloons. I'm knitting a blankie as a gift I bought from you. Julie. For me. Oh, you mean for the cat? I grew up, my mum and dad always had Siamese cats. I grew up with them. Anyway, when are you in next? A uh, week on Monday, 8th Blimey. of November. Uh, am I in that date? No, I don't. Monday. Rebecca Reed. Oh, Rebecca, Rebecca Reed on Reed. a Monday, right. yeah. Right, so. very quickly, let's just see. So you've got the winter snag in now, which is this one. Still in the lead, still in the lead, still in the lead. There's your winter snag. 12, 12, not 12, 12.99. 12.99, that one. Then we've got the. Uh, Ski slope one. There's your ski slope panel. All totally enough and exclusive to Sewing Street. Twelve ninety nine. Is it Hannah that day? You've got Hannah and you've got. Oh, Sally. No, no she's been moved. Oh no, it is Sally Stevens that day. It is Sally Stevens that day. So you've got Sally Stevens, you, Rebecca Reed, and Hannah. Oh, no, it's very nice. nice. Right, Looking okay, and then. It. No, Sally Stevens has been is booked in, but she's been moved two or three times. But she is on on that Monday because she said, "Are you in?" And I said, "Rebecca Reed always does Mondays." And then we've got the um, what's this one? Winter Cottage. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve pounds ninety nine. And then remember, now I've got the cat ones from the Wendy Orlando. Well, that, I don't no, no no point in showing you the uh, instructions because they've got dogs on them. There's the cat one. Make a tote bag or a cushion. <clears throat> There's the finished cushion on that one. I could move the what? Well, no, you can't. You have to put them here, look. Otherwise, you've got... Because you, I said that. And when I watched, I thought you could put them anywhere, but you have to put them where they go there, you see. And then last but not least, we've got, oh, you need to get a half metre of the, the fabric in that one. And then this dog one, which is very limited now, you get half a metre of the grey. The instructions and... These. Woof. Uh, don't go anywhere. Thank you very much indeed, Debbie. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, Beth Sadley's up after the break. We're doing a bit of embroidery and her fat quarter bundles are selling fast. We will see you in four from now. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again.
Hello, I'm Dawn Taylor from Dawn's Taylor Made. You may remember me from the Great British Make Off competition. Um, I sewed my tablet rest last year with the lovely John Scott. Uh, Sewing Street have invited me back again to do a few more demonstrations for you, but they've also asked me to answer some questions. So the first thing I sewed was a ladybird pincushion and I made it at primary school. And my late nanny Jo, she taught me how to knit and I think I got my love of sewing from her. She used to sew on that sewing machine over there. Um, something you don't know about me is I sew standing up. Um, my husband built me this sewing table. It's very similar to the one that you see on Sewing Street. My tip is more haste, less speed. My nan was always telling me to slow down um and to enjoy what i was sewing and i would make less mistakes and we also have a youtube channel and a few facebook pages i cannot wait to start my journey with sewing street and i will see you there very soon if you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps, and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Uh, best back, best back, best back. Now I'm going to show you. What we're just sorting out her lamp over there. I'm just, we're going to do embroidery kits in, in this hour. But I want you to see this fat quarter bundle first, right? Because it's absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to tell you beforehand, there's the big one. And then there's two smaller ones. So the smaller ones, you, you can see here, are the kind of yellows, oh sorry, yellows and blues in there. And then we've got the other one, which is the... Um, kind of magentas and purples and blues and things like that. So that, but let me take you through this one first of all, because this is the big one. Cat will put the graphics in the minute. Now these are fat quarters. Earlier, we had long quarters. These are fat quarters. So you know a fat quarter, they take a metre of fabric, they cut it down the middle that way and, and cross that way, so you get four within your metre. This pattern here, you didn't see in any of the kits this morning at all. Um, so that's that's just called the what do you call this one? Uh, it's just the henna mane. No, uh, main, main, main fabric, main fabric. So that's what the, the signature one of the whole collection. And then you also get now. See if I can remember the now. Sunflowers, sunflowers, zigzag, stars, uh, dash, moire. Now, I call this one Wheels on the Bus, but it's actually called Medallions. <laughs> There's another um, signature one, but in the um, turquoise. Then you've got Pop, another zigzag, another star, another dash, another moiré. There you go. There's another signature one. Uh, pop, 
There's, there's three of each. Sunflower. Beautiful, aren't they? Three of each pattern in the three different colourways. See, I always, every collection I've ever done, I've always kind of presented three or four colourways to Macara, and then they, they normally pick two. But oh, they, okay. They went for three, three of each time, on this one. So, yeah, I was quite pleased to get uh, them. 24 fat quarters for £89.99. And now, remember, all the fabric has been, that, been cut up either into the kits from earlier or... <laughs> into these fat quarters. There's no more fabric. We haven't got it by the half metre. So you won't be... And it's not just us. It's you, isn't it? You've cut yeah, it all up I'm, now. Yeah, I'm done. It's all done. Good. That's it. Done. I'm done, she says. I've got a few little bits, but not much. Yeah, no, no. But you haven't got a warehouse no, with God, it no. on the... No, no. No. £3.74 a fat quarter. That's brilliant for a designer fat quarter. And again, it's Macau fabric. So yep. it's really, really, really good quality. I think they're beautiful. I say they, it every time, but it's my favourite one yet. My oh, favorite collection. <laughs> <laughs> so when you do the next one, that'll be your that'll favorite be my favourite. No, so know. That, how long does it take for, like, when did you sit and doodle these? How long did it take? Well, a lot of those um, have been done on previous collections. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. You, you, yeah, just yeah, you draw so, them. So, and then are you working on one at the moment? Not a new collection at the moment. No. So, say you go home today and you think, oh, I'm going to do a new collection of fabric. Yeah. From you mm. thinking, it's I'm going to do a new collection to it being delivered to your house? Uh, well, in, t in terms of it getting signed off by Macau, normally a couple of months. And yeah. then, yeah, it's normally nine months before it comes through. It gets to get shipped over. Oh, so we, literally, if you went home today, it'd be, we'd see it in a year's time. Oh, yeah, it? oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it takes so there's a while. not going to be another one. Is there another one on the way? Is there no, one I haven't done another one. This, this has been... It. I did two quite close together. Reef, my last one was was launched um, during lockdown. So yeah. it was a bit of a, a, bit oh. of a washout, to be, to be fair. Um, and this one came quite quickly afterwards. But no, I haven't got another one in the pipeline at the moment. So this is it. If you yeah. want new Bed Studley, this is it now for, for a year. For a while, yeah. At least yeah. a year now. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. And you can see, because it's next to my embroidery kit in that picture there, you can see where the designs come from. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look there, look there, look. So, yeah, the embroidery kits have all come uh, where's from. Where's this one? Oh, there's that one there. That, that one. one is another collection that isn't there. That oh, was, at, oh. but it's in my basket here. Actually, it was Radiance. Oh, okay. So yeah, is that one in there? Yeah, that one's there. Yeah, that one's there. And then the sunflowers. We know the sunflowers yeah. is there. Oh, how beautiful! Anyway, so these are twenty-four fat quarters, hundred percent cotton, Macau cotton. So it's really, really, really good quality. Twenty-four of them for eighty-nine ninety-nine. Oh, oh, now if they're in your basket. Now I just need to tell you, in the last hour. That Beth was on. Kat was getting a little bit stressed because she kept saying, John, they're all in baskets. Nobody's checking out. John, they're all in baskets. Nobody's checking out. And then when I said, right, moving on now, it went bing, 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 bing. It doesn't make that noise, but you know what I mean? And people, if you're not careful, people will start missing out because you put it in your basket. It's not yours until you've checked out. Well, how beautiful, how exciting to think they could be on your doorstep beginning the next week, couldn't they? Yeah, we've been we've been asking for Beth since. Well, I know I've been asking, I've been here just over a year, and I didn't go near at the beginning, was I? But when we were at Sewing Quarter, we wanted her to come on. When we when I first started here, we wanted her to come on. Look at this. Uh, good. Who said that? Oh, Jan Hill, who's very difficult to please, says, "What a beautiful a collection! Hang on, what a gorgeous mix of colours!" She says. Now that's that's high praise indeed. High praise, and that's lovely, isn't it? I like those three. Well done. Well done if you got yours. You love that one, Mari. Yeah, they came out nicely. Yeah, I suppose when you first do your doodles, you don't know how they're going to No, the it always looks different on look. fabric. Yeah. And the way I do things with the cow, because it, you know, things can get so lost in translation with printers, and if you send them digital files, they'll print it and it'll look different to what I've done at home. Yeah. So I, I send them always just paper copies, and this, this is... How it's but this then, is the but then oh, do, uh, do you get a strike before you before it's do you get to see yes. it before it's actually all yep. turned out on the wheels of the printers? And yes, yeah, you get sneaky peeks, and right? Then, yeah, you oh, have to wait called? again, a sneaky peek, and a then, then peek, yeah. you have to wait again for it to come through. Oh, yeah, so you see a sneaky peek, and then it's ages before yeah. it comes back. Yeah. Which one do you want to do first, Kat? Oh, now this you brought this one with you, didn't you? That's right? fine, you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine as you open it. So it's the same fabrics you've seen, but this is the collection of the aqua. Well, I say aqua's and oranges, you've got a purple in there as well. But beautiful, beautiful array. If you don't want to go, 44 for 12 fat quarters. Well, I had the choice 
when I was going to do your, your smaller bundles of whether to split it up into the, the plain three, you know, the three different Oh, colors. yeah. But then yeah. I think you'd end up with all yellow and all blue. And no, all. So no, no, no. I no, did a these mix. All, yeah. These work beautifully together. So this is basically half of that collection, of that and collection. that's the other half of yeah. them. There's and no I, repeats between the two. No, I just made a selection of what yeah. ones I thought So the, nice the third sunflower is in that one. Yes. But there are two pops in that one. Yes. Yeah. And there'll be two of the main as well in that one, yes, won't there? Yes, yes. So this is your, we called it aqua and orange, henna, coordinated. It's coordinated, this. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? So you could get the big one for 89 99 or you can get this one for 44 99 It's up to you, if you want more. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one, what we call this one? Purple and blue. Mm. Caterpillar to wall. Cat's handling a bit like this. Cat works in theatre at night time as well, you see, at the moment. Right. She's working on a show in Birmingham. So she's quite exhausted. And then Hannah, our other producer, she's doing an MA. She's decided to go back and do an MA now. So she's in and I haven't seen Hannah for ages. Everyone's busy. Everyone's busy except me. <sighs> You're very busy, it seems. <laughs> mm. Right, look. Look, 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 look. Which one do you like best? You see, well, the thing is, I'd go for the big bundle. That, that's me being greedy. Then you've got everything, haven't you? Yeah, but if I was going to go for one, oh, I don't know. I, mm. I can't tell you. I love them both as much. Have you got a favourite between that one and the aqua and the... Well, the, sun, the sunflower print and the, the stripe are my favourites, and the yellow bundle's got more of those in it. Oh, right, so yes. So that one's probably... I just love, I think those colours together are gorgeous yeah. though, aren't they? Oh, you've, got, I don't know. you've got two mains in that one though, so that one's, that's a plus. But yes, the mains yeah. aren't always the most usable ones, as you can tell by the way I did the kits. Yes. Sometimes the mains are not. So you designed the fabric and then didn't yeah. use them in either well, of I the always, kits. Well, I always think the mains are to, to use for things like pods and bags yes. and items. Yes. And then the supporting prints are more mm -hmm. to do with um, quilts. But they are gorgeous. I mean, that would look lovely cut up as well. Just didn't work in, in either of these two yes. designs. But it could love yeah. in half square triangles and things like that, wouldn't it? I think sometimes it can be a bit too busy to put the mains in a, yes. in a yeah. quilt. Anyway, that's that, £44.99. I can come back and show you that again later. But I think we need to get on to some embroidery kits. I didn't know you did embroidery kits. I've only, they've been out, what, six months, I think? I've oh, is this, is this, is yeah, this the all first, new. Yeah. The, first time you've done it? I did three originally, and then I added the, the one that I'm working on here, the Radiance, the one you've got in your hand now. That one? That one I added later. Right. Oh, I don't know where that's come from. That's come from the bundle. Yeah, so these are your choice of four. You can have all four, you can have one, you can have two, you can have double. They all come. Now, I need to tell you, I've only actually got one kit here, right? I've only got the Sunflower kit here, but they all come in this lovely box. Now I'm allowed to open this one, aren't I? Yeah, go for it, yep. Which is the best way to open it? You just want to kind of split the... Got to rip it. Yeah, just rip it. If you've got some scissors. I've got some scissors. If oh no, I've got, I'll just score it with a ruler, so it doesn't make as much mess. So. Yeah, just got together ruler out the packet first. Oh, it's not working, there you go. There we go, there we go, there we go. So, in the box, let's do the sunflowers first. So if you want to do this for $17.99, in the box, oh, beautifully packaged, embroidery kit, instructions and stitch guide. So that's your main instructions on basic embroidery. So that's got your sti your, all the stitches you'll use and how to do them. Oh, so that's nothing to do with the sunflower? With the specific kit, no. Right. That's to do with just general background information and also how to frame them and back them. and. Stuff okay. Like so then in here, you get your hoop. You yep. get, your, oh, they're nice. Oh, well, I love the fact they're even got lit. You haven't had to sit and get your children. No, 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 to I had them made for me, but dyed to my own colours. So. Oh, what? When you think for seventeen ninety nine, you're getting all of this, then you get your little cards to put your embroidery threads on. You've got a piece of toilet paper. What's this for? <laughs> That's for the backing. That's for your backing. <laughs> you get your needle. And now this one, 
is stitching the sunflower design. So that is specific. So in yes. each of them, yes. there'll be one of these for that kit. Yeah. So that tells you where you put what stitches and a recommended order of stitching. And then you go to, the, if you don't know what you're doing, you then go to this. Yes. To then, so yeah. it says here, do a back stitch. I'll look in here to do a back stitch. Yes, a straight or a stitch. stitch, stitch, stitch. Yeah. And then in here, you can open that up as well. Yeah, I'm just looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. They're all they're all on, on a printed base, so you haven't right. got to transfer anything onto fabric. It's all pre-printed. Oh, okay. Just kind of again, stitch by numbers. And is that cotton as well then, the base? Yes. Yep. There we go. It's lovely cotton. Oh, actually, it's got the. It's a really, really beautiful quality cotton, isn't it? Yeah. So that's your that you. Oh, you can't see that. Yeah, that's what you're going to be sewing onto. Now, so you sew it in the hoop that you've supplied with it. Yeah. And then you also mount it into that hoop at, at the end when you it's all finished. Yeah, it, you can do that. It tells you how to do that. Um, but you could easily just put it into a bag or put it into a quilt or do something else with it. You don't mm -hmm. have to finish it in the hoop. But you got the hoop. Yep. You might as well put it in the hoop, because there it is, yeah. there's the whole kit then. I think that's really, really, really good value for 17 99 because you can see some kits like this, and they're at least 22 24 26 pounds, whatever. And the um, embroidery threads have been dyed specially. And they've got little love from Beth thingies on them. Yeah. They're, your, they're what we call your colours, really, aren't they? They are, yeah. Well. And there's actually, do you know, there's only seven colours in all of those kits. It's the same seven threads in all of the kits, which is quite often how I do my fabric collections as well. It's, it's actually very limited. It looks really bright in loads of different colours, but it's actually very limited colourway. So those are all got the same colours in as these? Yep, yeah, only seven colours in all, all of them. One, two, three, four, five. That's only got five, isn't it? That was because it's a limited palette, that one. Oh, OK, but they've got, so they've got yeah. two more in those. Yeah. So there you go. Sorry, I've, I've taken way too long on that one. So that's your sunflower one. So yeah. if you buy that, that will make this. And yeah, that one is it's taken straight from a, one of the prints. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, there. That one, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, then, right, now I haven't got these, so I have to do these from pictures on, on the thing. Yeah. Which is the one that's, n that's nothing to do, that's, uh, no, hang on. That's not to do with these. So these yeah. two are from this collection. So yes. this actually is on the signature. I don't know what that one's called, Kat. That one's Doodle Daisy. Oh, what one? Doodle Daisy. Doodle Daisy. Seventeen ninety nine. Lovely, isn't it? Look at look at the detail. Can you come in a bit close, Jeremy Joe? Because look, look at that. Like I don't know what that pattern's called in the middle there. That swirl. It's all basically satin stitch. Yeah, no. But they're, yeah, they're, they're quite complex as, as embroidery kits go. A lot of them are, you know, a bit more basic. You're calling them complex, but they're not, they're not difficult, no, are no, they? No, it's but all they're just... they're more complex design. Yeah, it's all just mainly satin stitch and some French knots and, yeah. Oh, Helen's very tempted by the embroidery kits. Uh, I'm not surprised, Helen. They're lovely, aren't they? What's this? What's this stitch in here, then? Is that a satin that's, stitch? Yes, it's kind of like a, they call it like a long and short filler stitch. But, yeah, it's basically a satin oh, stitch. Oh, yes, yeah, so I know, I know, yeah. I know. It's just kind of filled in randomly. Really. So, so when did you start embroidering then? That cross stitch I used to do a lot when I was younger, and a, li a little bit of embroidery, but um, I just kind of had a go at it. I thought I like it, and yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a go. And I, I had all these fabric designs, and I thought they'd have translated well no, into they do. embroidery. No, that's so. really beautiful. Yeah. Now they've got little. Are they French knots on the end there? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> and so some of the French knots I've done kind of wrapping around two or three times, and some yeah. of them just one, depending on what. How beautiful that is. Could you go back out a little bit now, Jeremy, because I'm you're too close now. There you mm -hmm. go. Oh. But it's been nice for me do it, having something that kind of takes it's a, a project to pick up and put down because a lot yes. of my stuff you try yeah. and finish quickly. Well we also say about mindfulness, especially at the moment, this mm. kind of thing is the kind of thing you can sit or sit in your chair and just lose yourself in it. Yes. You forget all your worries about that. So the six colours in this one are they just say? Uh, yes, there's no orange in that one, yep. Yep. So that's Doodle Daisy. Yep. Now I'm going to move on to Starflower. So how many colours this one? one? That one's Let's all see. seven. That's got all seven colours mm. in there. They're all the same price. You get an extra skein of embroidery thread. Yeah, but you don't, it's just because you don't need the other colour in the other one. 
No, 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 no. But you normally people go, oh, you yes. get an extra, that's an extra pound then. Yes. Oh, oh no, no, not like that. Everything. You just charge them up same for all yeah. of them. And I thought seventeen ninety nine was good. For, oh, look. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, they photographed really nicely, these. Yeah, don't sound so spray. <laughs> so do you get a photographer in or do you do that as oh, well? Oh, no, I do that. Do it myself. <laughs> That's just photographed on my desk, I think, that one. Oh, my word. <sighs> and it, oh, my phone as well. I, don't, I haven't even got a, a fancy camera. Well, no, sometimes phones on the cameras at the moment are better than yeah. all singing or dancing cameras, aren't they? So that one's called Starflower. In fact, Jeremy took his pictures this morning on his phone. Jer uh, normally we use the cameras in here, but. Beautiful. Oh. Have you got a favourite? I love this one. Now, this one is, isn't anything to do with henna, is it? This one? No, this was one I added on last. It, it's, it's still one of my old fabric collections. This was from my Radiance collection. Right. Um, it's actually my favourite one. I added it on after, afterwards. I did the three and then added this one on. Are they the same colours again, though, that yep, you've got in there? Yeah, same colours. But the most popular on pre-order, this one. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jamie's trying to get arty now with his shots. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of fluff there, don't they? They're, they're not finished at the back, all of them. Oh, don't when look at I the back. Go, no, no, no. When I go to shows, it's actually quite useful for people to be able to see. Oh, I love the back. Yeah. To how look it's at the... I mean, I know I shouldn't show... Uh, is, I think <laughs> I'd have to have it like that. <laughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? It's quite useful for people when, if they were thinking about buying it to, to see, you know, what it looks like and yeah. how to finish it. And so now you don't put any stabiliser. Where's, where's the felt, sorry? The felt goes on afterwards. One of them is, I think it's the sunflowers, is finished properly with the, with <laughs> the felt. Properly. Oh, no, no, that, that one. one there. Yeah. Two? You finished two Nearly. Properly. That one's nearly finished. <laughs> Oh, still got a needle in it. <laughs> so that's what the felt's for there. So yeah. you don't put any stabiliser or anything on the on the cotton fabric itself? No, I don't, um... no. You just, yeah, close up the back of the, the hoop. Oh, with it's the... gorgeous. Uh, the thing is, I, th I immediately was drawn to that one, but the more I look at them, I kind of don't, I'd have to have all of them. <laughs> I uh, think the sunflowers is the most unusual because it's kind of a section of a print rather than a motif. Yes. Yeah, you could have done one big sunflower in the middle, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, and I keep meaning to do that one in another colourway, actually, when I have time. So now, do you find if people have got some of your older ranges of fabric, will they all sort of team up and go together? Do you, is it because you use the same colourways or...? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, that that Radiance one is... I don't know if you can see oh, yeah. it on pull, here. Pull it into, pull it into you, yeah. here. So... Yeah. Oh, one. yeah, because that one looks like pop. The one yeah. next to it is a bit like pop, isn't it? The, yes, from this it is. design. But yeah, this was a previous. Uh, no, it's actually this one here. You could. Uh, anyway, oh, yeah, it's, one, it's one of these anyway. Yeah. You can see with the little kind of hearts on it. So I just took one of those motifs. So I might take some of the other motifs and do some more do as some well. More. Yeah, I yeah. would. <laughs> now, I'm thinking Christmas presents now. It's less than two months until Christmas. How many sleeps is it? About 54, 56, something like that. Sleeps till Christmas. Diana says Beth's work is lovely. Hello, John and team. Can you show us what cones in these kits? What does that What does that mean? Cones. I don't know. Oh, uh, what comes in the kit? Oh, of course, I will. Sorry. This I've only got the sunflower in a box. So I'll show you again, Diane. This is the sunflower one, right? So you get your hoop. So they've all got a hoop they've in. All got a hoop. They've all got exactly the same things in them. It's just Except this specific. one's only got f one, two, three, five colours. Yeah, so Some of them go up to yeah. seven colours. Yeah. You get your little cards to put your threads on. You get your needle. You get your felt for when you finish it off, if you can do a wall hanging with it. These are stitching specifically to each design. So obviously this one's got some flowers in it. The others will have the other one in. And then they all come with this, which is like your little... Um, well, this this can be for any any embroidery that you do. Yeah. Wouldn't it really? So if you're a beginner and you don't know how to do any stitches at all. Beautiful. Um, you don't sit and pack these as well, sure do. You don't. Yes. So you've got at home, you've got a pile of these, a pile of these, yes. a pile of these, and you sit there. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. It's I really quite therapeutic do. sometimes. Oh, I can imagine. Sit and put the radio Yeah, sometimes, on not every day. Yeah. So you'll know if you've got an angry box. Now, yeah. question is, um, can I move, because I've got the same amount of thread in each box, can I move the flowers around? So in this one, for example, if I didn't want that bit yellow there, could I do that in the orange and then yellow in the centre of there? Yes. 
Absolutely you could. Yes, and I, like I said before, I would encourage anyone to do their own take on it. Do it in your own order that you like. And I would actually, I'll show you these actually now while we're here. Okay, um, what are these? These then? are ones that, because you were asking earlier about whether or not my kids do any. Oh, these look. are the same bases. Right, hang on a second. I'll just have to move the there camera out a bit so they can push it forward a little bit. These are the same bases. Um, but my kids have had a go at stitching them. You can tell their attention span by how far they've got into yeah. it, can't you? <laughs> but yeah, Harriet, she started off following in the middle look, and yeah. then um, she was like, oh, I'm going to do my own thing when I get to the outside. Right. <laughs> and Bonnie got that far, and yeah. And how old are they? Uh, Bonnie's, well, she's 10 now, but she was nine when she started that one. Harriet's 11. Oh. But yeah, so if, if you, you don't have to follow it and be as neat as I am, is no. the point I'm trying to make. If you no, no, to but when you own, are, don't yeah. squeeze it. So they could be a nice present for a, like a stocking filler for a kid yes. as well. Yeah. If they so, like hand stitching and things like that. Yes. All right then, so we're not going to use, what was it called? Bonnie and? Bonnie and Harriet's. Harriet's. We're going to use yours now. Yes. Then, <laughs> so what, uh, so how do we start? We basically stretch the, this, I actually started in the break between shows, so right, okay. I, I did all of that just in the last half an hour. But yes, this is... Hang on, let's is, see if Jeremy can see that. I suppose this is, it's mainly satin stitches, um, and this, I suppose this will be a straight stitch because it's longer. But yeah, I left just, a big gap there then. Oh, I just, I got bored of doing that colour and moved okay, on to this one. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> so, so, so open the box, yep. get the hoop out, put the piece of cotton yep, so into the hoop. Yep. And stretch it over. Yeah, tighten it up with your yeah. this bit here. Yeah. Um, yeah, stretch out the ends and then just yeah, start doing the colours. When I start off, I don't tie a knot at the back. I just kind of hold the end and then feed it back through at the back okay. as I'm stitching. Oh, well, do we have to be um, frugal with the thread or is there enough? There's, a, there, there's enough to right. do it. But um, yeah, there's no need to, to so waste. We're thinking, oh, I can't leave too long a tail in yeah. case I run out at the other end. Yeah, no, that, there's enough. Okay, now... Um, I can't remember what I was going to ask then. Yeah. It's completely gone. So, so we put it out, right, and then we just start the stitching. Yeah, and most of the stitches are satin, satin stitches, straight stitches. It's all, yeah, it's just okay. a process of I need to ask you just to push stitch. it forward a tiny bit. I know it goes out the light a bit there. Oh, there you go, perfect. That's I learnt do. doing these embroidery kits just how bad my eyesight's got. And I, I did the first one and, um, and didn't use one of these. Yeah. And then when I bought one, I was like, wow, I can see. Yeah. Because you got one from Claire, didn't you, at Native Lighting? Yes, yep. This is a Native Lighting. I mean, uh, there it is, at £95.99. It comes in black and it comes in white. No, it shouldn't be. Well, well let's, can we put the graphics through fully? I think there might be a mistake. No, don't we... worry, it's in your favour. £95.99. You see, in theory... No, I didn't. I didn't think it was ninety-five, ninety-nine. Didn't think it was. Okay, oh, you shouldn't have had it yesterday. That's why. Anyway, right. So. So yeah, it's just filling in in between the lines. I, I leave a little bit of a gap because these these pieces in here will be um, back stitched to put to put the outline on. So I leave a little gap, bit of a gap between the colours, so you can fill it in. But you can stitch right up if you want to and mm -hmm. not leave a gap. Depends on how you like to finish your own embroidery things really. Yeah. And some people would do all the back stitching at the end, you know, finish all your colours and then back stitch. That's where I used to do cross stitch. But um, it's nice to, it's nice to kind of build it up as you go and do a bit of back stitch as you go and of put course. some outlines in. There's how many of this one left? 15 of this one left now. The Which one? The Radiance, which is this one here. That's the one I'm stitching yeah, at the moment, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny because when I've, I've started selling these at shows and what I've, I've come home with quite an even number. People are thinking surely one of them will sell more than the others, but no, people have They've all own, been equally. Yeah, I can, they have I can understand favorites. that. Do most people who buy one buy all four? I've had a few people buy all four, yeah. I just think they look gorgeous but together. Often a lot for gifts. People seem to buy them as presents because I, I sell these on my Etsy shop as well. Oh, okay. They're often bought with a gift message. So people oh, are putting, yes. buying them for presents for people. We don't do that. Oh, I, if you want me to, I could write, no, I can't. I was going to, I was going to say something then and I thought, no, Tom, they're in the warehouse, I won't be doing that. Um, aren't they just beautiful? So we're doing, it's called Sunflower Radiance, which is this one. Yes. So you start in the middle. Yep. And then you look just... Look at the stitching one, Jeremy. Do you have to start in the middle, Cat's saying? 
Um, I would on this one. Um, yeah. yeah, I just don't suppose you have to, but I, I would. But, but you've left that gap. That's because if you look at the one you've got, um, it's got, I think, back stitches and um, French, French knots in the middle. Yeah. So I will, once I've, I've done all the blue, I'll go back in and do the, the um, French knots to fill Okay, what about section. the V that you've left out as well? That, I'll fill that in as well. Okay, That'll be yeah. blue. It's just because I went on, I wanted to show you more than one colour. So no, I, no, no, that's I'll, um, fine. I'm in only, fact, I'm if, only... if I move on to that one now and finish yeah. it off, then I can get some of the okay. outline in as well. So when was your last eye test then? Oh, uh, a little while ago. I got these these new glasses actually, which um, I didn't think everyone would ever see, <laughs> but now I'm on telly wearing them. Yeah. Um, but they're yeah. nice to see you. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're all right. But yeah, my eyes. It's yeah. I didn't ever think I was going to need a magnifying glass, but oh. yes, I do. <laughs> but then, if it makes it easier. Yes. Not just because you need it. It just makes it easier. It doesn't makes it, it precise. It makes it more it? enjoyable. Yeah. So with the threads, you split them down into you could. You, it's stranded, so you get six, and yep. you spit down two. Oh, just move your heads forward. That's it, perfect. Lovely. Yeah. Now, that's what I was going to ask, Laurie. Do you sell the threads? I know we don't do them here, but do you sell the threads? Separately? I don't. I've only got them for kits. Okay. Um, would you think of that in the future? Possibly, yeah. Um, I would have to incorporate some more colours, I think. But yeah, no, for now it's just in the kits. Yeah. But Laurie, they're only $17.99 for a kit. I think that's brilliant for everything that you get in there. Yeah, considering it's one of those ongoing projects, it'll keep you going for a little while. Yeah, yeah, through the winter months. Yes, yeah, or if we get locked down again. Oh, don't. <laughs> I said that, not jokingly, but I said that first thing this morning. Lo, one of our viewers said, she's booked, she's booked two weeks away in the motorhome in Scotland over Christmas. We can't have it. Last Christmas, because I'm always on here on Christmas morning. So oh, we did yeah. live Christmas morning. And then last year was when they put that rule in that you could only go to somewhere for the day. And my family were up on the, on the Wirral. So for me to drive all the way up to the Wirral, have my Christmas dinner and drive back again after the show would have been too much. So I just went home and I had egg and chips on my oh. own. Now, which I love, egg and chips, my favourite yeah. dinner. But I like ham, egg and chips, yeah. I'm vegetarian. So. Oh, right, you can't have the ham. No. <sighs> That's very northern, ham, egg and chips. Is You're it? from the north? No, I'm not. I'm from Devon. But I just, oh, are I've you? always liked hammock and chips. Apparently my grandmother used to as well. But oh. Yeah, so I would have finished the blue before yes. I moved on to this, but I'm just yeah. showing you. See, this is just long, so straight on, let's stitching. Let's see what you're doing with that one then. It's just long, straight stitches to put in the details. Is it just one stitch? Well, yes. I can't see where you're coming out. So oh, yeah, there I'm you are. I'm looking yeah, down yeah. and then trying to yeah, look yeah, at the no, screen no, to see what um, is So is that just thing. one big stitch? One long center. stitch. Oh, so yeah. If you, if you look at the one that you've got there, you can see which bits I'm doing. Yeah. And that's just adding in the detailing. Yeah. And it starts to come together. As soon as you put the back stitching in, it starts to come together. You start to see the design, which is why I say kind of do it as you go. Yes. Because um, it just makes it a bit more fun to see. Oh, yeah, because if you did all the big bits first, you'd be like, yeah, mm, you'd be bored by the end of it, yeah. Do you have a secret technique of how to do French knots? Um, no, I've just done it the way I've always done it. You, you put it up through. I'll, I'll do I'll some. Say, there does, no, I'll do some in, in a minute. minute. Yeah, but I'll just different people come on and go. Oh, I hate French knots. I always do a something else knot instead. Or I always find that sometimes, for no particular reason, they don't come out as neatly as other mm. times, and there, there's no reason why it might be. But um, yeah, so you just come up from my, my blue still. Tangled up with this. I always find with embroidery, you end up with a knot at the back and you can't figure out why yeah. you've got a knot at the back. Yeah, so go hold it up. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, there? yeah, perfect. Round yeah. the needle twice for this one, I think I did. Yeah. And then straight back in three where you came up. Hold it taut with your thumb. And pull it through. I'm always convinced that, that I'd get to that point, just get one great big knot. Yes, and one try to have a go there, but I, yeah. I told it otherwise. Do you put anything on, like beeswax or thread magic or anything like that on your thread? No, nope, never tried any of those. I would do, uh, no, never, never have done, no. just normal threads as they are. And then this, se this centre section here, you just fill in with lots of French yeah. knots until you've... It's full. 
But yeah, sometimes they don't, they don't come out as neat as other times I find with French knots. But yeah, you've hidden behind the lamp. But oh, oh, there, sorry. You go, there we go. That's it's because right. I'm watching what I'm doing, not the screen. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions you've got for Beth? Now's the time to get them in. It's been so nice. It's been so nice having you in today. I know. It has been lovely, actually. I, I, I should have done it sooner. Well, we all do things that when the time's right, don't we? Well, life has been so busy. I mean, obviously, it's busy all the time. I mean, with loads of children. But we got married back a month ago. And honestly, the planning for that just went on and on and on. And yeah. But you've been together for a while, though. If you look yeah. at me asking personal questions now. About, yeah, about eight years, I think, now. Yeah. So, yeah, the wedding was due, I think. Yeah. Aww. So yeah, you can see it's filling in. Yeah. And it's nice, it adds a bit of texture, some yeah. French knots. Kat's been with her boyfriend for 10 years now and he's still not produced an engagement ring or anything. <laughs> but he's talked about where they want to go on honeymoon. Oh really? They want to go snowboarding, but neither <laughs> have ever snowboarded before. Oh, we, well, we originally said we weren't going to get married and then um, yeah, we changed our minds. Oh. I suppose the thing, things change with, it's, you know. Yeah, I think it's been it's been good for us and the kids really. Yeah. Because we're all a big joined up family. <gasps> so they all do they all have the same surname now then? Uh no, actually. <laughs> no. <laughs> they they can they can choose that in the future if they want to. Oh I think it's I, I, it just sounds idyllic living in your house. Oh god. I think I'd really like it. <laughs> for maybe for a day. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not coming for longer than that. <laughs> no, it's it has its moments and I think I think it'll be lovely when they're older and they've all got such a lovely big family to support yes. oh, each other. Oh yeah, it'd be expensive at Christmas though. Oh yeah. Father well, Christmas is bill must it be It already enormous. is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, people say, oh, I cook for 10 at Christmas dinner. We, we do that every day. Every night, yeah. <laughs> And do they all get on? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, obviously you're gonna have, with any eight children in a room, you're gonna have Issues, yeah, aren't you? But they have moments. The two, Lee's two oldest um, had their. They went through a year of being enemies, but yeah. they've come through that now. My two um, that I had before I met Lee, Dylan and Bonnie, they they like to bicker a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but generally, but that's, yeah. I think that's kids, isn't it? It's yes. A, I think it'd be. I think it's a great. Um, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but it's like a really lovely. It sounds like a really lovely mix. Do you know yes. what I mean? Of, I just think it'd be good fun to be a child in a family like that. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they all feel like that. I mean, they don't—they don't get as much of um, everything as you know. If you were a single child or one, you know, one of two, you'd get—you'd get more of everything, more time, more, you know. Yeah. And they, they do have to learn to share because you're, you're homeschooling them, so they get yes. that. Normally, they'd all leave the house. At, if they're all—they're all school age now. Did you say? Uh, yeah, the two youngest ones are three and two, so they're oh, they'd be, but, yeah, um, but, but all the others would be leaving the house at half past eight, going to school, not coming back. They've yeah. got you all day, so yes. it's kind of they get more time than yes. kids that go to school, sort of thing. So how many did you say, sorry? There's only five of these left now. That, oh, that's, wow. I've been busy chatting away, I do apologise. There's <laughs> only five of these left. How are we doing with the others? Should we put the others through again? So we'll do the sunflowers while we're just looking at these. Oh yes, oh yeah, and also I've got the, all these patterns I've got to do yet as well, so. Well, I'll do, I'll do these first. Let's go through these, the fat quarters. Yeah, now you feel free to mix and match and then let Beth know. So, if people want to send you a picture, they email it to you or if you've got to, you can't put it on your Facebook page. Yeah, so. email's best, info yeah. from Beth.com. Yeah. There's a contact um, page on my website, so you can, I think you can attach pictures to that. Um, but yeah, e e email me. Is Make sure different. you get one of your kids to do a course in IT and <laughs> yeah. social media and things like that. So hang on, that was your sunflowers, that one. Then I've got the uh, pointy flower. What was this one called? Star flower. Star flower. $17.99. And then we've got this one here. I don't know how you choose. They're all just so lovely. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Yeah. Doodle Daisy, 17.99. I'm just going to show you from the sunflower one what you get. They all come in a box like this. Obviously, you, if you, depending on which one you buy, um, but they all come in a packed in a box like this, all beautifully wrapped in tissue. You get your hoop, 
you get your threads. Now, you get five colours in the daisy, but you get up to seven colours in them. You get the little cards, you get the hoop, you get the felt to finish it with, you get your needle, you get your, um, this, is all, this is just instructions and stitch guide, nothing specific to the one that you're buying, but then you also get a sheet of the one, inside the one you're buying, of specific stitches for that pattern. So this obviously is the sunflower one. If you buy in the others, you'll get one of those specific sheets to go inside it as well. All for 17 99 Right, let's just go through the fat quarters now. Mega Bundle is the most popular. I know, I would do as well, go for all of them. So you get 24 fat quarters in here for 89 99 Works at £3.79 a fat quarter. Was it? Oh, 74. I thought it was 79. Right, so you've got Moiré. You've got uh, Pop. Pop. <laughs> you've got Medallions. Love that colour. Stars. Oh, hang on. I've gone off Stars. I've only got one. No, I've gone off it. Where have the other Stars gone? I've gone out of order here somewhere. Anyway, then you've got Dashes. Then you've got main in three different colours. Then you've got your sunflowers in three different colours. Oh, there's your other stars. There they are, the other two colours in stars. There's the other sunflower. And then you've got zigzag. So you get everything in that, the whole range. You didn't even see these in the quilt kits from earlier. 89.99. Beautiful, isn't it? Macau and Macau fabric. So it's really, really, really good quality. So that's that one. Then we have like half a bundle. If you don't want to invest in the whole bundle, half a bundle. It's all the same fabric. These are the aquas and the oranges. 44.99. I know, beautiful. 3.74 a fat quarter, did you say? That, do these work at the same price then? Hang on. 44. 44.99. They should do it too, but yeah. Yeah. 374 a fat quarter. Beautiful. And then we also have it in the blues and the magentas. We've called it purple and blue. <laughs> you get two main ones in this one, two main fabrics in this one. <coughs> Fabulous. Now, the kits from the last hour, we got a still rather than the actual thing, because I've not got the actual thing here. Uh, so the first one was the big circular quilt that's on this one. $109.99, it's called Broken Circles, exclusive to Sewing Street. You get 21 fat long eighths, no, long quarters, long quarters, long quarters, yep. long quarters. Uh, plus you get your metre and a quarter of your blue linear, no, not linear, that's linear, this linear is linear textures. linear texture from Macau. So there's enough to do all of the front and the binding and the border you just have to do your own backing and there's lots left over do you say yes there should be yeah because yeah. be. yeah. some some of them are only using two or three pieces so um yeah there'll be plenty left over plenty left over yeah. to do other bits and bobs with that's beautiful isn't it and then we had the other quilt this is here foundation paper which i absolutely love this one there it is so the pattern for that one and the kit you get seven 17. 17 yep. long quarters in that one. Plus you get a metre of, now that's the linear, the Macau linear in there, in the indigo. Um, beautiful. And you get all of your things that you photocopy to do your foundation paper piecing on. Now, don't be frightened. If you've never done foundation paper piecing, it's not difficult. You get precision, but it's not a difficult one. It's really quite a simple one to follow that one. And there's full instructions. And full instructions, yeah. Full instructions. Have you got a YouTube channel? No, people keep no people keep asking me that, and I really I really shouldn't. I keep meaning to, and I bought all lots of qu equipment and stuff, and then yeah, just life gets in the way. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's on the list. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the that's from there. Now I've got some other bits and bobs here that we've had before that we've talked about earlier. I'll do that one last. So let's do. Right, hang on, I did that. Put that one there. That one there. Yeah, no, no, I'm just working out which one's the de best designed and which one she gave to her husband to design. That was all. <laughs> so now, these pods, let me do these pods first. Oh, sorry, no, no, I'll do that one. I'll do that one. That one there. Now, Ian messaged and said his little cat sleep in his. 
yep. of these. These because these are the longer pods, aren't they? Oh, yeah. No, I thought I'd got them out somewhere. Anyway, these are the longer pods. These ones. So Janice did these recently, actually. Uh, these just have a few darts in them to create that. The original demo on these was when? 20th of January this year. Blimey. Debbie was saying she did it. Debbie's done them, has she? As yeah, well? she, she's got one on her trolley in there. Oh. So that's storage pods there. Lovely, lovely, lovely one. Too. Looking forward to making these pods for my sewing room. They are so useful, they could be used uh, all around the house. That's a fee-foo from Christine. Well, if you buy a, a bundle, you'll have enough to make loads of those pods. Oh, yeah, totally. The thing I love is all the things you've designed. Here's another fee-foo. Top quality, well-written patterns from a fantastic designer brought to us very affordably by Sewing Street. Oh, very nice. <laughs> right, OK, so that's storage pods. Then we can move on to bubble pods, which are the more... These have got more darts in them to create that spherical... Try, try They've got a flat bottom, though, so they're, they're designed to sit on the desk. So oh, the other, yes. the other the, ones hang up, yep. and those ones sit on your desk. flat bottom. Let yep. me move that one out of the way. Uh, £6.50. Lovely. They're beautiful. Oh, now that's... Oh, no. That looks a bit like the fabric you've got over there, but it's not quite. No. Uh, no. Me. It is actually the same collection. Oh, there you go. But not that one. Baby changer. Now, I don't think I've seen this one being made. Have we made this one? Oh, hang on, look, we didn't do a date. Sorry, for the bubble pods. Too late, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Let's do Baby Changer for now and then I'll tell you a date. 24th of February was Baby Changer. What? Oh, with me? Oh, no. <laughs> I do apologise, don't remember yeah. this one. Who was I on with? Marjorie who? What? Oh, okay. It's very easy, that one. It's very straightforward yeah. design. Have I, have I done it more than once? <laughs> I've done it the most of <laughs> anyone. <laughs> Obviously wasn't taking any notice at all on that mm. day. You need to, in there, there's nothing in there, is there? You know that label that says Love from Beth on it? Because yes. I it's up there on your quilt. Yeah. Oh, Jules did one, Cara Ackerman did the other. Um, you, they should come in there. I've got some here and I had... Yeah, they're no good yeah. over there, though. No, I've, but yeah, no, I've got them. No, you, no, well, no, I kind of think if people are making them, they might want to put their own labels on and yes, be Yes, no, but you see... Oh, now, have you got an angel policy? Uh, that, that's where people can make stuff out of your things, yes. isn't it? Yes, I, I'm quite happy for people to do that. That's and you're happy for them to sell them? Yes, as long as it's small scale and they're not sending hundreds of thousands of them, then yes. Yeah, yeah and it's fine. not Mr John Lewis. Yes, exactly, like yeah. 29th of December. Oh, for the bubble pods. Bubble pods are 29th of December. Right, OK. Um, so, so you don't mind people making them and selling them? All no. you ask is you don't, get, you don't sell the pattern. No, obviously and not. And when you do make them and give them somebody or sell them, just give Beth a nod saying, oh, they're a, they're a love from Beth pattern. That's all we ask, right? Yes, yes. Then, exactly. now, I know, I know I've done these. I did them with Wendy Orlando. No, I did it with Wendy Orlando. Did these with Wendy Orlando. Because I thought they were shoes. <laughs> We get sent the sheets the night before, yeah. and the pictures are about that that big. And I was like, "Oh, these are slippers," because they look like a pair of slippers. Anyway, they're not; they're bags. Though, what date was it? Thirty first of March. Now, that one is for that's not for a beginner. It's foundation paper piece, but it's definitely not for a beginner. Yeah, it's it got curved seams in it as well. That yeah, one. Yeah, curved seams and and foundation paper piece. Nothing. Wendy Orlando. Okay. Now we've got the boyfriend's husband's patterns. Oh, actually, hang on. We'll do this one first. This was a joint one, a lovely pouch. Now we've made these. I think Janice made these because they've got the lace. Oh, no. Was it Jules Move made these? £6.50. That, that rings a bell. Hmm? That rings a bell. Yeah. 24th of January, March, April. What would you put in those then? Uh, anything. Bits and pieces. Stuff. Have you got them around your house? Yeah, I've got, yeah, those five are sitting around. Well, most of them are, get used for show samples, actually. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, it's just the idea of a bit more detail on them than the, the normal pods. Yeah. The thing is, I suppose, with that many children, you should have to be uh, very organised. They must have all their own, no? We're take... quite we're quite minimalist. We don't have a lot of stuff in the house. Otherwise, we just get overrun with stuff. So. Oh, yeah, exactly. But yeah. they must all have their, like, 
Well, they're yes, school uniforms, yeah, don't they? No, they don't. All their school uniforms must be on pegs. But, but yeah, they have places for their shoes. Shoes is a, is a pain yes. when you've got that many children. And also, they grow out of them so quickly, Yes. Don't they? Mind yeah. you, if you've got another one the year after... Oh, yeah. Ours are very used to hand-me-downs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. I think that's good. Yeah. Right, this one, by husband Lee, on his own, no help from anybody else. And we <laughs> did these... Oh, we didn't do them last week. We had this on last week, didn't we? 12th of February, that was a Jules Mayouf one, that one. It's lovely. I think that, the th I kept saying, oh, I'd put a candle in mine, but you can't put a candle in it. Uh, but you could you put go, one of those you, electric ones, couldn't you? Yes, or one, uh, yes, exactly. The LED one. Do, are you Moroccan? Not you, are you Moroccan? Have, are you, have you been to Morocco? No, I haven't. Because a lot of yours have Mor a Moroccan sort of, I think they've got like a Moroccan influence on them. Yes, that particular collection did, I think, because yeah. there was a lot of blue this and yellow Well, that's it. your husband, yeah. not you, anyway. Oh, I didn't do them first then. Catherine Wright did them first. But I've definitely been on with those. Comes in three different sizes, doesn't it? Right, now if you want also, there's a book. There's a book. You get six pat. That's not 650. Hang on, I'll wait for the graphics to go. There you go. There's six uh, patterns in here for the contemporary crafter. Okay, now in here, there's some very, very simple projects in here. Oh, hang on. Right, picture garland. Yep. Yeah, easy. Then we've got reversible trinket bowls, which those, I love. Yeah, those have done really well. I, I sell that one as an individual pattern as well. And um, yeah, people like, really like that one. But this is good because it's eight ninety nine. and you get six patterns rather than six fifty a pattern. Yeah. Oh no, because some of these patterns are, are ch cheaper, aren't they? Because when we, well, some of these are four ninety five. But even yes. so, if you paid four ninety five yes. for six of them, you're not gonna, it's not eight ninety nine, is it? Yes. But lots and lots of um, instructions in there. Uh, pin cushion. Was this you starting an embroidery thingy on this one over here? Look. Yeah. And oh. then we've got the hexy needle case. Now, I've done these with Catherine Wright. I got one with me. I left it in the other room. Oh, but, yeah. that's no good I had thing, one. I didn't know you were doing the book. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> then we've also got the curvy coaster set, which I rather like. Now, is this FPP, this one? Yes. Yep. The idea of those is you can turn them around and make different patterns. Oh, I always so say you can use it as a coaster or you can use it as a placemat. Yes, yeah, you could, yeah. yeah. Flexible coasters. Or you can move them around and make different patterns. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. And then now this, I've made this from the pattern a few times with this one. I love this because you have to have a pencil to yeah. do the fastening. So you're never in a notepad thinking, oh, I've got nothing to write with because you need it to shut the whole thing with. There's that fabric. Yes, that same one, yeah. yeah. Get your fat quarter bundle. You can make all these. You can make all of these, couldn't you, from the fat quarter yeah, bundle? Yeah, you could, absolutely. Uh, then we have the... Oh, no, that's it, that's it, that's it, because the back's got the techniques and everything. So you've got your six projects. You even get all of your... Um, what do they... They call templates. What do you... What yeah. Would you yeah. It's, yeah, I think they are called... Founda it's a foundation pattern, I guess it's yeah. called. But it's got everything. It's got everything you need. And what I love, it's all the right size. I can't yes. bear it when it goes... Make it 200 times. Right, lovely mornings to have. Lost count of how many notebook covers I've made. Love the pattern from Jill. It's been a really nice morning, hasn't it? Uh, right, uh, thank you ever so much. That's are you going to show me something else? Or you... No, no, I've just been stitching through that one. It, it's quite nice because you can do it then when you're chatting, people are yeah. chatting, everything yeah. like that. Um, can I just say, I'm going to recap and everything, but I just want to say how lovely it has been oh, to meet you and it's you. taken so long to get you here. No, I know. I don't know why now. No, so don't <laughs> leave it so long. No, I've got, I've got, I've always got 50 different new projects of there course, waiting yeah. to come through. So. Oh, well, it's been love, really lovely to meet you and the yeah. viewers at home have loved you as well. Oh, everyone's clapping in the gallery. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Oh, good. It's like Steve right <laughs> in the afternoon, isn't it? Right. So now what do I need to recap on before I do tomorrow's menu? The bun, big bundle of fat quarters. Very, very popular. Now remember, once, and I'm not adding any undue pressure here, when these have gone, they've gone because all the fabric from the collection has all been cut up for these fat quarters or for today's quilt projects. So that's it. And there's no new collection for at least, at least a year now because it takes that long for it doing. She doesn't, she's not even started doodling for the next collection. So now you're going to be at Harrogate, aren't you, did you say? I am. So yeah. that's, when's the winner's that? It must be quite soon. Oh. Third week of November, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. three weeks. It's away, in my diary. Then. Yeah, it's in the diary just as yeah. well. And the hotel room's booked. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I've, I've booked a cottage this time for the first time. Because I, I, 
I don't like it when you have to keep buying takeaway food and it's never what you want. So no. I'm, I've got no. a kitchen so I can make my own food. In the oh, morning. no, I think that's much, that's what's not so good about Airbnb, isn't it, when you go away on things yeah. like that? Yeah. Because I, when I get to pavers every month to work there, I always stay in a hotel and you end up thinking, I've got to go downstairs and I've got to buy... If you buy anything, you have to buy a packet of it, and it's yeah. just like gets wasted because there's no fridge in the room. Things so yeah. much better stuff. That. Yeah, I like a hotel breakfast, but come lunch and dinner, I want I want to be able to. <laughs> so make maybe you own. could just pop round to the local yeah. uh, local hotel for your <laughs> breakfast. Anyway, eighty nine ninety nine. Make sure you check out on that. Shall we have a? Is there something else you want to do, Cap? Keep checking out your baskets. I think this one might accidentally fall into my. Oh, mm. did you bring this one with you? No, but you no, brought but that one. With you. Must, yeah. must forget yeah. to take that one. All right, uh, let's have a look at tomorrow's men. Oh. Oh, now. Have we got a menu? Go on, then. Yeah, go on, then. Oh, oh, what was that? I do apologise if you've got a great big telly and it's just frightening the life out of you. So, for the next four days, we've got the Sewing Street Spooktacular. That's going to get... Anyway. So, hang on. So, Sewing Street Spooktacular. What's in that hour, then, Kat? Oh, now, what, can we give them a hint? It's clearance, basically, is it? Offers. There's offers. Okay. So at nine o'clock, we've got offers on motor fabrics. At ten o'clock, we've got offers on fabric. Eleven o'clock, we've got offers on fabric. And then at twelve o'clock, we've got half price panel offers. I can't believe that. So that's what we're calling them offers this week then. It goes on for four days, no guests, just me on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and Vix on Monday. Oh, that's horrible. We don't, did you make that, Jeremy? Anyway, I'm going, I'll, finish, I'll finish it a couple of minutes early, but it doesn't matter. Am I going to wear what? Wear my apron? No, because it's not a clearance, it's a offers. It's offers. Now, I've brought all my autumnal shirts for the next three days. But it's just me. I might bring some. I'm going to have to go to the supermarket and get some treats for myself. Sitting here on my own for five hours. Spectacular treats. Full of E numbers and all the things I shouldn't eat. Uh, anyway, it's my, it's my turn to do the coffee. You came in the wrong day. I do the coffee run tomorrow. Oh, do you? Yeah, ah. never mind. All right. Thank you very much for your company. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Ooh. <coughs> at eight o'clock. If, uh, if I could be here. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't be late.